Well, hello, everyone. How's everyone doing today? It's Enshrouded Day. Today is the first day of official release. I think some content creators have had the game. I don't know if they were allowed to stream it or if they were just recording stuff, but I know some creators got it. I just bought it this morning. I didn't have any early access to it. I mean, I haven't had early access, but I did play the demo. I think they released that back in November of last year. They released like a six hour demo or something like that. I played that and I really liked it. I was a little nervous about performance. It was kind of uh, shaky and some of the stuff felt kind of not polished, but that was November. Now it is officially out in early access still, so it's not a final release. I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. Let's jump into Enshrouded. So, Jason, where is your shroud? You need one to be enshrouded. That is true, but we're not going to be enshrouded. <laughs> That's the thing, Scartech. You do not want to be enshrouded in this game. Uh, hello! Heather Silvermist is in the house. Hello, Heather. Thank you so much for hanging out. And Tyler Wooldridge. Heck yeah. Jim Scheffel. I'm gonna say Scheffel. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out today. And I see Fett Cypher. Hello! So, the original plan, and I think we can still try it, is to do a server for Enshrouded, like me, Survival Bob, I think Zane and uh, Beeblebum wanted to get in there. However, all that being said, it's day one and servers are like busted, it sounds like. So it's, it sounds like today you don't want to do a server because you won't be able to connect or the server disconnects constantly or you just lose progress because the server crashes. So you might not want to do servers today simply because everyone's jumping on. It's day one. Everyone is jumping on and crashing those servers. Hey, it's rare for me to catch one of your live streams, Corwinius. Thank you for hanging out while you can. And awesome that you can catch it today. Uh, Jason K says, Jason, hello, Jason, and the chat. And then Captain Steve says, uh, with Nightingale out, number one. And the guys, follow Captain Steve. He does awesome content, by the way. Uh, with Nightwell out in February and Pal World out now, kind of feel like I have my fill of survival crafters, but looking forward to seeing what you make of this. It looks very good. My initial impressions from November, and I could change today, Steve, but my initial impressions are that it's kind of like a fantasy version of Valheim. There are some evolved mechanics. Some things are a little bit more refined, but if you like the way that, um, that Valheim plays, you like that feel, it's generally that kind of a thing. There's there's definitely differences, don't get me wrong. But it's kind of that kind of uh, a survival game compared to like uh, No Man's Sky would be a different kind of survival game. It's more exploration. This is more building up your gear and all that kind of stuff to venture out into the world, just like in Valheim. But I could be wrong. I haven't played the actual uh, official early re release. I just played the demo. So let's get in here and see. All right. Oh, you need to get some sound going here. There we go. That's the official. I don't know if you guys know what that original music was from in the uh, the countdown menu. You guys know what that music was from? Let me see it in the chat. You guys should know. If not, for shame. For shame on you because it's a really good game. All right. I am playing on PC. I don't know if it's on uh, an Xbox or PlayStation. I assume it's only on PC. So I am playing on PC. I have all my stuff set pretty high. I do have FSR on for this. And the other thing I will say is, if you're playing this, you need to set a manual frame rate cap because I fired it up today and just in this menu, I didn't even go into the gameplay, just in the menu, it was hitting like 300 frames per second. It was maxing out my graphics card. So it feels like this game is built to max out your graphics card no matter what. So if you got room, like if, you're, if your graphics card is really powerful, you're going to be doing like 300 frames a second, which is not good. I mean, it's awesome if you're a competitive multiplayer, but you don't want to max it out and overheat your graphics card. That's the issue. So I had to manually set a frame rate cap on my graphics card. That way this thing didn't go above, you know, 200, 300 frames a second. So yeah, we ran into this issue with the uh, new world as well. New World, when it first came out, there was no frame rate cap, and it was cooking graphics cards. So, be careful. Be careful of that. But yeah, I have everything set to the max. I have FSR on. I have it on max quality. 
So you can go into like performance or balance or whatever, or you could just turn it off if you want. You don't have to have FSR on. Or, because I have an AMD card I'm using FSR, you, they also have DLSS if you'd like. So let me see. Oh. Um, I, I don't think I have the option because I don't have a... Oh, wait a minute! David. Um, I was not expecting that. I do not have an NVIDIA card in my PC, so I cannot get the uh, actual uh, DLSS. But I know it's in here. I know it's in here. It's in here. DLSS is in here. You just, you know, I, I don't have the option because I don't have a, an NVIDIA card. And wait a minute before we get too deep in here. David donated through uh, Streamlabs. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much. Da David Weaver saying, thanks for streaming on this on day one. I've been looking forward to this for months. Oh, I can't wait, dude. I can't wait to jump in here. So we should probably jump into the game, right? I'm showing you guys my uh, my settings, but obviously it's going to be different depending on your PC. I play at 1440p. You might play at 4K, whatever it is. These are the settings, though. So they have a lot of good settings in here. So they instead of saying epic or ultra, they go max quality or lower, you know, things like that. So you can turn that off. I turn off V-Sync. <clears throat> I think there is a motion blur. Did I turn that off? Let me look. Let me look before we go crazy here. No, no motion blur option. I uh, Hopefully there's not a whole bunch of motion blur in the game. But there's no motion blur option that I can see. Let me look one more time. Nope, not seeing it. Low, limit the frame rate in the background. I have mine manually set. That's why I don't do it. But it's only for the background. This is not your frame rate limit, it's just for the background, so like if you alt tab out of it, it will lower the frame rate. I have mine capped already manually on my graphics card, so I don't mess with that. I turn off V-Sync because I don't like that, I don't like the lag. Uh, other than that, I mean, yeah, I, do, I play full screen, blah blah blah. You have the sounds, you have all this stuff. Uh, controls, I will be playing with a, uh, with a controller. You guys know I play with a controller, so... And I, I busted out my purple controller. It looks blue, but it's purple. Like it's a pearlescent. It's a pearlescent purple. So it's blue in the uh, in the light, but it's purple. So you can see from here. It's a purple. Like it's that purple when you look at it. It's just the shine of it turns it blue because it's pearlescent. Anyway, um, action direction camera. So we got all this. We got a lot of options here. You can do damage numbers, all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of cool options in here. You actually have item protection. Like, if you go to delete items, it'll stop you and say, wait, are you sure? Only with epic items. So if it's a common or a rare item, it'll just say, yeah, do it. It's fine. But if it gets to the epic, the really good stuff, they'll say, wait a minute. Are you sure you want to do that? Are you sure about that? That way, that's a really good option. I like that they give you different levels. And you can go rare and above, uncommon, or you can just go everything. I'm going to do epic. I mean, what is there anything above? A legendary only. So I'm going to do epic because it feels like epic is like the second tier right before you get to the maximum. But you could you can customize all this kind of stuff, which is really, really cool. I like the customability, customize ability. <laughs> Idle camera movement on. So if you don't move, the camera will kind of move around. That way you don't burn in your screen, that kind of stuff. Reduce dynamic camera motion. I don't even know. Uh, screen shake. We're going to turn that off because some people get sick with that. Uh, icon for item rarity, sure. And they have your legal notice. Okay, we're good. But I will be playing with a controller, so let's pull out the controller. Uh, Scott Rinse for Pete says, I bought a uh, purple one for my PS5 after that, uh, after breaking one. I have a purple one for my PS5. I haven't broken a PS5 controller, Scott, but that's probably a lot of power to break that thing. Uh, Heather says, uh, I wish I had a purple controller. Heather, get a purple controller. They sell them, I think. I think they still do. <laughs> I would assume they still do. I mean, if they don't, then I really love this thing. All right, controller, let's go to play. And immediately you get the character creator. I haven't even, okay. Um, who are we gonna be? Who are we gonna be? We're gonna be the old guy. And then of course you can customize further. Ooh, I like... Oh my god, that is really sensitive. Holy crap, I'm probably going to have to turn down the sensitivity because that's real hardcore. Okay. Oh yeah, like that haircut. Wait, but do they have a Karen haircut? We always got to look for the Karen haircut. Do they have one? Uh, kind of? That's kind of one? It has the angle. It has the elements of a Karen haircut. Um... 
I'm not seeing. They just have that one, it looks like. Oh, no. Got a cool little faux hawk. Oh, what is this game? SMO. This is a survival game. Just came out. It's called Enshrouded. It's in early access right now. I believe it's only on PC. Not on consoles yet. I don't know what the plan is. I don't know what the roadmap is for that. But right now, it's only on PC. It does take a little bit of power to run, so they're probably going to have to definitely uh, perfect it to uh, to uh, make it run on a, on a console. Um... I guess we're gonna go with that one. Then we're gonna do a hair color. Oh, okay. Do we have purple? We cannot even choose custom colors. It's just this set of eight. You can only have eight different options. All right. That's kind of a disappointment. Hey, you know what? It's early access. They can add that in later on. Not a big deal. So we just can choose out of these. There's not even any cool colors. Like I was hoping for like a, a red or something like that. No? All right. I guess we're gonna go boring brown. Uh, I mean, they do have a lot of... They have a lot more options when it comes to your hair. Just not a lot of color options. There we go with that. No, you know what? That didn't come out right. Um, okay. I guess we're going to go with that one. Beard color. Here we are. Same color. Oh, we have a voice. Oh, it's just like in a Power World, where it's just the sound effects. Like when you attack something. Up, oh, character one. Um, we're gonna call this... Jason... Plays, with a Z. There we go. Oh, that's it. Oh, you can change your different characters. Okay. I like this more than Power World. In Power World... You are locked in on that world. So you make a world, and then you have to make a character that is locked for that world. This feels like you make a character, and then you can go to different areas? Let's see. Oh, okay, yep, we have a host, a join, a private. So again, servers are kind of uh, jacked up right now because it's day one. So we're going to do a private game for this stream. Hopefully later on, I know that Bob and, you know, Zane and Beeblebum want to do a server, so we'll probably jump in on that one. But for now, we're going to do a, uh, a solo, a private game. Okay, uh, I guess edit the world. Can we do this one? Oh, you cannot edit. Okay, so there's no seed. There's no settings for it. You just can name it. All right. So I guess we're going to be new. No. Yeah, new Euclid. So, new Euclid started. But yeah, it looks like there's no settings to change on this. Yeah, there's nothing you can change about it, I guess. Well, let's go. Ah, uh, the Z made it, makes it edgy. Oh, yes. Oh, which? Rolling gift to the people of Embervale. The elixir. It was a cure. A blessing. A weapon. Once concealed by the ancients, its might had been set free. With it came power, mistrust, and a longing for more. Humanity dug the elixir wells, ripping apart the land and each other to quench their thirst. This is pretty epic. Elixir and blood. A drop for a drop. But from the depths of the wells, an unforeseen curse crept into Embervale. Embervale. The shroud, a ruinous fog which sought only to spread and devour. Okay. Facing their downfall, ancients and humans united to forge the flameborn. Now, your time has come. Awake. Shouldn't it be awaken? <laughs> not gonna, not gonna judge. It's early access. It's early access. Uh, hey, this isn't light no fire. Oh, dude, Tearson. 
Once Light No Fire, the minute it's available, I will be streaming it, and I probably won't stop until I pass out. <laughs> Space Engineers is in a fantasy setting. Maybe. So let's see. My guy. Okay. I'm, I'm play Again, I'm playing on controller. So we're going to see how well the controller input is. It feels pretty good. The settings are good. Let's see your menu. Oh, no. That's a start. There's our menu. Uh, all discovered recipes are in this crafting stations are saved here. You can quickly navigate different categories by selecting those icons. Got it. It feels really... Okay, I like this menu more. If for a controller, it's set up really, really well. I like this one. All right. So in PAL world, it really feels like... Uh, and even in Valheim, it feels like the menus are really set up for mouse and keyboard. This one is more controller friendly, which I appreciate. Cam again, camera is really, really smooth. I like it. What's going on here? Maximum 150. What? Commune with the flame. Okay, so there's no voice acting for this. You've slumbered for too long, Flameborn. The realm of Emberville has fallen, consumed by the Shroud. Now the enduring flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. Okay, so I've learned how to make a flame altar. I have a journal. Where's that? Up crafting, we've learned that. Journal, we have one. Okay, so claim a spot for your base. And then you get experience for claiming that. Okay. Oh, here's our map. Okay. Now, because we were not able to uh, adjust any settings for the map, I assume that every time you start up the game, the map is going to be the same. So every game is going to be the same area, the same map to run around. And it's just as customizable by you because you can build bases and things like that. But the areas are all going to be similar. All going to be the same every time. So it might be it might be a nice uh, map considering that, okay, I know where everything is. So if you start a brand new save, you know where to go because you know where the items are. That's a benefit. What is this? A vast world awaits you, filled with secrets and peril. Press the uh, menu button and navigate to the map to track your discoveries. All right. Plans or planes for the first base. I guess we got to go there. What is this? Read that. Pure light engulfs the knowledge of the ancient breed. Protects it its flaming core. Wisdom far beyond my own imagination. I could stare into the fire for hours. Seeking answers. A whisper. But I hear none. Despite possessing a voice, it only speaks to those born from the flame. A shame, as I believe we could have quite enlightened conversations. Balthazar. All right. That's a very common old name. Uh, Janice says, yeah, Pal World is not keyboard friendly uh, either. Can't rebind some of the commands. Oh, yeah, that does suck, Janet. I was hoping, because I don't play with... I don't generally play with mouse and keyboard, but... When I was playing with the, uh, the controller in Pal World, it really felt like... Some of those menus are really made for a mouse to click, drag, and drop. Whereas with a controller, it just feels really cumbersome to kind of click on something and then drag it with your uh, your thumbstick. It's just really awkward and weird. But yeah, hopefully, I mean, Pal World is also in early access. So hopefully they add in key binding later on. Like you can rebind everything. Oh, we have a torch. Uh, so we have an attack. Oh God, that's a quick one. Okay. Now it's not a hold. You don't hold it down. You have to like keep tapping to get your combo going. All right. I like that. Let's go down the ladder part. Uh, can I just jump down here? Oh, that's the big question. Is there fall damage? Let's go back up here. Do you think there's fall damage? Let's uh, jump from all the way up here. Let's go all the way down. Let's see if we can jump down all the way down. There is fall damage. Top left hand. That's a pretty good fall damage as well. So in Pal World, they give you really light. Like, you have to fall from a really tall distance for fall damage to even affect you. 
Oh, we got a chest in here. Oh, God. Wrong button. We have a torch and a bandage. Well, I mean, okay. There's a dodge. A dodge roll. I like that. We're using up our stamina. Our uh, Zelda. Very Zelda-esque stamina bar right there. Uh, anime, anime style fighting. I love it. Delta. This is looks like a really, really fun game. The only, the only thing I will say immediately is put a frame rate cap on this baby because it will cook your GPU if you try to play it. I, seriously, I was getting over 300 frames per second just in the menu because there's no frame rate limit in the menus at all. Like, you have to make your own manual one. The flame allows you to resist the shroud, but if you linger, you will perish. Escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Alright, so there is a... A shroud. I, from what I remember, it's like a fog. If you go into the fog, you will die. I mean, you have a certain amount of time. There you go. I got five minutes before I get sick and die. Press R to lock onto your foes. Press B to dodge out of harm's way. Okay. Oh, combat tutorial. Nice. Oh, I like the animation on that. I got some shroud spores. Combat fe I like the combat in here. Okay. I'm like okay. I said it was similar to Valheim. That is not true. The combat there's a lock on button. Uh Valheim does not have a lock. And the the combat feels very fast. It's there's not as much like a, a visceral hit. Like in Valheim, when you hit an enemy, it feels like there's weight behind it. With this one, you're just swinging wildly and there's no like contact. You just, you can see the contact, but it doesn't feel like there's contact. Like the uh, hits are not weighty. Like in Valheim. Oh, can I break these? I broke my thing. Punch that. Loot that. Okay, so I gotta get used to the buttons. I looted some stone. Okay. Can I punch these? Loot that. Yeah, I got some, uh, wood. Okay, so you collect stuff like wood and stone to make your items. Can I make it? Can I build it now? Is there a craft? There is a crafting. Okay, can I craft? Um, can I construct a- I can construct a hammer? Oh, you can! Okay, a campfire. Rags. Nope, I don't need that. I need string and torn cloth. All right. So there's no crafting table, it looks like. It's just a crafting menu. My pickaxe, I need twigs and string. My axe, I need twigs and string as well. Okay. Flame altar, I need a whole bunch of stone. Got it. Oh, I got a whole bunch of... Yo, this is where the, uh, this is where the mouse and keyboard is going to come into play. So I have a rusty short sword. Wait a minute, can I pick it up and move it? No, I can just select it. Can I do, I do it with a mouse? Oh my god, it's made for a mouse and keyboard, guys. So, it's definitely made with a mouse and keyboard in mind. Because you know, on my... Can I... Oh, X is move. Okay, got it. Never mind. X is move. Okay. All right. X is move. I gotta get the controls down. I might look at this on PS5 or Xbox if it's free on PSN Plus or Game Pass. John, I don't know if it's on Game Pass. I have not heard anything about that, so I would assume not. But, as far as I know as well, it's only on PC right now. Maybe it's on console and I haven't seen it yet, but I think it's only on PC. If you fall, you will rise again at your last return beacon. Okay, so you respawn at your beacons. Look at the graphics on this sound. It looks pretty good. Pretty smooth. Go run. Can I just harvest that? Oh, nice purple berries. Picking up mushrooms and berries. And that. I don't have to worry about the bees attacking me. I like that. There's no bees. Can I just drop this? Yeah, you definitely want an axe, probably. A wood axe. Did it just fart out some wood? <laughs> okay. 
It just farted out some wood for me. I'll take that. I need to get some stone as well. Oh, hold on. The world is looking nicer, Captain Steve. It is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Now, graphically, this game is really, really awesome. And it has all the features of, like, um, a Valheim. I don't think you can dig down in the ground, but I'm not positive on that. I know that you can build, and it's just like Valheim and, like, Ark and, you know, all that kind of stuff is where you're building uh, items and walls and things like that. Oh, let's see this. They, oh, I can collect the wood right here from their fire. It's hard wood block. Okay. What's in here? Yep, we have glowing things. It looks like notes only, though. Hold the chamber to your last breath. These were the words of the Ancient One before he entered with a handful of our best warriors. It was the first time I'd seen one of his kind, and I expect it will be the last. His face is burned in my mind. My life and those of my remaining soldiers are pledged to the sacred duty. Duty. All right. Let's loot all this stuff. Oh, wait, I'm assuming, yeah, we're getting a whole bunch of stuff out of here. We got a lockpick. Oh, we got the recipe for a lockpick. I can sleep here. All right, so this is kind of like on purpose. They want you to run into this, like, forsaking, like, uh, build. Can I not open these? Okay, I guess not. Can I take this? Nice. Uh, while equipped with a shield, melee weapon, press the left to block. Okay, nice. So you can block. You can actually block. Nice. I didn't even know that. Ah, uh, reach the plains. I need to reach my, uh, my base building area, I'm assuming. Oh, let's get over here. Oh, there's a... I think he just died. What is that? Why, why did that thing just die? Oh, God. What the heck? Oh my god, a rat cutie, you idiot! Why would you even try? What's wrong with you? Uh, fur patch and raw lean meat. Okay. Wasn't expecting a rat to come at me. Can I get in here? Nope. I assume... I broke that, and you get the wood. Okay, so you get wood out of the barrels. So there's nothing in the barrels, just the wood that they're made out of, I assume? Yeah, just wood. All right. Oh, there's a thing over here. Oh. Yeah, combat is very fast and it's not as weighty. Oh, I got runes. I got all that stuff. Let's back out of the enshrouded. That's it. This. We held out hope, digging through the rubble, our lips whispering prayers to the ancients. Always a watchful eye towards the horizon, even in his further corner of the world. Oh yeah, they don't stop. Okay, they don't stop if you're in the menu. Okay. Well, now we know. Oh Jesus, I'm about to die. Okay, health regen. Uh, wait a minute, food type is already active? You only get one food type at a time? Okay. It's very fast combat. Alright, I don't want to die too fast. Uh, not gonna lie, NG is a survival that looks like something like Steampunk, but from a different world, I think. Uh, hit everything, Jason! I know I'm gonna need to hit everything, because I need to make sure nothing drops, like... Okay, you have a little wisp that lights your way, I think. Because that wisp just keeps randomly, uh, lighting up like a breadcrumb trail, like, almost like Fable. Let's see if I break this thing. Oh, wait a minute. We got stuff out of there. We got little things. We got some torn cloth and some string. Well, let's hit all these. That's really weird. Like, I'm, I'm like running over the stuff. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. They did have stuff in there. Cloth and string. 
I mean, I assume that's what the bag is made out of. It's made out of cloth and string. I'm gonna have to repair my sword in a minute. I got some water out of that! Whoa! Okay. I'll take water. What about this? Alright, so the purple area is the poison area. Got it. So this purple plant stuff. That's what you want to be careful about. Oh god! I have to sneeze! Excuse me. Sorry, that was loud. Excuse me. <laughs> I should have just been punching this all anyway. <laughs> oh, I got animal fur! Oh, okay, it does drop random stuff. Okay. Oh god. That's not good. What is this thing in here? Is that the poison generator? Like the mushroom or whatever? You only got a two combo with your fist. Oh. Oh god, that was a hard hit too. Okay, they hit hard. They hit hard. Let's see if I can punch this thing. Does it stop the power? Oh no, it makes it worse! So oh, Jesus! Okay, it makes it worse. Don't punch the mushrooms. It doesn't go away, it just makes it worse. Okay, don't do that. Open up this thing. We just kicked it with my foot. Health potion. Okay, I'll take all of that. Okay, so the mushrooms, it's still enshrouded, but the mushrooms make it worse if you hit them. Got it. Oh, there's a water thing. Water is a great resource of vitality. Drink it to enhance your stamina and regenerate it faster. Scoop that water. Oh, it just keeps... Oh my god, it just keeps giving it to you. Like, I'm, I, I just tapped it once. I'm not doing it anymore. And it gives you a whole bunch of water. I'll take that. That's a really good option. Let's punch all these. Don't punch the water! What's wrong with you? Give him that two-piece special. Oh, yes. Alright, I need to make a weapon. Let's scoop some more water, because I can drink that. Alright, so you have a little bit more. Can I drink another? Nope, you cannot drink more than once of the same item, I guess. Like, if I had a different potion, I could. Up, oh, I need to repair my sword. Okay, so in... Oh god, what was the other game where it would just destroy your item once you've uh, used it up? Uh, Lego. Lego uh, Fortnite. You had to keep rebuilding it. This one, you can just repair it. At least they do that right. You don't have to worry about uh, losing an item and rebuilding it every time. You just repair it. Let's do that. Grab all these uh, these twigs and plant fibers and berries and stuff. I mean, we picked up a lot of wood as well. Hopefully we can, we can make a base here. I assume this is our base. Oh my god, it's nighttime. Do the enemies come out at night? Okay, so what do we have to do now? I assume raw meat you don't want to eat. Um, and it has two active uh, bars on it. So I'm going to keep my water and my health. Yeah, I'll keep my health. So I'll use my bottom bar for my food and my top bar for my tools. Oh, uh, we got a wooden arrow. Can't use that. Let's put a torch down here. That way I can see what I'm doing. And, man, our inventory is not very big. Hopefully they give you backpacks later on that you can expand your inventory with, because that's not a lot of room. That is not a lot of room at all. Oh, wait, yeah, we got a craft. A work... Oh, we need a workbench! Craft new blocks, new items, and repair broken equipment! Okay. Do I not... Do I not have to put it down? Let's see this. What's, what's going on here? What's happening here? Oh, it's in my inventory! Okay, duh. <laughs> okay, so it's in my inventory. I need to place it down. Needs a building area. I literally... Oh my god, do I need to place a building area? Oh god. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh my god, it's getting dark. That's not a joke. Wow. That is dark as hell. Let me grab this thing. Firefly lamp! Alright, this, this is... That is dark. 
You don't want to be messing around in the dark. Look at my character. He looks all scary. <laughs> I need to build the altar. Okay, cool. We got to do that. Yeah. I kind of thought we needed to build something first. So let's do that. Flame altar. We need stone. I need more stone. Are you serious? How do I get more stone? I don't have a pickaxe. Oh, Jesus. Well, let's see. Oh, yeah. Enemies come out at night. That's even better. Great. Ooh, glowing mushrooms over here. That doesn't seem like a good area. Yeah, this is enshrouded. Can I get these, uh... Can I oh, there's a lot of enemies. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of enemies. I'm a, no, no, we're good. See ya. Can I pick up this? Oh, I can! Okay, these stones you can pick up. At least of those ones, anyway. Alright, I think I have enough for an altar. So let's get over here. Let's build our flame altar. Or, fl yeah, flame altar. There we go. Put this down. Oh, oh, okay. So this is your base location. So you want to put this where you want to build your base. I'm going to try to get as much flat area as possible because I have a feeling you probably don't want to build on, a, on a, uh, an, an uneven area. That looks good. Commune with the flame. You are not alone. <laughs> Wait a minute! I've heard this before. You are not alone. There are other survivors drowsing near in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid in your journey. Go gently. No, don't never go gently. One beckons nearby, just outside of the shroud's grasp. Uh can you wait until uh, daytime to build your base? You probably can. I I would assume you need a bed or something like that, though. Uh, Legendary. Is that way you can sleep away the day? I assume. Okay, wait a minute. You can upgrade the altar? Extend the building range? Are you serious? Oh, I need a shroud core, though, so we we'll probably need to do that. Strengthen the flame? So, gain global benefits. Redistribute your skill points. Oh, this is... Do you upgrade your character at the uh, flame altar? Extinguish the flame to remove your flame altar. Beware, the area is not protected by flame. Will be consumed by the shroud. Oh! Okay, so if you put your flame altar down, it protects that area from the uh, enshroudment. Enshrouded. But if you take it away, you, your items still stay there. However, they can be taken over by the enshrouding. Okay. Okay, we're going to close it. I guess now I can build? <gasps> yes, I can. I mean, we're not going to make this permanent. I'm just going to put it down here for now. That way I can uh, repair my freaking sword. Can I repair? There's no repair button here? What's happening? I just want to repair! Okay, there we go. Backpack? Did it just instantly repair? Because I didn't have to do anything with that. It just repairs it automatically? Okay. I mean, that works. I thought I was going to have to do something. Well, I'll take that. I'm so used to not having a uh, lock on. Give me all your stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll take your cloth. And your, ra your runes. What is this? What is this? Oh, is that an animal? Oh, it is! Come here, little... Uh, what is this? A bunny? Oh, no, a ram! It was for science. It was for science. Don't judge me. Oh, he has another, another sword. Okay, I got, I got double swords here. I'm probably going to need... Can I build anything else? Yeah, I think as soon as you activate it, it just repairs everything. You don't have to worry about manually doing it. <laughs> don't judge me, Heather! <laughs> Pal World and Shrouded Nightingale. Plenty of open world survival games coming out, huh? Dude, Carwinius, no joke. And, I mean, they're starting off strong. And Shrouded is a very good one. Pal World it is like literally breaking records. 
We're starting off strong. This is gonna... I think 2024 is gonna be the year of the survival game. We have Light No Fire. We don't know if that's this year or not, but I assume Light No Fire is coming out this year. Maybe way later in the year. Probably like November, October-ish. But man, this is gonna be the year of the survival game, I think. Okay, Shroud Spores. A strange kind of energy. It appears unstable for now, but perhaps it can be refined. All right, let's do manual crafting. Can I make a tool? Uh, I need an axe. I need stone. Oh my god, I need a stone for all this stuff. Shields. I can make a shield. Let's do a shield. Uh, I can make a bow. And now I can make wooden arrows. Now I think... Oh, wait. Oh, do you just... Oh, okay. Wait a minute. If I equip it on my character, does it take it out of my backpack? No, my bow is still here. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I don't need this thing. Put that up here. And I don't have a box yet. So I do have my bow. So we'll do that. Do I need my construction hammer? An archaic building tool fueled by the flame capable of quickly erecting various structures around your home. Can only be used within range of a flame altar, so you probably don't need to carry that with you all over the place. Wait a minute! And it does not use stamina? It doesn't use stamina to, to fire the bow? Because I, I haven't pulled and it's not using my stamina. Like in, in uh, Valheim, the second you start pulling on the bow, it will use your stamina, and you actually drain your stamina. This one, let's see. That is not very effective. That's a big drop-off as well, okay. That's a, it's a decent bow. I assume we get better upgraded uh, bows as well. And the- OH MY- JESUS! That was a one-hit kit! Oh my god! Alright! Am I not- am I low on health? Is that what's going on here? Let me do this. Let's go get our backpack. I mean- Wait a minute. I have my- wait a minute, I died. Okay, I died, but I keep all my my stuff. I don't well, I don't keep all of it. I drop some of it. So you don't drop everything, you drop a portion of your inventory. You drop half, maybe? I'm trying to think of everything that I have equipped, like all my weapons and stuff, they're still there. Like I didn't drop any of my weapons. Hey, Oh my god, no, no, how do I block? Oh, left bumper, okay. Let me see if I can block this guy. Come on, hit me. I'm gonna try to block you with my shield. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. These enemies are really simple, though. I had to wait for him to hit me. Okay, so you don't drop all of your items. You drop, like, half. Can I take all? Yeah, let's take all. Yeah, you don't drop all of your items. And so I gotta remember, my block is my left bumper, and my bow is my right or left trigger. Alright, can I cancel out of this? Can I cancel this? Okay, the only way to cancel it, I guess, is to dodge or do another action. Alright. And I'm not seeing any skills. <clears throat> Poke him, Jason! Poke him hard. <laughs> oh, it's like Raft, where you lose half of everything. It's what it feels like, uh, A-Train. I didn't lose everything, I just used half. Or lost half. All right, we have wait a minute. We have a skill tree here. Is it because I leveled up? 
I mean, holy cow, that is a, that is a skill tree right here. Holy mackerel. So they have different areas, but they all come out of the same one. So if I want to be like tank or warrior, bottom right here, so merciless attack, I can do, um, this is going to be ranger and assassin area, beast master, survivor, athlete, barbarian. Okay, so it's broken up into four different skills. You see how these ones are all red? Barbarian, warrior, athlete, tank. And then you have the green one, which is survival, survivor, beastmaster, ranger, assassins. Okay, so it's only three. Trickster, wizard, healer, battle mage. Okay, so you have your magic, you have your range, and then you have your melee, it looks like. Well, I'm going to go with this, probably. What is this? Mason, the pickaxe deals 30% more damage against stone objects, including resource veins. Or we can go with merciless attack. Perform a merciless attack by pressing Y to deal massive damage to an enemy you've overpowered. Overpower. To overpower an enemy, fill their stun bar by attacking while they block or by parrying their attacks. Well, let's do that. And then we can start doing this. We need more attributes on down here. Oh, it gets more expensive the deeper you get down in here. Okay. Like, you need five skill points just to unlock this. All right. So you have your one little node, and then... So you have a, a, a cheap node, an expensive node, an expensive node, an expensive one. Oh my god, four. Increase health by 50 per attribute point. What? I should have done that one. I think you need to unlock it, though. Power pair. Oh my god, I skipped one. I went right to that one. Crap. <laughs> I should have done this one first. Increase the enemy's stun bar gain on parry attacks. Crap. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Uh, claim a spot for your base. I've done that. Talk to the flame. I've done that. I've talked to the flame. Upgrade. No, no, I can't do any of this. Up. Reset points. I need runes. I need money for that. All right. Can I build? Um, crafting. I don't like that it's in a menu. I'm not liking this. Um... Do I need to go over here? Um, I don't like this at all. This is very arc. You need to build your, like, blocks. Like, your stone block for your building. Your uh, wood block. Your tarred wood. So I can do that. There we go. So now I have wood blocks in my inventory. Oh my god, that's very small. Are you serious? And if I set it there? Yeah, see? Oh my jeez. Oh. I'm not liking that. Can I remove it? I, you can remove it. So that's a good point. I like that. But you can't... Mm. You have to literally build a block and it's this small? Are you serious? Oh, yes. This is not fun. I'm not liking this at all. You have another menu that has walls and floors. I Yeah, Kimberly, but I mean, if they're all this tiny... Jeez. They gave me a hundred, don't get me wrong, but... I would rather you double the size and give me fifty. That way I don't have to sit here for twenty minutes trying to get these little tiny squares to match up. Are you kidding me? Look at this. I gotta match up these little squares. These things are way too tiny. And then I messed up, and now I gotta do it again. Oh my god. That's not cool. This is not cool at all. Oh, see, wrong. Gotta go down. Oh my... No, see? Uh, I'm not a big fan of this. Go down. Survival Bob was on earlier. Use the hammer! I got the hammer. I mean, what... I'm using the hammer. What do you mean? Oh, enter build mode. It's like the shape you want to build with. There you go. It's like the material you want to build with. 
Open the sub menu to select from different shape categories. There we go. All right. All right. I was uh, wrong on that. Thankfully. Thank God. The fact that I can just do... Uh, can I remove this? I mean, yeah, let me remove all this stuff. Can I not? No, no, no. Let me back up. Back out. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Undo the building action. Oh, let me cancel out. How do I cancel out? Finish. Jesus. They make everything overly complicated. <laughs> Alright, so I have to get used to the building. Does it leave a hole in the ground? Yeah, there's a hole in the ground now. Oh, God. That's not good. <laughs> All right, you have to get used to this, uh, this mode here. All right, foundation. Do I only get one? Oh, goodness. Oh my, do I have to make... <laughs> Remove that. Oh, it's a huge block. Okay. Can I just make a little flat floorboard? <laughs> do I not get that? More shapes. One meter, two meter. Oh my, good lord. Yep. Rooftops. Terrain. So I'm at the smallest one. I'm at the one meter. Oh no, no. Two meter. Was I at the four? Oh my goodness. So I need 256. So each individual little square, you just can build more of them at once. So you need a crap ton of wood. You need a crap ton of wood. Okay, so now my, my, next, uh, my next question is, is there a weight limit? Is there a weight limit on this? I'm not seeing a weight limit. So I need to go out here and I need to uh, chop a whole bunch of wood. Get a whole bunch of stone. Let's get a, uh, let's get an axe. Let's get an axe going on here. That way I can chop some wood for real. Cannot do that one. You're going to need a sh... Shoot, uh, a crap ton. A crap ton. A crap load. <laughs> Jason loves it hard. <laughs> oh, yes. You know it. Alright, let's build a... Um, let's build a... Do I not have my axes? Manual crafting? Oh, there we go. Axe. Like that. Up. Oh, then we don't have enough for that, so we need more twigs for that. I got it, though. Oh, it's two-handed for the axe. Okay. Oh, he goes crazy. Okay, so if you hold it down... If you hold it down when you're, uh, cutting stuff down, it goes nuts. Is that another ram over there? Oh, this is a good tree. Give me all that wood. How about this one? Give me a second. No wait, just the li space limit like No Man's Sky. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like it. And the same thing for like uh, Power World. There's not a weight limit per se, it's just an item limit. And so... Hopefully they give you a backpack or something to increase your inventory because that's not a big inventory Maybe the items are limited so you don't need a big inventory, but it feels like it's very small And believe me I know about small um, Okay, so we got a lot of plant fiber 
We have wood logs, 78. We're going to need some stone, though. Well, let's go, uh, let's pick up a little bit of stone. Let's get a pickaxe. Let's see if I can get a whole bunch of, uh, stone. Make me a, uh, pickaxe. There it is. Oh, they have a little highlighted area. Okay. So I assume, because I can't, I couldn't pick this one up earlier. So do I just hit it? Oh, not that. Are you serious? I, it bothers me a little bit that they don't automatically pick. Like, it doesn't automatically pick up. If I break something, it probably means I want it. So just let me have it. Don't make me manually pick it up. Can I pick this? Oh, you can. Okay, that's automatically picking up. Wait a minute. Can I pick the ground? You can pick into the ground. What? Okay. Two logs makes a hundred of the basic blocks. Oh, yeah. So we should be good on wood. I want to make some stone, though. Stone feels like it'd be more of a, uh, a stable thing. Dude, I'm getting dirt. I'm getting... There's dirt and stone? I like this. This is very uh, No Man's Sky, like voxel, like smooth. Like in, um, in Valheim, they're larger chunks. Like when you pick something, it brings off like a block. This, it's a more smooth transition. Look at that. We're actually making like... Oh my god, okay, I like that. I like that a lot. It looks it looks a lot better. This looks way better. And yeah, there's definitely not a weight limit, because man, I would have hit it by now. Yeah, considering I have 63 stone. Let's cut this. Okay. I like this. So now we're going to be making a whole bunch of stone blocks. Let's do this. Rough stone block. Rough wood block. Let's do a whole bunch of rough stone. <laughs> So how much do we have for the rough stone block? 3,000! <laughs> Look at that! 3,000! Are you kidding me? Alright, there should be plenty of stone for a little while. Let's see. Let's see how long this is gonna last. Um, let's do this instead. Wait a minute, not that one. That one. This will get me going here. Enter build mode. Rough stone. Um, I mean, I assume I'm going to need the 4 meter. Oh, I need 256 for that. Oof. Can I do the 2 meter? Can I not put it down in this hole? Okay, the, um... The... The lock-on is really hard. What the... Yeah, it's not... It's not, like, connecting. All right, the... The connecting points are really, really hard to deal with here. I just put it down here? Nope. Well, I put it somewhere. There it goes. Yeah, see, it's a weird... Like, the... The points, the snapping points are very strange. Okay. Yeah, look, look I'm not getting... A snapping point for this. Can I do this? Okay, down. Yeah, see? It's there, but you gotta find it. Like, yeah, you gotta find that snapping point. It's a really strange snapping point, for sure. And maybe it's just for controller, but it feels awkward. Yeah, like that. That is... 
That's a strange snapping point. You gotta be a weird angle. Cool, and build inside? Oh, I'm sure you can. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be our ground. So this is gonna be our, basically our floor. Yeah, look at, oh. Yeah, see, weird snapping point. There it is. You gotta be at a weird, yeah, you gotta be at a weird distance. So it, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but you'll get used to it. It just, it's not naturally where I'd think it would be. Like, you gotta be a ways away for it to snap. That's really strange. That's a weird angle. Nope, I'm missing. I need more. So let's get out of that. Let's go get some more rock or stone or whatever. There we go. I'll pick all this up. Now, it feels like they purposely put you in that area because there's lots of stone and there's lots of wood around. So you can kind of get your basics down. Let's, uh, let's get some food going on in here. Time to pick up the little one from school. Thanks for the stream, Jason. Cheers! Dude, Jason K, very much appreciated you hanging out. Is the game procedural with portals? John G, as far as I know, it's not procedural. When we made our world, there was no options for a seed or any kind of settings for it, so... I assume that every time you start a new game in Enshrouded, it's always on the same map. It's always using the same area. This is a hardcore tree. It's not going down easy. There it goes. Now, can I make the blocks with here? No, it looks like you have to make a... Uh, you have to go to a workbench to make your blocks. Alright. I can make a shirt. Oh, no, I can't. I need string. So, ragged stuff. I need. I can get some of it. Give me my pants. I got some pants going on now. Thank God. Got my ragged pants. Threadbare and then match or see uh, ragged. We'll do ragged. That's an upgrade, right? There we go. So now I got a little bit more defense going on. I like the oh dang it. I like the uh, the music in this game. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It sounds really good though. Ooh, did you just burn through 30k stone blocks? I did a train like real fast. So every foundation was 64 and I put down a ton of foundation. And to be fair to them, it is a block block. So it looks like it's only flat on the top, right? But if I go in here, I can show you what it looks like. It's, it's an actual square. So that is actual full on square. So when you put it down in the ground, you only see the top of it. So that's why you're burning through 64 for each foundation square, foundation piece. You had a lot of dirt. So I don't think, I sadly, I think you cannot pop a resource in here. <laughs> It doesn't look like it's going to collapse. Actually, you know what? We should try. 
Let's see if we can get it to collapse in on itself. Like, if we just cut out the bottom, will the uh, top just float? I assume it will. From the, uh, the way the engine is working, it looks like it'll just float. If we just cut through here completely. I know, you're tired, buddy. Let's see how much we got in our backpack. We have a lot of stone. We got 81 stone! And I like how they highlight the area you're gonna pick from. That way you know where you're gonna hit. Not a smart move to be underneath the rock I'm about to collapse. But, you know, we have to try it. We gotta try it. Um, Heather says good. Cube! It's cube. Yeah. Cube. Square. <laughs> it's in 3D, so I guess cube would be better suited for that. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna let me collapse this thing. Are we gonna find it? It just doesn't look like it. I'm starting to get echoes, you hear that? I'm starting to get echoes because there's more rock around me, so it's reverberating. That's really cool. <laughs> it's like I'm in a cave! <laughs> I like how he's using the pickaxe the wrong way. Shouldn't the pointy end be going forward? Maybe that's why I'm not getting so much rock out of this, because I'm using it the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm in a cave because I'm surrounded by stone. That's pretty good. I, I appreciate good sound in games. It, a lot of people don't notice it, because, you know, it's just whatever, but man... Playing something with really good sound is awesome. I love it. I got some creepy sound happening here. Is there music going on? What's going on here? So let's um craft some stone blocks. I wish you could craft more than one, so I don't have to tap it every time. I'm gonna have a seizure looking at that screen. Alright, so I've made 5,000. Are you serious? I've made 6,000 stone. You see how it overflowed, so it stacks up to 5,000. You get 5,000 blocks on one single stack, and then it goes into another one. So I have 6,400 stone blocks. Let's see what I can build with this. So we need to extend this out a little bit more. Um, yep, we need to do this side over here. Come on. Here you go. It's such a weird, like... We gotta extend out a little bit more this way. Come on. This way. Oh, come on. Just... Just... There you go. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I'm just blowing through all that stone I just picked up. <laughs> Look at this! I'm almost- I'm already down to 4,000! There we go. Yeah. 
They need to be able to craft, like, in sets of ten or something. So now, we're gonna switch over to wood. And I mean, technically, I can get a little bit wider. Uh, so I do kind of like this building menu. You have to get used to it for sure. It is not normal. So there is a shift. You can move it. Needs a drag from one end to the other, then build... Yeah, some kind of a build more than one thing. You know, option. Do they join together pretty seamlessly? They do. Look at that. I mean, mm. <laughs> one little window. We should probably not do that, so let's do this. I like how they give it right back to you, though. All right. There you go. It actually does look seamless, though. That looks pretty seamless. This is gonna be very rudimentary, you guys. Cause you know I'm not a big base builder, at least at first. Until I get used to the, uh, all the objects you can use. go. Alright, I'm getting the hang of this. I'm getting the hang of this. And then I'm gonna go back to, like, Valheim and I have to relearn how to do Valheim building again. So now I need a roof. Do I have to worry about... wait. Oh, it does not snap. What? What? Do I not have enough? What is this? Oh, I didn't make roof blocks? Are you serious? I have to make roof blocks. All right, let's make different blocks for different things. Let's do uh, plant fiber roof blocks. I made a whole bunch of regular uh, wood roof or wood blocks because, you know, I thought I needed only one block. You suck, Jason. No, Jason, you suck. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, is that Beeblebum raiding? Beeblebum, thank you so much for the raid. Very much appreciated. Dude, I mean, I think the game plays really well. It's just some of it's not intuitive. You have to like basically learn how to play the game like building. I think the building is good, but you have to figure it out. And that's the hard part. Like there's a lot of other games that kind of share building mechanics. And so there's similarities here, like building your uh, your wood blocks or your stone blocks, but the fact that you have to build a freaking roof. No, we'll do that. We'll do plant fiber roof. Screw it. So now we can build some uh, plant fiber. Did that lock on? 
Oh my god. Yep. You gotta get it. It's a weird angle. It's such a weird angle you have to look at as well. Like, that's the thing. And it does not look like there's any kind of, uh... Oh god. Where's this thing at? There it is. It does not look like there's any kind of an issue with weight. Like, you don't have to worry about making sure they're all connected and they're all weighing together. You know, like, if you put too much weight or too far from your base, like your bottom, like in Valheim, you're good still. It's just the weird auto... The the connection points are so... in a weird angle. I'm gonna need a lot more plant fiber. <laughs> Dang it! Yeah, I'm gonna run out real quick. This is gonna be the tallest roof of all time. Goodness. Here it is. Yeah, see, I'm already out. But yeah, there's no, like, there's no weight limit, though. That's pretty good. I like that. That's a bonus. That's a big roof, I know. It looks smooth for a plant one. Look at that. And it has gutters on it. I like that. It looks cleaner than the uh, Valheim roof. I'll say that. The Valheim roof looks like a big haystack. <laughs> At least this one looks kind of like a roof. Uh, I would have gone for the large four uh, meter roofs. Oh, I should have did that. I didn't have very many. Uh, I didn't have very, very many blocks. But yeah, I should have done that. <laughs> I should have did that, people. I'm not used to the sizes like that. I can't see a dang thing! That is crazy how dark it gets. Absolutely nuts. At least I can chop wood over here. Let's see if I can get this guy. cloth. I should probably make some, uh, I should probably make some clothing as well. <laughs> Just thinking about it now. I probably should make some clothing. I put my door on the wrong side. <laughs> oh, well, whatever, whatever. Okay. I don't think I picked up any plant fiber, did I? No, I did not. I picked up, <laughs> dang it. Oh, I can make a glider. I just need a uh, string and shroud wood. A grappling hook. You get this automatically? I thought uh, in the demo you had to earn that. All right. I mean, I'll take that. Let's do some clothing. Can I make some? I need string and I need string. Okay, can I make string? Can I make string? I can't. Oh, I can't. I need plant fiber, and I already used it for my roof. Son of a... <laughs> it's not too late to add another door. I mean, I should... You know what? We haven't done that. Let me see. If I break something, will it break the thing above it? I haven't tried that yet. Let's see. Um, no, we need... No, 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 no. Let's go to a different thing here. I know I don't have any material. Let me go to the, uh, what's it called? Oh crap, I'm on No, don't do me an un don't give me an undo, you son of a Don't give me the undo button. I wish I could remove that button. I definitely need to undo that. Or I need to remove the undo, because that's not what I want. I keep hitting B button to go back, not to undo. I want to back out of this menu. Okay. Enter building mode. Can I change the materials? It won't let me. Like, 
Can I... Mm. I want to change over to regular. But can I go to a wall? Okay. Wall, got it. Jesus. We have a roof there. Or we have a doorway there. Goodness. Let's see. Can I do this? Did not matter. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Can I remove this one? This is just, just to test it out now. Yeah, there's nothing holding up those roof panels. So weight has no business in this game. They have nothing holding up all those roof panels. Okay, so you don't need any, like, any supports or anything like that. Okay. There it is. You might need to switch to a keyboard. Maybe. It's just... I guess, yeah, it's just killing me. I'm like... My natural reaction to back out of a menu is to hit B. The problem is... Oh, you guys can't even see that. Alright. The problem is... Let me, let me move my face cam out of the way. The problem with that is, like, if you're in a build menu... Look at that bottom right hand corner of the screen. It says to undo, press B. So I'm not backing out of the menu. I'm undoing what I just did, which is a pain in the ass. So I don't want to do that. I want to literally just exit the menu. So that is going to be a natural problem for me to relearn how to not to do that. <laughs> well, speaking of that, controller bindings. Can I change anything? No. I can look at it, but I can't change it. Okay, go to settings. Controls. Oh, there's presets. All right, well, we're just going to stay with preset A. Let's do this one. Ready range weapon. Quick item wheel. Fire range weapon. Lock and parry. Use item. Actually, this might be better. This might be better. The problem is... I already learned how to do a lot of stuff with the older... Well, my original one. Jump, cancel evade, undo build action. Y and B. Hmm. Contextual action, respawn, use on weapon. Uh, what about this one? Uh, do we have another one? Oh, no, you can customize it. Well, let's go with B. Let's go with B and see how well that works. So, build mode. <gasps> I do like it. Okay. Because. Let me show you. Now, when I go into the build menu, you have to hit Y and B together in order to undo. Y and B together to undo it. I like that. So that might work better for me. Anyway. I need to go get some plant fiber. So let's get out of that. Everything else looks kind of the same. Okay, yeah, everything else is feeling the same. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> I'm just chasing something down. Let me get into my my torch. Oh my god, it's a little uh, bunny. Yeah, it looks like a little bunny. I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to do that. We need plant fiber, though. Oh, uh, what a pain in the ass. Uh, like a lot of things, you can look at it, but you can't touch it. <laughs> oh! There we go. Oh, this actually uh, control setting B might be my uh, my thing because that's natural. I hit X to pick up stuff. Whoa. Oh, really? You want some of this?
Okay. It did change up the attack, so now my attack is my right bumper. And not X. X is, uh, I guess, using items. Which I'm okay with. Okay, I definitely like- I feel like this is gonna be a better control scheme set up for me. Because now I'm using the right bumper, which is more of a, a traditional, like, Souls game. You use your right bumpers. Let me get some more water. Yeah! What is the opposite tape, people, bum? <laughs> so Jason has been building for one and a half hours, and I just built a small shack and went adventuring! The world is upside down. I know I need to do that, uh, people. I need to, but I'm so I'm so obsessed with trying to get my uh, my base up and ready to go. That way I can go with stuff. Uh, finally, a break from the tedious work. My bones are sore, but the warmth of a fire, a little shelter, and some sleep should allow me to become well rested. I want to sleep to get well rested. Food is getting scarce. I hear they're planning an expedition. Thankfully, I hid some rations below my bed. They will make for a nice meal when cooked over a fire. I guess I need to make a fire now, huh? Oh god, don't do that! Don't jump! Oh my god! I just jumped in the fire! Let's cook. Oh, the food needs to be in your action bar? Son of a... I don't have any food in my action bar. Oh, you literally hold it! That's in the log, buddy. You're gonna get all charcoal all over your food. You better- yeah, just don't do that. Okay, so you need it in your action bar. That way you can actually, like, cook it. Like, it's an action, not just a, oh, have it with you and you're good. Alright. I need some plant fiber. I need the bushes. I need some bush. The freak are the bushes? Oh, wait a minute. Let me pull out my, uh, my torch. I need some bush. Oh, there it is. There's a good bush. Two plant fiber? I need five to make a, a thing. Oh, God. We need a lot of these little bushes. So what I'm hearing is A, close, B, fire. C, bed, R, needed. Oh, yes. I need to make some... Do I have any? Like, I know I can craft my own, um... Uh, my own ragged, uh, pants and stuff. I need string, and you need plant fiber to make string. Okay. All right, all right. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Oh, but... Oh, God! Don't mess with me, man. Oh, now it's daytime. Okay. That sun came out real quick. <laughs> Give me all the bush. Thank you. Need all the paint fiber they'll let me have. Maybe don't go to the menus out in the wild and dark. Well, yeah, I have to get used to the menus being not a pause. There's no pause in this, just like in Dark Souls. You're not pausing the game if you go into a menu or anything like that. As far as I know. Maybe the actual pause menu is, but I doubt it. Oh, yeah! Auto lock on, buddy. You can suck it! It's way easier than uh, Valheim when you have to manually uh, go after stuff. I don't have to manually aim at things. Oh, look at that! There's th oh, there's actual... Whoa, whoa! Down here, okay. So that's the enshrouded cloud, I guess. But look at those buildings off in the distance. Look at that. Okay. Oh, that's my building! I was like, what is this? There's a building over here. <laughs> that's my building. Oh, 
Oh, no, not that one. This one. <laughs> Oops, I was trying to axe it. For wood axe. Have any bushes around here I can get some plant fiber from? That's a different tree. I wonder if this gives you different wood. I don't see any. Nope. Resin! Wait a minute. Okay, so the, do the red trees give you resin? Sorry. You're a bad dog. Sorry. I don't like doing that except for you're a bad dog. I just called my cat Beebs instead of Beans. <laughs> what are you doing over there? What is this? This looks different. Oh, wait a minute. Let's try to pick it. Flint! Okay. So you can get flint in this game as well, huh? Okay. It looks like it's more rare, though. I like the music in this game. Let's do... Let's make some roofing panels. That way we can finish off our roof. Um, uh, Where's my roof blocks? Not available in backpack! Oh, crap! Am I picking up all this stuff? Oh, jeez. Um, Let's eat this food, I guess. There you go. So hopefully this will work out a little bit better. Oh yes, we have to... Oh god! No! Um, roof? Oh wait a minute, how do I... There we go. There we go! Oh wait! Oh yeah, that's a that's a big big old one. All right. Well, I might I might need to keep with the small ones now at this point. There we go. <laughs> this is going to be a huge roof. Good lord. Now, is there flat roof plant panels? Oh, there is. Okay, we could do a flat roof. Not going to be good for the rain, but hey. It'll, it'll work. Oh, that, that's too high. Son of a... That's too low! Got a weird angle here. Come on! That's just right. <laughs> no! I'm still gonna run out! Oh my good lord! Yeah, bigger panels will still take more, so if I wanted to, I can go bigger, but it's going to take more. It'll take more uh, stuff. So that one takes 64 blocks. The small one only takes 16. And so I bet you it'll equal out to the same distance anyway, but like if you're trying to build a uh, more intricate one, you want to use the smaller ones, but they're going to use, ultimately, I think it looks like they're going to use the same amount of materials. So it's not like you get extra materials if you use the bigger one or whatever. You might actually lose more. Because I'm only using 16 for the small one. Uh, 
Need some more fiber? I need to make a box, a, uh, like a chest or something I can store my my extra stuff in. Let's drink some water. Ooh, 170%. Ooh. Oh, what is this? They took the Pike Mead's reach. They killed King Gormander. Any army of lunatics, sickly pale, barely lifting their feet above the bloodied ground. They dragged themselves through our valleys, through the miasma, led by the ma mad guard of the north, Vorgoth. I always knew the elixir would sow a seed of distrust. I look up at the ancient spire, at the sky. There is no running, no hiding. We must persevere. All right, Balthazar. Oh. Uh, Obi-Wan, no joke. You're going to have a big heating bill with that roof. Now, I would put a rotating fan up there to make sure that the air was rotated throughout the house, but it doesn't look like we have any uh, rotating fans, any ceiling fans in this game. <laughs> So yeah, my heating bill is going to be rough. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of arrows already. Okay. I'm done, son. Oh, is there a... Oh, there's a basement to this? This doesn't seem well. Oh, yeah, don't mess with that. Those mushrooms, I forgot. All right, search. Just take it all. Loot that. We got torn cloth. Torn cloth. Search him. Get all that stuff. There's nothing else down here. Oh, this sucks. I'm gonna die in here. Wait. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a good place to be. Oh, there's a chest I saw. Loot that. Loot that. That seems like it would hurt your foot. Flint arrows? Let back backpack is full. No, no. I definitely need to make a chest or something. Cause, good lord, this is killing me. Um, can I eat this? It's raw wolf meat. Oh, maybe don't eat the raw one. Eat the. Uh, do we have anything edible? I'll eat the honey. I don't think I can eat it again. Oh my god, I need to eat one. Oh Jesus. Can I switch? Can I switch something? You cannot put something in the chest to take the flint arrows out. Son of a... I can't put anything in the chest. Okay, not. Oh my god. I, I definitely need something. Okay. Um, Threadbare pants. Can I throw that away? Can I do an action on this? Can I, uh, actions. Delete. Oh, <laughs> I can just delete it. <laughs> Let's delete this as well. Now we can grab some more stuff like these flint arrows. Old book. Okay. All right, we need to get out of here. All right. Whew. We got old books. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to help us at all, but we have old books. Okay, let's see if I can make a chest around here somewhere. Um, uh, 
Weapons, survival, bandage, string, workbench. Okay, so rough storage. I can make a a glider. That's not storage. <laughs> oh wait, I can. I need. I am at a workbench. Oh, not available in the backpack. I need. <laughs> I'm making the storage so I can get rid. Mm. Killing me. All right, we're gonna get rid of this. Delete that. Thank you. Make me a chest. Where'd that chest go? All right, we're gonna replace that. No, no, no. That. Here. So now, let's see. That does not look like a lot of storage. This does not look like a lot of storage to me! That's a... I take it back. It doesn't look like a lot, but it is. I just realized my food is not expiring. Look at this. Wax, my meat. All this stuff is not expiring. Hmm. Wait a minute. Let me use my controller. Don't use the uh, mouse. I mean, it's a half good step. Like, you can refill your stacks, you can deposit all, you can take all. I wish it was not a uh, menu. I wish it was just an action button. But okay. Metal scraps, tar. I got tar! Gek! I even got tar in a whole different game, buddy. <laughs> you can't beat me. Oh, there's an actual better shield, it looks like. What is that? I'm gonna... Oh, you gotta... Equip that one. Yeah, I have a, I have a stone shield and then a wooden shield. I'll take that stone shield. Okay. So I want the actual stone. I don't want the flint stone. <laughs> the flint stone! Um, I don't think... Do you need the bow in your hotbar if you have it equipped? I don't think you do. Um, All my food. Resin we don't... Oh, God. Resin we don't need. Raw wolf meat. Yeah, we probably do need that. This needs to go up here. That goes in my inventory. These go in my inventory. I don't think you need these in your hot bars to use them. So we can do that. That makes everything simple. We can use the arrows. So I don't want to do that. Action buttons are below the window in your storage. I know. But, people bump. This is what I'm looking at. If I want to pick this up, what do I do? Actions. Move. And now I have to manually move it over here. That's what. That's why the mouse, I can literally just put it down. I can just go, boom, done. Done. When you're on a controller, you literally have to select it, then manually drag it over. I wish there was a hot move. Just a quick move. <laughs> a quick move button. Don't look over there. Oh, dang it. I can't block it. Don't look at this one right here. Don't look at that. That doesn't exist. No, no, no. <laughs> that doesn't exist. Crap. <laughs> ah. That doesn't move. That doesn't that doesn't count. That doesn't count. <laughs> oh. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I told you guys there's a quick move button down there. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Jason not reads. Jason not reads good. <laughs> All right. So I think we're okay on our inventory now. Now we've got the inventory situation kind of under control. We need more plant fiber. So let's see. I don't have my uh I don't have my bow in my my hotbar, right? But I can still use it. 
Okay, so you don't need your items in your hotbar in order to use them and equip them. That's nice. So you can only only want this stuff in your hotbar that you need to equip to use. That works. Add quote, Jason not reads good. <laughs> oh, what is this? Shoot down bees. Oh, for uh, retrieve honey. Be careful. The hives are usually protected by their swarm. I have not gotten hit by one yet. Yeah, that was nothing. Okay. So we need more plant fiber, you guys. Let's look around here. Okay, I hate the fact that it- look at that. It automatically put that stuff in my freaking, um... In my hotbar. Why would you do that? Why would you put it in my hotbar? Why would you automatically put that stuff in a hotbar? I can get, like, if you want to put weapons or you want to automatically put, like, items, usable items in there. And I mean, I guess a mushroom is usable, but that should instinctively go into your your inventory and if you want to eat it then it should go to your hotbar anyway i'm just complaining i'm just complaining at this point because i don't understand i don't read good half naked man bothers bees sounds like a legit good idea a hundred percent hundred percent let me get my resin out of here There we go. Let's see if I can get any more, um, any more bush. Long keep. Did I go through here? I think I went through here, right? Oh, no, I didn't. Obviously. I left all that stuff. Oh, yeah, these guys are here. These- okay, so it looks like the brown trees are gonna give you resin. And some logs. Okay, I'll, I'll take a little bit of logs from that, but I want the resin. I don't know what I need the resin for, but I want it. There's a thing up there. Can I climb? Oh, there's no climbing. There's no, uh, climbing like, uh... Like in- what's it called? The, uh, Zelda. Oh, wait. Loot that. Excuse me while I break all your stuff to get your materials. <laughs> Picture of food. Berries in here. Jasmina, is it true? The ancients call upon you to stay behind as the rest of us slumber. Will you be there when I awake? Please. You cannot leave my side. You are my all. Why must we change? I miss the old days when we used to travel together, side by side. You let me linger next to you. You held my hand. And now, all this or secrecy? For what? I thought you could confide in me. I don't want the ancients to drive us apart. I'll lose all faith. If you must go, at least give me a farewell kiss. All of my heart. Okay, this guy's being really dramatic. Uh. Nothing down here. Oh, wait. What is this? Is that a door? Whoa! Secret door! And we got bandages out of there. Okay. Really? You got an axe right to the face there, buddy. That sound is good. You can hear it echo off the stone. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So there's no climbing. Oh, do you think I can make it? Oh, I can! Suck it, wood. 
More bandages. <laughs> okay, so they definitely want you to heal yourself. What is this? Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a door somewhere else. Okay. Steve McNeely with the super chat. Very much appreciated, Steve, saying Jason plays in Hello Games presents Read No Books. <laughs> Very much appreciated, man. Oh, 17. Oh, have I been down here? I have not. The Blue Jays no longer drift so carelessly through the air. Something is changing. A nebula flows towards us, spring from the abyss like a tidal wave. They call it the Shroud. It carries disease and suffering, changes soil and people. I must understand this madness, but discovering a remedy will be difficult with the supply lines cut off by the soldiers. Oh, we can search that. We got wood logs and all, and looks like a uh, thread. Oh, there's a chest right here. Requires a lock pick. I'm gonna need to make a lock pick. I wouldn't trust the water that I just got out of a nasty looking thing. Oh, you could just dismantle books? <laughs> okay. Way well, we better do that though. Ah, suck it, books. Uh, maybe you need to unequip the axe to climb? Oh, that might be it. That might be it. I didn't You're try that. Good. Let me see. No, I don't think so. There's not even any grab animations. And a metal shield. That's pretty good. Hey, you are, Steve. That took a uh, that took a minute. Um. There we go wanted to heal up real fast. Yeah, I don't see any kind of... Yeah, there's no climb. Even if you get up to, like, close to an edge, it doesn't look like it. Like, there's no clamber up or anything like that. You can only jump up to where you can land. I mean, it's still pretty good, though. The movement's really, really fast and smooth. Like, compared to Valheim, this is a very fast, fast-paced game. Wait a minute. Just drop wood. Dang it. I was, I was hoping maybe it would drop some uh, thing. You can climb grates on walls. Oh, okay, so you have to have you have special climbing areas. So if it's like a a walled area that has like uh, vines and stuff, I assume. All right. Let's get, see if I can get some more uh, plant fiber. I just want to finish my freaking roof. That's all I want. That way I have a shelter. I can also make a bed. I assume I can probably make a bed right now. Oh, what is this? A bridge? Uh oh. There we go. Now we're getting plant fiber. What is this? I definitely need to get more stamina. A treacherous chasm? You need a grappling hook to cross it. Oh! So I need to make a grappling hook. I want. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. That's a plane. Holy moly, they're getting low. Yeah, I, you guys can probably hear that. I can hear it. Holy mackerel. That plane was flying low. Hopefully it's not too low. Oh, 
when Jason jumps, it looks like he's river dancing. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it does. I like prancing. It's not a jump, that's a prance. A smaller house would have solved the lack of building materials. Maybe. <laughs> you gotta go big or go home, Beeble Bum. I went too small with my, uh, my Valheim house. I learned my lesson. And now I'm going too big, so yeah. <laughs> There's that. Alright. I like the roof. It looks- even the crappy, like, uh... Uh, plant, like the, uh, fibers look cleaner than Valheim's, uh, building materials. Alright, let's make some, uh, roof. We can go over to here, construction mode. The auto, the lock is just, it feels like it's not... Mm. Is that right? Okay, that is right, okay. It just, I hate the... Yeah, that looks too high. There you go. It doesn't auto snap, like, correctly. Yeah, like th that one! That one was too high! What the crap? I mean... I will- I will give them credit. They have an auto-delete button that's really fast. You don't have to worry about, oh god, I have to go up there and destroy it or whatever. You can just delete it. So that's good. I like my, uh, my 15 foot high ceilings. <laughs> I like having, uh, more airy, more, uh, more, uh, breathing room in here. There we go. Yeah, that's a- that is like literally like a 12 foot ceiling. Goodness. That's- This is too much. This is way too much. My roof is bigger than my walls. <laughs> this is terrible. The art is firmly known as Prance. Oh, yes. All right. So now we need a bed. Um, is it manual crafting? It looks like it might be. Um, uh, wand, staff, rags. I have my pants. I need my, um... Do they not use the stuff out of your box? Do I need to... Oh my god, really? I need to take all of this out of... Oh my god. Why does it auto take out of your, uh... Why doesn't it auto take out of your chest? That seems irritating to me. It's in my chest. Why not auto take it out of here? Like this. What the crap? Um. Yeah. Well, now I have my. It, what? It didn't auto stack my. Mm hmm. This needs to be up here. This needs to be up here. Yeah, I'm a complex man, Max. Uh, maybe a basement like a floor to raise up about eight feet. <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh, it's nighttime. So now, I should be able to make a, a chest piece and maybe some pants? I have a pants. Wait a minute. I have pants. So I need shoes. So I need my, uh, my chest. And then my shoes. There we go! Now we're cooking! There we go! Feeling good! Got some armor going. I'm rested. Ten minutes of rested, huh? What does that mean? Is that your stamina regens faster? It does! They took that from Valheim. That's the only time I've ever seen a rested buff. So yeah, they definitely took that from uh, Valheim. Which I love. I'll take a, I'll take a, all the good stuff. Yeah. Take all the good stuff. Need a fireplace, I assume. Oh yeah, now we can make stuff. Um... Can I not make a bed? A wooden door? I need wood logs and metal scrap. Or I need string. <laughs> Either one. Uh, looks a lot like Valheim. Kind of, kind of. 
Anyone going to try that new Kill the Justice League game that's coming out in a few days? Sith? I was able to get into the closed uh, alpha. It's a very good game, but it's a very um, online focused game. So if you're going to play uh, Kill the Justice League, you probably want to play it with friends. You can do it solo, but it didn't feel like it's as fun solo. I will say that. Metal scrap in your chest? Oh, I probably do have metal scrap in my chest. Oh my god. Why doesn't it automatically take the stuff out of your chest? Yeah, I have metal scrap right here. Oi. Oi. Why isn't it uh, stacking all of this stuff? Oh, because it's full. 20, 20 is the stack, huh? Alright, 20 is the limit. I thought that was going to be bigger. <laughs> I thought that was going to... This is a fireplace? What in the... What? What? <laughs> I didn't... Uh, okay. I thought it was going to be bigger. <laughs> you know what? That's what she said. That is exactly, Blair. Oh my god, I was not ready for that. I definitely thought it was going to be bigger. Oh, this is where I can cook my stuff? Okay. Alright, so I'm warm. I'm nice and, uh, sheltered. I can put a door up. There we go. I assume the enemies can't come into your base, but maybe they can. I, th I think the fire is protecting me. Uh, comfort level is five. So I wonder what makes it better. Like, I'm trying to find out how to make a freaking bed! Can I not make a bed? I got chairs, I got benches. I got crude wooden tables. But I don't have any beds. Is that under manual crafting? Campfire. Shields, clubs... No. Do I not have a bed? Oh, no, no. It's in red. I couldn't see it. <laughs> it's literally right there in red. I just can't see it. All right. We need plant fiber and string. Did I put my string away? <laughs> I can't see it if it's not uh, not highlighted for me. We can put that away. I mean, I guess we could just take these purple berries down here. We don't need that. <laughs> it's in red! I can't see red! <laughs> oh. Well, we need plant fiber and we need string. And I think you need plant fiber to make string. So we need a whole bunch of plant fiber. Let's go do it. go. Jason, do you need new glasses? I probably actually do. I've had these for about 10 years now, so I'm sure they're scratched to hell, and my eyes have probably adjusted to them, so I probably do need new lenses. But I also don't pay attention either, so <laughs> there's that part of it. <laughs> I need to pay attention more. There we go. Plant fiber, plant fiber. Uh, yeah, and I do think you need uh, fiber to make to, uh, string. So we got some plant fiber. Let's go back to the bed. Let's go back to the house. Oh, wait. They're regrowing! Okay, so it looks like resources regrow, but it takes a certain amount of in-game days for them to regrow, because I feel like all these are regrowing back. Do I have a... 
Okay, they do mark your home, level one. <laughs> so there's that, thankfully. All right, manual crafting, I need string. And yeah, you need plant fiber to make string. So I need one more string and twin glass. I need one more string. I could do that. Now, did I use up all my, uh... Nope, I still have enough. I just need to get my torn cloth out of here. I'm in my bed! I should probably have made a smaller house. I'm just saying. <laughs> Is that fast forward time? Or did I just happen to be right during the daytime? Like right before day uh, came? Did that fast forward time? I assume that fast forwarded time. But I don't know. I don't know. My, my dog Charlie doesn't agree at all. She's like, no, it did not fast forward time. Well, I guess we're going to do that. You need to spawn a gym. You could put that inside your house, probably, at this point. You feel rested in your bed at fast forwards time. Okay. I mean, now I am I am uh, comfort level six. So I get 11 minutes of rested. I assume that is just like Valheim, where if you're rested, your stamina regains way faster. Travel through the shroud. So let me look at our quest. We did all that. Uh, the world is lost. Locations show on the map. So I'm facing the wrong way. Okay, I need to go behind me. I need to go this way. Well, let's head over here. Do I need to go down there? Yeah, because I need to go to the question mark over here, I guess. Find the sleeping survivor. The noodle says, Bork, Bork to Charlie. Bork, Bork, Charlie. She probably can't hear me. More storage? I probably should do that. I want to venture out here, though. What the heck? Why am I shooting off to the side? There it goes. That was a weird, uh, weird glitch. I was shooting at a weird angle. Captain's Journal, Day 6. The raiders have besieged us these past two days, attacking from the bridge. Their eyes, such madness. We have, wi we, we have withheld so far, but only just. We may not survive the next assault. I've ordered the rig to pass with our last munitions. If those scavengers return, we are prepared. All right, buddy. Oh, there's a chest over here. I'm only finding bandages. That's not a good sign. <laughs> That's not a good sign at all. On the road. Nope, there's another one over here. I heard something over there. Read that. Captain's Journal, day 20. We are hungry. We had to destroy the bridge, and with it, our connection to supplies. But it worked. We haven't seen any more scavengers. The Cinder Vault and those within it are safe and should remain so. If we are to avoid starvation, we may have to take our chances in the horrible shroud. Either choice is certain death. And then they give you a, uh, a torch if you need one. And wooden arrows, thank you. I'll take the wooden arrows. I have my flint. Do I have to equip my uh, my flint or my wooden? Equip those. Oh yeah, yep, you have to. And then I assume once you're done with your regular arrows, it'll move to the flint, I think. Oh, I should have put my old books away. 
Uh, thank you so much for watching. Yes, Streamlabs. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. My cinder is lighting up the torches, huh? Stay on the path, lest the shrouds can take you. Salvation lies straight ahead. All right, we're shrouded. So we need to get through here quickly. Oh, God. All right. Give me all that. Give me that. New lore page. Oh, that was that the captain? That seems like a better way to take out the the, uh, the mushrooms or whatever. What is this? This hourglass and capsule replenishes your remaining time in the shroud. It's consumed upon use and cannot be stashed in the inventory. Oh, okay. So basically it's one of those things where you can just use it once and you're good. It basically resets my time. Search that guy. I had some runes and some cloud spores. Okay, we'll take all that. Looking for some chests. I don't see any. So they said straight ahead. So I'm not going to go left. I'm going to go straight. Where's my map? I think maybe. Let's go up here. This guy, nope, nope. In shrouded. Uh -oh. Just checking the chat. Make sure I didn't lose anything from you guys. Nothing here. I mean, you have five minutes of it. Oh, there you go. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you're carrying anything or not. You just walk into it either. You can't even. Can I jump? Oh, you can. Okay. And he climbs pretty fast. All right, your character moves pretty quickly. I'm assuming there's going to be enemies all over that. So where's my, uh... Oh, of course. That's where I have to go anyway. So yeah, we have to go this way anyway. Let me drink some water. Eat some purple berries. I don't want to eat my, uh, my meat, though, so... We'll leave that. Oh, there are enemies up here. Is he carrying a gun? Does that guy have a gun? Oh, it's a it's a bow. Okay, it's a crossbow. I was like, does that guy have a friggin' gun? That is really dangerous. So, you when you get hit, you don't really you can't really tell. Like there's no big animation on you. Like you don't get stunned or whatever. And so you can take a lot of damage and not even realize it. All right. Got to be nervous about that. Oh, I can sleep on his bed. What? That looks like a trap. That looks like a trap. Should we step on that? I mean, I assume that's a bear trap. Do you think that'll kill me? Oh, yeah, it will. It will. That messed me up. Okay. So if you get close enough, you can disarm it if you see it. All right. That gave me some damage. Didn't, didn't necessarily mess me up a lot. You can swing across chasms by using a grappling hook. Okay, so I need a grappling hook to get across that. That's okay. We'll get a grappling hook. I think I saw it in my uh, my build. Oh, uh, where's my crafting? Oh, it's probably in my uh, it's probably in my workbench. You can probably make it in your workbench. All right. So is the guy up here? Yep, he's in this direction. If you don't eat your meat, you can't have your pudding. How can you have your pudding if you don't eat your meat? I thought it was always my vegetables. My mom always said, you need to eat your vegetables. Because I didn't have any proof. I'm not going to say that. I didn't have any issues eating the rest of my meal. 
It was always the vegetables <laughs> that got you. Oh, are there enemies here? I should have known that there was going to be enemies here. What is that? What is that? I cannot lock onto it. What is this? Oh, is that bees? They're resistant? Well, that's not good. I should probably do this, right? Oh, yeah, there you go. You don't like the fire. Uh, we don't need no education. Nope. Oh, I got flowers. Okay. Bushes can conceal you when you're within them. Use them to sneak up on enemies. What? Is there enemy? Oh, there are! Okay, I didn't even see that dude over there. Is he... What is he doing? Can I backstab him? No, I'm like right next to him. I don't think you can. Whoa! That's some intense damage there, man. Woo! They do some damage. Does that mushroom not let me heal? Oh, son of a... This is not good. I'm just going to keep my my distance now. And do this. <laughs> oh, that... Oh, I'll be, I'll be almost... Come on! Let me kill him with this last arrow. Oh my god, he has like no health left. There we go. <laughs> Give me that metal scrap. Thank you. You have metal scrap as well. Okay, so I have food, right? Food type is already active. Son of a... Oh, thank God. Okay, the uh, purple berries let me regenerate my health. Purple berries. So mushroom does not regenerate your health. Got it. Any more enemies around here? I don't want to deal with you guys. Drink a potion. Oh, bandages. You guys are right on that. I, I think I have them on me. Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. Well, what is this? Got a ring? What is this ring? Eight stamina, ten health? Um, yes. Let me equip that. And then move this down here to my hot bar. Move the... I mean, I should keep it down here, but... Yeah. This needs to go down here with the food. Uh, direct use, plus two spirit. I don't even know what that does, but we'll move that up here for now. Why am I carrying the plant fiber? <laughs> oh, well. We need to definitely need to make more storage. What is this? Repair equipment? Uh, yes, please. Another failure. The cinder vessel broke down during testing. The red I used inside was charred by the coalesced flame. I a bright flash, then nothing. Thankfully, the side effect of blindness was only temporary. Oh god, thankfully. I have acquired a new subject, another rat. Igni! Hopefully our path to salvation. I cannot accept, ac accept more setbacks. I will ensure that the cinder vessel holds as if my life depended on it. It may well. The Fidget Noob! This is a new game called Enshrouded. It's not an MMO as far as I know. It is multiplayer. However... 
the uh, multiplayer, the servers are kind of iffy right now, so you probably don't want to play on a server today because everyone is in on it. Today is the first day of early access. So you can go, I believe it's only on Steam, you can get it on Steam right now, early access, and um, they will be adding to it, they will be finishing it, you know, adding more content, fixing bugs and whatever. But, I mean, I feel like this is a really, really good game. I'm really digging it. So, not an MMO per se, it's more of a survival crafting game in, in the same vein as, like, Valheim. It has a lot of similarities with Valheim. The building is very similar to Ark. So, the world is set, like, the maps are always the same. So, if you go into the, the world, the map is always gonna be the same map. There's no, like, modifiers. You can't, like, generate a seed or anything like that. However, you can build and shape the world. So your custom, your uh, game will look different than mine, depending on where you build your base and all that kind of stuff. What is going on in here? Oh, there's a person there. Suck it! I'm liking that. I'm liking that. I'm getting better at the combat. So, it does take a little to get used to the controls and the the way you do things. I don't like the traditional way you do things, so it's a, it can be a little frustrating at first. But once you get the hang of it, it's actually, it makes sense with the game world. It's just, you know, you have to get used to, oh, these controls do that. You know, like combat. You have combos, you have blocking. There's It's deep, but you have to learn how to do it. Uh, venture forth. It is done. The cinder vessel is a delicate contraption, still volatile, yet brimming with potential and hope. The first human to enter will be our true prototype, the kindling of a new spark. Thankfully, the blacksmith volunteered. He must enter the vessel and sleep until roused anew, lest he slips into eternity. May the ashes of one age sustain the seeds of the next. All right, so this is going to be a blacksmith, I assume. Oswald Anders, the blacksmith. Where did he go? What? Where did he go? Okay. Is he just gone? When you need to rest, you can fast travel back to your home by opening your map using unassigned. <laughs> Navigate to the map and select your home. Wait a minute! You can fast travel? I didn't know that! Well, crap! Can I fast travel to this? Oh, I can set as a waypoint. I can't fast travel. Okay. You can fast travel back to your home. I'm guessing you can fast travel to any base that you make. Yeah, dodge, parry, and overpower kill. It is well done. It is! The combat is really, really good. I think I like it a little bit more than uh, Valheim's combat. Valheim is good at combat, but for me, I prefer the auto-lock, so you lock on the enemies. And it feels like it's more, um, more fast-paced. Like in Valheim, you're really slow-paced. In this one, you're just doing really quick combos and parries and all that kind of stuff. Commune with the flame. This survivor will be a worthy addition to our cause. Place them into the world with a summoning staff, which you can craft from simple twigs. Okay, I need to make... Oh, I can upgrade it. Gain global benefits, strengthen the flame. I feel like... Oh, no, I need to do that. I need shroud core. Okay, so we do need all that. Never mind. So I'm guessing on the uh, repair bench. So maybe manual crafting. Yep, summoning staff. I need one twig. Are you serious? I guess they make it easy because you need to have that item. Ready to summoning staff? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Do I have to put them in a special spot? I mean, I guess I'll put them here. Oi! <laughs> Why are you yelling at me, man? Keep it brief. Oh, he t he speaks! <laughs> craft, craft first gear. Whoa, okay. Oh, wait a minute, he can make a... Okay, so now I have more... 
Okay, so as you unlock more characters, you get more items. Got it. So I can make a kiln. I can make nails. I can make a ooh a, a, an upgraded pickaxe. A lock pick. I can make a lock pick. Let's make a couple of these. A spiked club. A scrappy sword. I need nails. Do I need? Can I make any nails? One, two. Uh, yeah. Let's make a scrappy sword. Level five. Uh, oh, I need my uh, my fur stuff. I need string. I have string. Mother. Animal fur. I have that. It doesn't use anything in your boxes. That irritates me. I wish it would use the things that are near, near in your boxes. If you have a box, a storage chest within that, like, square within your base area, it should just automatically use it instead of having to keep it on you at all times. Alright. Let's get in here. So that works. We're definitely going to need to make another box. So... Where's my... Can I make an upgraded box? Why like, can't I make a... Um, I need string. Oh, wait a minute. I can make that out of uh, nails. Dang it. I need more nails. I can make an upgraded a small chest. A tiny chest, a small chest. Okay, we have a tiny one. Um, let's grab my... No, we'll get out of here. Do I have my, uh... Oh, I don't have any string. Okay, so I need to make string. Got it. Make a chest. I can only make one more. <laughs> um... This is going to be really bad, but I'm just trying to slap it down as quick. Oh, wait. let's build this over here. Where's the entrance? There it is. Hopefully, I don't need to put it outside. <laughs> At long last, I return. I am a humble blacksmith. At your service. Let's prepare you what's to come. All right. Where there's fire, there's hope. Cleansing fire. Emberville can still be saved. Where there's ash, there's embers, kid. <laughs> kid. The shroud suffocates the valley, so seek the elixir well within your new gear and raise the roof of our misery. Ignite the depths and set this evil ablaze. Go on, I'm counting on you, flameborn. Uh, the glider? Uh, the flame doesn't give you wings, kid. Craft a glider at the workbench. It'll make getting around a little easier. Perfect for brave ones like you. Don't forget that using a glider drains your stamina. But from what I've seen, you've got it in you. Alright. And well rested. Even with new gear, you shouldn't feel too safe out there. Rest up and eat well before you head out. A fire, a roof over your head, and some meat in your belly will prepare you for anything. Alright. Break a leg. Break a leg. <laughs> Okay, so he does speak. Let's see, what do we have here? Place items from your inventory here to make them available for the factory? Here you can track the production process. The factory will produce a selected recipe until no ingredients are left or the factory's inventory is full. Switch between the recipes you have unlocked for this factory here. Wait a minute. Okay, so they call it a factory. It's a charcoal kiln. I have to put in wood to make charcoal, I assume. Um, oh yeah, we need dirt as well, so I mean, I can put the dirt in there, I don't need that. Okay. We got some lockpicks over here. Rusty sword, short sword. Oh, we can salvage, what? Well, I got some swords I could salvage. I didn't realize you could salvage stuff. Because, I mean, if they don't get destroyed, you might as well salvage it, right? I have these uh, swords up here. Salvage that for seven. 
Oh, you get seven coins out of that. Well, there you go. All right. Well, we're going to put all of our uh, our blocks in there to get out of there. That is good. We have some nails, twigs, fireflies. So I want to keep the... What did I do with this? Why did I equip it? All right. I want to keep the wood and the that over there. This needs to go down here. What? I keep hitting the wrong button. Um, I guess. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, salvage that because we're gonna use this instead. I have a torch. I assume we don't need this. I have bandages. I have my food down here. We don't need the summoning staff anymore, at least right now. Okay, this is looking good. I need to keep my lockpick and put these flowers away. Put that food away. Don't need the nails. Don't need that. Oh, wait a minute. Er! That's in the other box. Don't do that. String. Let's see, this is where it's going to get bad. And anyway, here it goes. All right, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. You have awakened your kin. The flame is pleased. Seek out more survivors slumbering in the springlands. Uh, meat in my belly is always a good thing. Yes! So your roof's still too low, it seems. No! No way. It's- it's high enough. <laughs> oh. Got some logs and twigs. I want to go after and, and attack some enemies now with my new sword. I need your meat, sorry. Um, oh, I didn't make my grappling hook! I need my grappling hook so I can jump through here. Yep, grab and glide. Yeah, I need to make the, both of those. I think we'll be okay, though. I want to test out this uh, new weapon I have. So we went straight across. Let's go to the right. Because I know, like, uh, Gek, he loves going left. Hey, buddy. I'm going to test out my sword on you. That's really good. Okay, that's a good upgrade. That made a big difference. I'm assuming I'm going to need metal to make the grappling hook. Just a, just an idea. I'm probably going to need metal for that. Oh, God! I just fell down then? There you are. Take all that. Got some bones out of there. All right, let's go to the uh, to the bridge. It looks like it might be nighttime. Is there a day and night like uh, meter somewhere? I don't see any like day night meter. Like it doesn't tell you how long the day is gonna last. Oh, I need to give me a second. And while we're here, let me eat some, uh, berries and my water. And a mushroom, I guess. Uh, 
Oh, uh, that's called a clock, Jason. I know something. I mean, usually there's like not a clock per se, but it's more like a dial or something like a sundial. <laughs> usually, especially in this game, it, it's more of a fantasy theme. So I would assume there's some, some kind of like a dial that would say, oh, you have you're halfway through the day or whatever. It looks like you just have to uh, guess. What is that? Like a shroud liquid? Gross. Hopefully later on you find a way to make a light for like your belt. Holy crap, it's dark. Yeah, hopefully they make a light for your belt later on. That way I don't have to carry a torch everywhere I go. I assume this is the bridge over here? What is this? Oh, well, maybe not. Is there a bed in here? I don't see a bed, but I see a spectacular progress is being made to all those, to, to all who set their eyes upon my wondrous, no, allow me to begin again. To all travelers who have, I have conquered this terrain with my greatness. I'm afraid that <laughs> that's not right either. Okay. The bridge is near. The bridge is nearly finished and I cannot find the words to express my joy. Confound it. How lucky we had a bountiful, a bountiful mine so close for materials and ore. One thing I do know, I'll name this bridge Braylon after my dearly departed fifth aunt. Not, not the fourth aunt or the third aunt. It's a fifth aunt. Uh, though if she were still alive, I'm not so sure she would be flattered. For her and the bridge share not just the same name, but a brash nature. Okay, Cade Hawthorne. There's a bed here. Night speed. Oh, okay. So if you sleep, night speed times 60. Okay. So it's not instantaneous, but it goes by really quickly. Got it. Well, I like that. I'm not covered. I guess the tent doesn't count. Well, I got my three minutes of rested. I only play girl tunes. I have no idea what you guys are talking about in the chat. <laughs> if you didn't spend five minutes howling, I would you would have got me. <laughs> oh. Well, let's uh, check out this over here. So that's the bridge. Oh, wait, is this over here? Bridge construction report? I guess we're going to go over here. Is that an enemy? Oh, this looks like a tower here. Oh, I would not choose to play as me if I were you, doctor. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Playing in COD? I I'd probably need a, uh, a grappling hook to get up there. Yeah, I have a feeling that metal thing. Yeah, I need a grappling hook to get up there. All right, I'm assuming they are uh, pushing me to get a grappling hook. So let's grab some materials and head back to our uh, camp. So I can make a grappling hook because I have all my materials back there as well. I can drop off some of the stuff I'm picking up. 
I swear, I probably need metal, right? I assume I need metal. I'm gonna pick up a whole bunch of plant fiber because we can make string out of that. Location below, what? What is this? I have to get down there? Oh god, don't fall down the, uh, the chasm. Location below, what is that? The location over there? It's through the, uh, the shroud. You can blow the gate off with grenades. Where you can make grenades? That's a... That's a little surprising. Alright, so there's a location down here. Alright, I'm on the road. Location above? <laughs> oh, what is this? Do I have room in my backpack for some stuff? I do, okay. What is this? Oh, this feels like an enemy town. I don't like this. Oh, he's a level three. I don't have any ammo in my uh, bow. Whoa! That's not cool! Okay, so obviously they have grenades. I don't need anyone throwing grenades at me. Dang it. And... Oh my god, I dropped most of the stuff I had. I dropped most of my stuff. Well, let's, uh... Let's fix my equipment while I'm here. What do I need to make the, uh... The glider? We need animal fur, string, shroud wood. I don't have any shroud wood. Uh, grappling hook. We need metal scraps. I knew that. Shroud spores. We have that. And string. I... Can I make that? Did I put my metal scrap in here? I don't think I have enough metal scrap. Let's see. What else do we need? Uh, string. I need one more metal scrap. Son of a... Oh, well. One more metal scrap. We got that. We'll get that eventually. Put that away. Okay, we're good on this. You joined at the perfect time, Star Wolf. Yes. I see Jason's death count is still going strong. Yes. <laughs> uh, you're in a corner. Look out, Rick. Yes. <laughs> I was stuck in that. Uh, I'm assuming that was like a cart or something. All right. Well, do they mark your death location? Oh, they do! Tombstone is over there. If I had a glider, I could just jump off the side over here and glide down to it. But, I don't have a glider, so we're gonna have to manually go all the way back down. That's okay. He 
Yeah, we gotta go down in here, then go to the right. Yeah, because we can't go across the bridge. They blew up the bridge. We can go over here and grab my... At least grab my uh, inventory and then bring it back. I need metal scrap! That way I can make my grappling hook. I haven't used a grappling hook. I want to see it. Valheim Engineers! I've been so excited for this. As I love SE. Looks pretty awesome. Does it have first person? As far as I know, there is no first person in this game. It's all third person. All right, and we have to go to the right. Now we are enshrouded. Location below. Oh God! Please no fall damage. Please no freaking fall damage. Let me get my health back. I only got a few minutes before uh, I get enshrouded. I didn't make any arrows. I should have made arrows before I came back out here. That's alright, we'll get my grave and we'll get the heck out of here. Uh, at least I took one of them out. Okay. I don't have time to read you, I don't want to die! Jeez, yep! Shroud Survival Flask? Let's see. What does that do? I don't know what that did. So, oh! Shroud Protection! 45 minutes? What does that mean? <laughs> Is my timer still going on my- on the top? I don't know what Shroud Protection does. Whoa! All right, man. Give me all that and give me some metal, I assume. Oh, uh, no. Torn cloth and shroud spores. Oh, yeah. Can't climb. Can't cl uh, clamber up either. Elixir well. Suck it! I had my shield up. I had my shield up. That's cheating. All right, we got one minute. Let's see if I can get back out of here before I, uh... I have a shroud protection. And it says I have 43 minutes on that. I don't know what that means. Like, am I gonna die in here anyway? Even though I have my, uh... My thing going? My shroud protection? That was kind of gross. We got one minute left. Leave now. When you have one minute left, they're like, get the heck out of here, man. Oh, interesting. Starwolf, it's made by Keen Software, who made Space Engineers, so I would imagine it's well-detailed, creative game, similar to Valheim's vibe. It is! It's like a fi- I didn't know it was the same people who made, uh, Space Engineers. I did not know that, actually, so that's actually 
makes me want to play Space Engineers because I like this. The feeling of this game is really good. Space Engineers, I tried to jump into it a couple times now, and it just hasn't got my attention. It's just like, eh, it's okay. This, I am liking. I'm liking a lot. It feels very similar to uh, Valheim. For sure. Let's see if I go up here. Oh, is this a... This looks like where enemies are. Oh, that wolf. Level three. Are there nice people in this world? <laughs> Rock of Rookmore? Is this a nice location or a bad location? That's a bad location. Bad location for sure. I do need metal. You, you don't really bring up your shield as fast as I would hope. Yeah, you, you do not bring up your shield really fast. It takes a second. Like, you got to be ready with your shield. Good lord. Like, there's no fast bring up your shield in the middle of a combo. If you get hit, it, you're not bringing up your shield. That's crazy. All right. You know what I should do? Now that I, I'm, I'm seeing the berries give you health regeneration. So, if I, uh, if I do that, if it's on my quick bar in the top, that way I can switch between that and my sword real fast. All right. So I should have my, my health regen in the same bar as all my tools. Yeah. It's one or the other. You're not really doing any parries with your shield. <laughs> uh, not as easy, anyway. Oh, there's a box here. I almost didn't see it. <gasps> Explosive powder ball! I'll take that. Thank you. What is this? Potions? I got a mysterious flask. Oh, yeah, let's totally drink this mysterious flask full of some weird fluid. The elixir! A flood of woe. It's a formula I do not quite grasp. Sophisticated beyond imagination. I'm not surprised to know that the source of this recipe is otherworldly. Created from the flesh of these tiny, delicate fungi growing deep beneath the earth. It grants power. Yet, when I look at this flask, it worry, worry fills my heart. This will never be a cure. This will always be a weapon. Perhaps the ancients wanted to hide this for a reason. I have a grenade now! I will say, this sword is lasting longer, it does more damage, and it lasts longer, so... Upgrading your weapons, or getting upgrades hit weapons, seems to really actually matter. Let's get some water. Dun dun dun! It looks like he's in denial. Okay. 
Can I grab his... Oh, he's in a door. That's not good. All right, there we go. Shit. Oh, Jesus Christ! That scared me. Now he's in a wall. I'll take that, though. Getting a lot of metal scraps. I'm liking it. That guy scared the pee right out of me, man. I wasn't ready for that guy. Just came out of nowhere. Now this guy, too. Yeah, see, that is... Oh, don't sit. Thank you, Valheim. <laughs> Just sit down. Uh, I feel like hitting that barrel is going to be a bad day. So we're not going to hit that barrel. <laughs> Maybe there was a secret way to get in here and stealth your way in? Oh, well. We don't do stealth around here. That feels like I can break this and get some... No? Nope. Dang it. I was hoping maybe I could break that and get some metal out of it. <laughs> the stream is sponsored by Stream Diapers. Oh, yes! Whew. Oh, there it is. No, no, no. We don't do Stream Diapers. We do Stream... Uh, yeah, Stream Buckets. Ooh! Oh my god, it made a hole in the ground as well? That's nuts. Look at that. It made a hole in the ground. It made a- and not even a little tiny one. That's a pretty deep hole. Come on. There we go. Oh, we had some a uh, provisional scythe. Ooh, I'm gonna use that. Did I get his scythe? Yeah, I did. Look at these. Melee weapons. Can I do both? Oh, I need to need to equip it. No? Alright, we're gonna do this. So I wanna see if I can equip both. No, I can only equip one at a time? I can't do double like them? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, you can only Oh no! Can I unequip this? Okay. So now can I use both? No, you can only use one-handed? Oh, that's kind of sucky. Backpack extension. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I like that. Oh, man. I can only use one, huh? So 14 damage compared to my 16 damage. Uh, piercing versus cutting. Okay, so there's an advantage to it, but you can't double wield it like them. Dang it! How's the game so far? It is pretty awesome. I like it. I really do like it. A lot. It reminds me a lot of, like, a fantasy version of, uh, of Valheim. So instead of a Viking theme, you have, like, uh, elves and dwarves and monsters and that kind of stuff. It feels very fantasy, but it's a lot faster than Valheim. So Valheim is a more slow-paced combat. This is way faster. Way faster, and I really, I, I'm digging it. It takes a little bit to get used to, because like in Valheim, you can pull up your shield really quick. This one, your shield a draw is very slow, and so when you when you uh, try to parry people, it takes a, a minute to kind of get used to that. But it looks really, really good. 
the engine, whatever engine they're using for the destruction is so freaking cool. Help this guy with his, uh, see? Scrap arrows? Oh, man. Oh, explosive balls! <laughs> Son of a... Yeah, they're gonna get me with this game. They're gonna get me with this game. I, I noticed that with Pal World. There's some stuff where you're like, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> uh, there we go. Chuck, don't know about this game. Is dual wield an unlockable skill? Maybe. Oh yeah, we haven't checked our skills in a while. So it could be, um, let's do warrior. Constitution, swift blades. Wait a minute. Allows you to attack faster with one-handed swords and axes. Okay, so it makes me think that maybe there's no dual handing. Pierce, hammer time. <laughs> hammer time! All melee blunt damage is increased by an additional 20%. Thrust, brute, shockwave, breach, heavy specialization, bash... Jump attack, double jump. Double jump allows jumping a second time while airborne? Okay. We haven't looked at any of these skills. Increase your strength attribute by one, by one. Melee damage is uh, increased by 5% per attribute point. Constitution increases your health by one. Okay. Warrior path. When attacking with melee weapons, all damage is increased by 10%. Purification. Shiny plates. Physical armor gains 10% more armor points. Evasion attack. So I don't see any dual wielding skill. Absorb, bloodletting, snap, soul leech. Wait a minute, soul leech? When killing an enemy with a melee weapon, all players within 15 meters gain 20 mana. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. We got a tower. There are three or more enemies within 20 meters. You suffer 10% less physical damage. All right. Yeah, I don't see any uh, dual wielding. When attacking with melee weapons, all damage is increased by 10%. Okay. Melee. Yeah, see. So I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe it's in there and I just can't find it. But I don't think so. And the fact that they have a... Uh, they literally have a... Um, a block dedicated uh, area. So you're gonna... They assume you're always gonna be using some kind of a shield or something like that. And the fact that even if you go in here, it doesn't let me choose a weapon. I assume your offhand is always going to be a shield, no matter what. And so you have a one-handed weapon, or you have a two-handed weapon. You don't have one in each hand. Hello, Serenity. I'm not going in there yet. Am I, is my inventory full? No, I still got some room. I still got some room. Their door. Not seeing anything in here. Wait. There's a basement. Let's see what's down in this basement. A scary looking rat. There we go. Loot him for his fur and his meat. Old books. I don't know what what's the use of old books, I wonder. Because they let you take it. Got some bones. Metal scrap! I'll take metal scrap. I need it. Wooden logs all over here. Oh yeah, we already read that one. Why well, it's not highlighted. Are they building a, a thing over there? Alright, I think we've we've searched this area. Oh, there's a wait.
I like that. They blocked it off. Threats are nearby. Oh my god, have you just been stuck down here this entire time? He's just been stuck down there for hours. Waiting for somebody to come and release him. Suck on that, buddy! There we go. And I got some water from him. Good. He's protecting this box. Hopefully there's something good in here. Like two explosive! I only used one, so I gained one. Beautiful. I got two balls now. Two explosive balls. Repair all my equipment. Beautiful. Now I'm not re I'm not uh, well rested, so let's uh, let's see this. Let's uh, drink the water. Eat the mushroom. Mysterious flask. Damage bonus. Magic damage bonus, I guess. Um. I don't want to do the flask. I don't want to die. So we're going to leave that for now. That's a bear trap. I think... I mean, I said this before, but I think we've searched all this. We can open this door. I don't think it leads anywhere special. Yeah, it just leads to this area. We've already been here. Okay. Uh, do the flask! I don't know if I'm gonna do the flask. Why would I do the flask? I might die. I might die. Oh... Uh... <laughs> I've got two explosive balls. Hey! <laughs> I did, I picked him up! Oh. Ooh, this is a special chest, look at this. Hunter's bow! Level three, huh? I'll take that. Ooh, we got a special bow. Is there a bed over here I can lay down in? No. Oh, there is! Now I don't have to worry about the nighttime. Maybe you can dual wield the balls. <laughs> Maybe. Please explode the barrels behind the bear trap, please! I could do that. I could do that. I need to throw something at him though. I don't wanna I don't wanna stand next to it. <laughs> I don't wanna stand next to that. Oh, there's a note here. A cold reception. We've arrived at Rookmore, finally out of the shrouded lands. It was a difficult journey from the mountains. I had hoped for a field hospital here, but there's almost nothing. I must take matters into my own hands, as I did at the front. I'll set up a camp in Woodguard. I don't want to... See, I need to throw something. Do I have any, um... I don't have any arrows. I, the only thing I could do is throw- Oh, wait a minute, I do! I have scrap arrows! Never mind! So we're gonna equip those. Okay, never mind, I got it. Um, let's equip that. Oh, down a little bit. Okay, that's a pretty bit. Oh my god! Look at the damage it does! That's insane! And it drops all that loot for you? All the pieces for everything that you just exploded? <laughs> okay, dude, that does some insane damage, and it literally digs down into the ground. That's crazy. The crevice one's bow or balls? What? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Let's see if I hit these. That is some massive damage. I like that it literally is a circle around it. Like, usually when there's an explosion, it'll blow up, like, on the ground, but it won't destroy the ground like this. That's crazy good.
I think we've gone through all this. Yeah. We went through this already, I believe. We went into this tent, right? Yeah, we opened up the chest. So, yeah, we've been here. Uh, wait, to your right. I mean, over there. I don't want to go this way. This looks like a boss area. Oh, wait. What is this? Just a stack of something? I don't want to go over here. This looks like a boss area. Uh, ancient vault, the blacksmith. I'm going to go south. So we've been to Rookmore. Oh, my combat engineer soul is satisfied. Blow sheet up! Try exploding the large hydrogen tank in SE. We've blown up our entire asteroid. Oh my god. Oh, space engineers. That's what I'm, I'm getting. I'm just getting that. All right. There we go. Look at my shrouded protection. It, it normally is five minutes, but because I took that potion, it bumps it up to seven minutes. So it went up two. That's what that potion does. It gives you extra time in the shroud. It doesn't protect you from the shroud. It just says pr shroud protection, so it just adds to your own protection. Got it. So now I have a total of seven instead of just having five. All right. There's something over here. I don't like this. I probably need to... You know what? No, I keep going farther and farther. No, 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 no. We need to go back to my base. Wait a minute. Duh, Jason. Wait a minute. Oh, not possible when you're in the shroud. Son of a... I can fast travel back to my friggin' base. What a genius move. <laughs> I'm over here running around trying to find a way back to my base. I could just fast travel to it as long as you're not in the shroud. I should have enough materials to make my grappling hook, maybe even my glider. Sorry, little rabbit. I need your stuff. I need your animal fur. All right, I'm not in the shroud anymore, so I should just be able to go boom, fast travel. Hello, Richard. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the uh, stream. Hitting that like button if you haven't already. I know most of you have already, but I appreciate it nonetheless. You guys want to hit that like button for me? Uh, Chaotic Serenity says, sorry, blame No Man's Sky for me. Uh, acronyming everything. I mean, yeah, I get it. No Man's Sky. I just need to catch on because I'm old. I don't know these acronyms you kids use. All right. Let's make our grappling hook. Um, we need string. We just need string. So, let's make some string. And now we should be able to make our uh, grappling hook. Yes. There it is. And then for the glider, we just need shroud wood. That's what I need. Shroud wood. I haven't gotten shroud wood. Let's go to our backpack. We've equipped our, uh, our grappling hook, right? Can I equip it? There it goes. Thank you. Beautiful. We've equipped that. So I need shroud wood. Where would you get... I assume in the shroud is going to be shroud wood. Um, we don't need this bow. I assume we don't need the shroud liquid. We don't need the dirt. Oh yeah, let's check up on our uh, furnace. We're making some stuff in here. Um, there we are. There is charcoal. Done and done. We just need more wood, I guess. Oh yeah, we need more wood. Screw it. Just pop it all in there. We have rubble? I don't even know what Rubble does, but okay. Wood Acid plus one more at the Charcoal Kiln. Okay. All 
Let's uh, hop in here. Let's see if I have any room. I do. And I have a whole bunch of metal scraps now. Oh, yeah, we need to start putting some stuff away, like the uh, the pickaxe or the provisional scythe. We don't need that. We could probably put this um, away as well. We don't need the rusty sword. We could probably actually salvage that. Um, And then, Kate, thank you for being a member for 23 months. Very much appreciated seeing. Hit that like button. The cool kids are doing it. Oh, yes. All the cool kids are doing it. Can he make you better armor? I think he can. I need my stuff, though. Let me see. I think I might have enough. I think he needs uh, animal fur. Uh, forge. I guess I need to forge. I need metal scrap, charcoal, and wood logs. I just burned up all my wood, so I don't have any of that. Um, enhance equipment. Wait a minute. All upgradable items from your backpack and action bar are listed here. Enhancing an item unlocks new perks. Each perk costs runes. Gather runes by salvaging weapons and other equipment. Okay, I have a whole bunch of those. All right. So I can upgrade this thing. Um, by what? No upgradable items. I guess I can't? Like, it doesn't show me what I need. What do I need? Increase backstab? Okay, whatever. Um... Blacksmith. Let's see. Um, he does have armor. So I need fur. I need animal fur and string. I have both of those. Animal fur and string. Uh, animal fur, string, and metal scraps. I have all that. So let's start uh, doing some of that, I guess. Animal fur. We're going to take that out. I need string, but I got a whole bunch of string. I'm going to need uh, my metal. There we go. And... Where is my... Oh, yeah, string in there. Animal fur, string, metal. I think that's all we need, right? I have my linen cloth with me. So let's go make some uh, upgraded gear. Uh, chest piece? Yes. Uh, pants? Yes. Gloves? Yes. Shoes? And my helmet. Oh my god, I have everything. I have it all! That is it. Thank you. Equip that. Equip that. And then we can... Oh no, you can't sell it? Oh no, you can just delete it. I'm gonna keep some of that with me. Oh no, look at that! Oh my god. <laughs> hey, this looks way cooler than what I had before. <laughs> <laughs> no, just my personal account for an extra like. And I appreciate that, Dr. Pong and Kate. All right. We can make dishes. I don't know why we need dishes. A decorative object, okay, to beautify your home, okay. Um, We need a forge, so I guess we need our metal scraps. We need more metal scraps. We need charcoal, and we need wood logs. I have charcoal. I'm going to need more wood scrap, though, or uh, more uh, metal scrap. There we go. Put that away. I mean, mm, as much as we can put all this away. There we go. Twigs over here. So we have our bow. We have our... Uh, we need to make scrap arrows. Can I make scrap arrows? Can you make scrap arrows? I assume I need metal. <laughs> um, Felling axes. Uh, Spiked Club. He does not make any... Do we not make any, uh... Wooden arrows? We have wooden arrows. I guess you need a forge to make your scrap arrows and stuff. Alright. That's okay. We're doing good. I don't want to take this as elixir. Consumable. Plus 30 damage multiplier, minus one minute maximum time in the shroud. Oh, wait a minute. I like that. You get damage uh, multiplier, but you uh, can't be in the shroud for very long. I have my grapple now. Let's, uh, let's go do some stuff. 
I don't know how to use the grapple, but we're gonna find out, because I know that at the uh, bridge, they have a grapple area. Well, let's see. You're done. Uh, Chase is now furry. I am. 007 for that. Yes. Looking like Jason the Hun now, basically. <laughs> nothing, nothing here. Let's see. Not enough stamina. Okay, so you automatically use your grapple. You don't need to, like, equip it or anything. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's just like, okay. That's literally just a, um, okay. Well, I can avoid all the shroud just by doing this. Of course. I gotta go against this. Metal scrap. Yes, and my explosive grenades. I'll take that. And I have a flint arrow. I'll take that as well. Oh. That grapple. It is smooth because you don't have to equip it. You don't have to do anything. Just you, you interact with the environment and that's all you need. That's all you need, so I'm liking that. I keep bringing my, uh, my crafting hammer with me. I don't need to. I need to start leaving that back at home. No resin out of that one? It was a red tree. Dang it. Hun, more like a sponge monkey? They are not the hunts? I have no idea. No idea, but we're gonna go over here and see what's going on. What can we do with this? I am really enjoying this game. It is. It takes a little to get used to, because it's not the same as, uh... As, like, Valheim. It has- it looks the same and it has the same mechanics, but you don't do it the same way. So, like, you have a well-rested. That way you have a better stamina for a certain amount of time. You have potions, you have all that kind of stuff. It just takes a second to kind of realize how to do it. Road is blocked. You need a grapple. I have a grapple. Look at that. I love that grapple. Dude. Oh my god, this guy. There. You're done. Can I use the grapple to go down? Nope, you can just go up. Okay. I was hoping maybe I can repel down. So yeah, the combat takes a little, uh, a little getting used to, but it's good combat. Ooh, it's a silver chest. What do you got? A crackling wand? Uh, yes, I'll take that. Imagine this. You spot Sunken Stone's pillars on the horizon, obscured by mounds of dirt. They stretch towards the sky like a titan stone, cold finger bones. The mark of a hidden tomb! The stairs inside lead to darkness. Torch in hand, you slip down into uncertainty. Into dread. Yet your search drives you deeper. Oh, yeah. A morbid treasure calls for you, left to rot in the dust. Is it family jewels? <laughs> is it- is it family jewels? Heirlooms from faraway shores. <laughs> Whatever it is, my friend, it'll be the foundation of our empire. The cornerstone to a fortress raised from spilled blood. Sounds good? I know the rough location. If you take up the uh, search, Gareth, I'll split the goods. Deal? <laughs> All right, so we have a we have a um, we have a, a magic attack. Okay. Let's 
so it's a range. It's almost like it's basically like your bow, essentially. Except you don't need any uh you don't need any ammo, it looks like. So let's see. Metal scraps. That was okay. That didn't uh, hurt me, so I'm okay with that. Does it use your stamina? No. It doesn't. It does not use your stamina. And I assume that it would use your magic bar, the blue bar at the top left. It doesn't use that. What is that blue bar? If it's not magic, what is that? I assume that was magic, but it doesn't use it like when I use a wand. There's no magic. Like, it's not using the magic. It's literally just a, a free ranged weapon. It's a little bit slower than the bow, but it doesn't use any ammo. It's not using ammo. It's not using my magic. It's not using my stamina. Okay. I mean, I like it. I appreciate that. So it's a free ranged weapon. I'm going to try to find an enemy to see how much damage it does to them. I guess to them? Is it not? Does it, do, does it not do damage at all? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Does it not do damage? Misfortune strikes like lightning. The lightning sets the skies ablaze. It is my only source of light since the fire was doused by this merciless downpour. Of course, I had seen the clouds gather before I left the search to search the hidden tomb. I had tasted the threat in the breeze. Despite the warning signs, he pushed me to venture forth. You can wait out the storm, but the water may smother our treasure in mud. Can you bear to see our empire wash away, Gareth? Oh, that silver. That silver-tongued devil. The tomb is close by, but the wind and rain bar me from venturing further. These creaking trees scarcely shelter me. So I'll surely be so- And then it ends. <laughs> I like how people die in mid-sentence while they're writing. <laughs> it's using its durability. Yeah, but I mean, even the bow uses durability and it also uses ammo. So, it uses just durability. Like, when you use the bow, it does the same thing. The bow uses durability and it also uses uh, arrows. So, but I can't see this thing doing damage either. Well, let's see, there's a secret tomb nearby. I want to try to find a freaking enemy. That way I can uh, attack them and see what it does. Because it hasn't done anything to the animals around. Enemy, maybe I need to unlock magic abilities. Maybe it's it's not useful until you know magic. Like uh, my character skills. Sneak attack. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to say uh, wizard. So, like down here. Savior, you only need three instead of six seconds to revive an ally. Um, wizard, you need use this way. When attacking with a magical weapon, all damage is increased. So, yeah. Okay, so it doesn't seem like you have to unlock it. You should have it automatically. This looks ominous, like a, like a, a room. I don't like that at all. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Is this a, uh, a dungeon? It looks like a dungeon. Some doors are locked, but can be opened by finding and pressing the correct buttons. Okay. I don't see any enemies around. Uh, it's using durability. Yes. Use it on the uh, barrels. Oh, I should have done that. Um, misfortune, mace. Wait a minute. I like this. Uh, 21 damage. A frightening mace that brings misfortune to any that oppose it. <laughs> That's good. All right. You know what? No, no, no. We're going to be using that. So where's my misfortune mace? Look at that. It's a legendary item as well. So we will definitely use that as our main. So we're going to put this away. Like, we don't need the campfire. I don't know why I picked up a campfire, but we don't need that. We don't need the hammer. 
Um, I mean, I want to use this, but it's not really. Oh wait a minute. Let me see. Can I uh, can I do it as a long range? Nope. Just the hunter bow. Okay. Oh, I assume I can get up there. I need to figure this out. Though. Oh, there's a staircase right here. Duh. Oh, there's a door. I can't open this one. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, never mind. I can open that one just by... I thought there was going to be a button or something for it. Let's see. Can I hit this with the uh, the wand? It does do damage. It does do damage. As you can see. I mean, I feel like I could do more damage faster with another weapon. Like, the only benefit of this is that it's ranged, but it's very slow. Alright, let's go through here, I guess. Looks like Jason! <laughs> yes! Smash the vases for items! I needed to, I need to start doing that. Yeah, I didn't realize there was going to be items in here. Let's use my mace. Oh, it's a double-handed! I can't use my shield with this guy. Oh, and it's slow. That's the downside of, downside of this. It's a two-handed weapon. Got it. So if I want to get my one-handed, because it's a lot faster. So we'll do that. Yeah, see, that's way faster. Mana potion. So obviously there is magic. Metal sheets. And a health potion. I got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Okay. I'm feeling like Mario. That's a very Mario type of climb. Oh, that door is locked. Getting a lot of bone meal out of here. A lot of wax as well. Oh! There's no clamber at all. Holy cow. That looks like a very hot place you don't want to be. Oh, well, I... Okay, that's it. Uh, 36 Canadian? It's on sale, Cole. It is on sale. It is on sale. So, it just came out today. This is the first time we've seen a price on it. I paid 26 United States dollars. USD. So, if you're interested in it, it's on Steam right now. I don't know if it's on another platform. I think it's only on Steam. It is early access, meaning that it might be a little bit buggy, depending on if you, you know, with your setup, your PC setup might be a little bit more buggy than mine. So definitely, uh, if you're interested, get it, but be aware that it's going to be early access. So keep that in mind.
So I guess that was it, huh? Okay, so we gotta go to the next area. This door was locked. I don't think my computer can run it. Cole, I bet you it can. So, I have a beefy PC, don't get me wrong. However, it's not using a lot of resources. Remember, it does not have an in-game frame rate limit. You definitely want to do that, though, because I just started up the game, and immediately in the menus, it shot up to 300 frames per second, or over 300. And so it's, it instantly wants to run your, P, your GPU, your graphics card, at maximum, and that can overheat your, uh, your graphics card, so you don't want that. So put in a frame rate, whatever you want to put a limit on, you know, put it at 120, 60, whatever it is. That looks ominous. But yeah, so I, put, I always set my stuff to 60 because you don't need, at least I don't need more than 60. Oh God. But yeah, you do whatever you want. Doesn't matter what it is. Just make sure to put a limit on it, because it will go as high as it'll as high as your graphics card will let it go. <laughs> oh, we got a lot of different things in here. Can I break this? Oh, I can. Maybe not. Wait a minute. It's going to take me forever. I'm doing five damage, but I have a feeling this uh, column has probably a lot of health. <laughs> All right. Ineffective. Ineffective my butt. I cannot open this. Oh, I need to hit a button. I assume it's going to be up here. I want to see what's over there. <gasps> yeah, like a hidden box with flint arrows in it. Oh, I need two buttons. Crap. All right. So we got one. I assume the other button's going to be over here. Yep, over there. Yeah, probably up there. All right. You can use sprint to jump to cover more distance. Sprint and take up run or sprint and take a run up before jumping to land on a seemingly out of reach platform. I'm assuming that's the one right there. So let's do this. Here we go. Let my stamina recharge. There it is. And here's the other button we need. Got it. Beautiful. So let's go get that golden chest over there. Yeah! A root staff. It's an epic. This staff was made from the roots of an old age tree. Wisdom and calm flow through it. Staffs can cast spells by using spell cha charges and mana. Equip spell charges to cast. Wait a minute. What do I have on me right now? What is this one? A crackling wand? And so a staff is different than a... Uh, it's an equipable ranged weapon. Wait a minute. So I can, I, I can replace that. But I need... Uh, okay, so you need spells for that. No ammo. Because I don't have any spells equipped to it. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So a wand is not the same as a staff. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And the wand says 14 damage. Mana, regeneration, max durability, overcharge. Fire proves to be an excellent weapon against creatures of the Shroud. Overcharge. This one holds a chance to amplify its damage output. Attacks deal bonus damage up to the overcharge percentage. 10% overcharge. So I get a 10% bonus on my damage. Okay. Oh, there's another chest out here. Heal channel? Is that uh, for my staff, I assume? Yeah, staff charges. So you get... Oh, oh my god, wait a minute. I have seven. So you can only use it seven times? 
Magic ammunition that, upon use, releases continual healing projectiles. Hold the input to channel over time. Equip the spell and use the mana to cast it with a staff. Okay, so if you have a staff equipped, you need a, uh, a channel, whatever it is. Uh, and magic ammunition. And it takes up mana instead of stamina, it sounds like. So it takes up your mana instead of the stam stamina. Okay. Oh, it's close. Not loot. My bad. You walked over some loot. Oh, no. Almost. Almost. The thing that gets me is your reticule, your aiming area, is not the same as... What is this? Commune with the flame. These ancient spires open fast travel points all over the world and reveal ancient knowledge of Emberville. Uh, venture forth, child. The land must be reclaimed. So now I have a fast travel? Oh, it's marking locations. Okay. What's here? To mend the own wo old wounds? That's just a question. Okay, it's marking locations. Oh, that frame rate's getting bad when you like, when you zoom out on the map. Holy cow. Look at that frame rate. That frame rate is like nothing. Wow. You don't want to you don't want to zoom out too much. It's too much information for the game to handle. So we're here, Ancient Spire. We have the small flint mine. We got mana potions. So they're introducing us to uh, magic now. And I assume the uh, wand can just uh, get repaired on a working bench. I keep thinking it feels a bit like Elden Vale with all the up and down. Almost. Like, what could cause FPS drops on a barely uncovered map? I have no idea, A-Train. But it feels like... Right here? Look at it. Totally fine. You zoom out a little bit, and it just... That frame rate drops to, like, 10 frames a second. And it's only when you zoom out. You zoom in. Oh, God. When you zoom in, smooth. Smooth sailing. So, maybe... It's covered, but not for the game. So the game is loading in all the assets, even though it's still technically covered. And so it's trying to load in everything. Because, yeah, that frame rate is terrible. And then you zoom in and you're good. Yeah, see? Smooth. Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring. Not Veil. Deposit all the stacks. Deposit all the stacks in here. But we're going to need to make some more. Oh, yeah, we can make metal chests now, right? I think we can. Um, Storage. We need nails for metal chests. We can make nails, right? I need to talk to him to make metal nails. Yeah, I do. I need metal scraps. Got it. I put all my metal scrap away because I'm smart. Um, I have 45. No, that's charcoal. <laughs> uh, where's my metal scrap go? There it is, 18. We're good on that. Need to get some bigger boxes. So we need some nails. There we go. We got a good amount of nails now. What else do we need for that chest? We need uh, nails and wood. That's all we need nails and wood. Oh, wait. I need to make it first. Uh, do they stack? Please tell me they stack. Or are they separate? Oh, my God. They're separated in my freaking thing here. All right. Let's see how much it gives you compared to a normal chest. So... Nah, we'll do it this way. 
We'll put it uh, next to the door. So. It gives you one more row. Really? Alright. You know what? I'm not going to complain. It's Technically, it is right. It is giving you more room. Just not as much as I thought. Uh, nail, salt, bone meal. I'm not going to use any magic, so we're going to put that away. Torch. We'll use the arrows. Don't need the hammer. Don't need metal sheets. Don't need that. Don't need that. Flint arrows. I will take and keep that. We don't need the magic potions. Health, po health potions, yes. Mysterious flask. Maybe we'll keep that. I, I want to use the mace, but it's dual-handed, so... Let's see if it's worth it. So where'd my grapes go? There you are. Purple berries, excuse me. Not grapes, purple berries. I should probably cook some of this freaking meat. Since I've had it. There we go. It's, I mean, it's a cool mechanic. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. Like you need to literally hold it there for a second instead of just putting it in the uh the kiln to cook or the fire to cook you just hold it in the fire okay i mean it's cool it's a cool mechanic but kind of a pain uh you had some nails earlier okay that's uh stream labs i'm used to it yes <laughs> uh making the forge will unlock more recipes i need to do that i did make some nails so i think i just needed nails wood i have the charcoal i think Just cooking all the meats. Now, thankfully, they don't, they don't like, uh, burn out over time. Like, in Palworld, World, you make food, and it still goes out. After ten minutes, it disappears. Like, it rots. So, at least you don't have to worry about a meter on it. Uh, where'd that meat go? There you are. There we go. I'm feeling pretty comfortable with my, uh, my bar here. So I, I don't know if I'm going to keep the crackling wand. I want to use it. So I want to see how much damage it does. Um, I have a whole bunch of charcoal here. Yes, I do. Charcoal, charcoal. Good lord. I put the rubble in there thinking it would get destroyed, but I guess not. Oh, no, it is! Is it turning into charcoal because I have debris or rubble? Okay, browse recipes. If I put in uh, dirt wood logs, dirt wood logs, dirt wood logs. Okay, that's it. So I can make wood acid. This byproduct of the charcoal kiln has many useful properties, which can be used in medicine and alchemy. Tar, not very pretty, but useful when it comes to creating pr protection from the elements. Alright. Now I need to make a kiln... Or a forge. Metal scraps, I need ten, and... Oh. I just used all my metal scraps to turn into nails. Son of a... I, I just made all of it into nails. I don't need nails. Oh, God. I thought I needed nails for it. All right. So we need to go get more metal scrap, and we need wood logs. I can get wood. Metal scrap is going to be the one, though. All right. Where's my... Uh there we go. Oh my god, I have two stacks of uh, charcoal still. Well, let's pull all that out. Um, yeah. I don't need the uh, purple. Yeah, we're good. Uh, we have a whole bunch of runes. So we're gonna put our uh, our tar in here, or our charcoal in here. There we go. I mean, we don't need any torn cloth because we're not building anything right now. We don't need any of the twigs, so let's put that away. All right, that feels pretty good. We have lockpicks. We have our bow. We have our arrows. We have our big mesa. Yeah, we should probably go to bed here. Instead of in front of it? Oh, you can cook on top of it? Can you? I didn't know that. Top of the fireplace is a cooking surface. Oh, yeah, you'd think so. Let me look. Let me look. It doesn't say I can do anything on top of it.
Let me see. It just says cook, and when you when you go to cook, it just sits you in front of it. So you cannot put anything on top of it. You'd think it would be on top! It's an oven and a stove. Nope. <laughs> oh well. We got storage now, we're good on that. Let's run around and find some enemies to destroy. No? We got a lot of stamina, man. Holy cow. I want to use my bow. Or oh, okay, that's the advantage of a uh, a crackling uh, wand is that I can just use my shield with it. That's bad though. Look at that. that I can't hit it. I'm trying my hardest! Look at that! It won't let me hurt the animal. That's crazy. Now, hopefully I can hit some freaking enemies. You know, other than a, a barrel enemy, I guess. <laughs> uh. I can hit barrels. No problem. They don't move, so it's kind of easy to knock them out. Uh, sheep are fireproof? You would think not, they have wool! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> maybe they are, and I don't know it, but I didn't assume that the sheep were fireproof. Uh, they're made out of wool. You'd think they'd be weak to fire. Um, uh, why am I... Clear that. Where's my... Why am I trying to find... Trying to make a freaking uh... A thing. We get rid of that. Alright, search for a hidden tomb. Glider? I should probably make the glider. It can be nice and a calm one, yep. I hate in Valheim when it's foggy outside. It's foggy in my house. Eh, it might drive you crazy. I like the fog because it's nice and calming for me. I do like the fog. Nobody regens? What about this uh, beehive? Can I get the beehive? I got the beehive. I don't see any enemies coming back. Yeah, they don't come back. Let's go. Wait a minute. There's a lot of be- Oh, God! I just leveled up! Ha-ha! <laughs> Suck it, bees! I like that the wands don't use your stamina, and they don't use your magic. And so you could just fire this baby all day. Look at that. This thing will just go for days. Until the durability goes out. I like that. That is, if you could find a really good wand that does a lot of damage, I could see that being a uh, very useful thing. That was really strange. Like, the, the, the thing with the wand is that it's just like, it's a weird, very slow, uh, reaction. Oh yeah, we can, we can go up here. I forgot about this thing. We can climb up it now that we have our freaking uh, grapple. Mine ore veins with a pickaxe to obtain them. Certain ores can only be found inside the shroud. Oh. Oh yeah, for the uh, what's it called? Oh, okay, wooden arrows and uh, that was not worth it. Um. For the, uh, for the glider, we need to have a, uh, we need to have the shroud wood or whatever. Oh, God! Yeah, we need a glider for that. Jeez. Well, let me eat some grapes. Uh, 
Uh, five more quotes, and we have uh, one a day for a year. Good lord, really? 300 of them already? 365 almost? Yeah, see, if I had a glider, I probably could just glide over to that. All right, we need shroud wood, which means I assume we need to go down to the shroud. To get the shroud wood. Location below. What's down there? Yeah, see, it's just... The magic bolts take a long time to hit where they're going. That's the big downfall of the, uh, the wand. Is that it takes forever to hit. So if an enemy moves, it's just that you're- it's over. You're never gonna hit them because they're just gonna move out of the way. And it doesn't seem to, like, heat-seek or track them. It's just like, oh well. Well, let's go down into the shroud. Oh, Jesus. Let's fall down there. Take some damage. We got five minutes of the shroud protection. No lockpicking minigame? Unplayable. <laughs> I, that's a plus for me, man. The only game that I, uh, the only lockpicking game I ever really got good at was Bioshocks, the hacking, and uh, Starfield. I like the Starfield one. Other than that, I am terrible at all of them. All right, let's see if we can get some wood out of this thing. Does it give you shroud wood? That is shroud wood. Okay, good. I thought I, I was hoping it was just any tree, not just specific ones. <laughs> and then all the, the trees give you liquid. That's kind of gross. You get some tree, some liquid, some liquid. What about this? Can I get some shroud wood out of here. Nope, just shroud liquid. Eey. Okay, so we just have to go for the actual tree trees. These big old guys. To get our freaking uh, glider. I don't know how much we need, so I'm probably going to overdo it. I think I killed- I already killed all the enemies just by coming here and getting destroyed! Okay. Well, that's kind of nice, I guess. <laughs> we killed all the enemies? Oh, no! Return beacons replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Stand near them to feel their effect. Alright. I'll take that. Oh, I gotta go down there, huh? Yep. Okay. Well, let's go. I'm not well rested anymore. Oh, no, I got two minutes left. I got two minutes left. So what is down here that I need to get? More enemies, I'm assuming. Oh, we're going way too deep down here. I'm, a, I'm getting nervous about this. Hopefully it doesn't take us more than five minutes to get back up there. Or maybe if we clear it out, it'll clear the shroud. This does not feel like a good... Oh, that's a big thing over there. This does not feel like a good area to be in. Hopefully I can clear out the shroud. Oh, I'll take a fireball. And some scrap arrows. A uh, mycelium. Okay. I have my explosive, uh, balls, so we should be okay. Like that, that looks like we can blow that up a little bit. All right. That looks bad. We don't want to go in that. Yeah, that looks bad all around. I don't want to touch that. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. 
What is this thing? Oh, no, 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 no. Ineffective. It's a boss. Oh, Jesus. Fell Thunder Brute. Ineffective, my butt. He's about to die. Ah, yeah, suck it. Wow. Haha, <laughs> suck it. I had a whole bunch of explosive balls. You can't handle my balls. Uh, all right. Do I have to kill this thing now? The Shroud Root is the source of the misery. Destroy it with a felling axe and prosper. Okay. No. Oh, no! I don't have a fail. Oh, I do, I do. Okay. It's just probably not as good. Okay. Did I clear it out? Oh, yes! It's cleared. This room is clear. Oh, wait a minute. You can't. <laughs> Don't quote that. <laughs> I was in the moment. I was in the moment. Oh. Uh. I was already typing it out, Cole. <laughs> Dang it! I'm assuming this red stuff is probably not good, so we don't want to touch that. But it did clear out all of the, uh, the, the shroud, which is nice. Ooh, what is this? Can I blow this up? Is there things in here? Let's see. Probably not. Yeah. I'm assuming that's nothing. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Well, let's go over here. Nope. Oh, what is this? Is that shroud wood? Oh, just regular wood? I thought it was shroud wood. Man. That run being to not toggleable, like it feels like I need to change that setting because it feels like I'm always running, even if I don't run. I like guess if you click it once, it's just locked in. It won't st won't let you stop running. Jason's explosive balls are too hard to handle. It's too hot to handle. Too hot to handle, man. That guy, that boss, he couldn't handle my explosive balls. <laughs> Oh, there's a silver chest I almost missed. With a ring of endless life, plus 3% life least chance. I will take that. And nothing else. Okay. So let's equip that uh, thing. Oh my god, I'm almost... That is a huge... Look at that. Alright, we're going to equip this. We're going to put this down in here. Wait a minute. Down here. So I want to switch out to that. So it's a two-handed as well. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go after some enemies with this thing. I want to see how much damage it does. <laughs> Which one, Doctor Pong? Lots of metal scrap in those wagons. If you break them, is it really? Wait a minute. I do need metal scrap. Do I have enough room for metal scrap? Oh man, I have a lot of crap in here. I probably should eat some of this food, right? <laughs> Use the item? Yes. Oh my god, look at that! It gave me a health bar! Wait, oh my... Why am I not eating the meat? It doubled my health bar, did you see that? I had one bar, now I have two and like a quarter, or two and a, a tenth. Oh my good lord, it's 210% health! Why did I not use that freaking meat? That would have helped. I mean, not that that boss needed anything. I just messed him up instantly. Let's get this thing. Metal scrap. <laughs> I feel like that should fall apart. I got wood. I didn't get any metal. 
Do I have to break this? There you go. One metal scrap? I don't know if that's worth it. I don't know if that's worth it. Metal scrap? I got one piece of metal scrap for that? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna leave that cart, because, I mean, that's a lot of... I mean, it's not a big deal, but... A lot of work for one piece of metal scrap. I'd rather go kill an enemy and get, like, two or three. Jason discovers food has advantages in the survival game. I didn't know it was going to double my health. Holy cow. I thought it was going to give me like a little bit more. Maybe. That's double your health by eating one piece of meat. That's insane. I'm definitely going to be cooking some more meat. Good lord. I got to get all that meat inside of me. Oh, is the shroud only uh, cleared out right here? I got some mycelium. I don't know if that's important or not. Oh, no! Crap! I just realized right when I swung, I was like, oh, that's a barrel. No! <laughs> Dummy! Well, while we're waiting for my, uh, my stuff to recharge, let me hit my water, because that gives you more stamina. And... I mean, I guess my mushroom... That'll give me more magic. Magic damage bonus. Location above. What the? How high do I have to go? I'm here. I'm here. What are you talking about? Location reached. Well, thank you. I'm already here. Oh, look at this guy over here. He didn't even know what was going on. Hey, man, I just killed your boss. It doesn't do that much more damage, and it's slower because it's a two-handed weapon. I I prefer the one-handed. So I like the idea. What is that? Fell Thunder Brute Head. Oh good lord! I have I, you collect trophies in this game. I like that. But yeah, I prefer the two or uh, the one-handed with a with a shield because then I can block at least. And then yeah, look, I'm doing as much damage with that one hand versus the two hand. So, yeah, I would rather go with the one-handed. Oh, jeez, that was hard. Yeah. There's no, there's no point in that two-handed thing. You're done. Try your wand against these guys. Oh, duh! I should have done that. I should have did that. Well, we'll find some more, Cole. I, I totally spaced out on that. I was more focused on the two-handed versus one hand. Not the magic versus the, uh... What's it called? The regular melee. That looks like a seam in the world. Like, should I go through that? <laughs> that doesn't look... Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's not supposed to be there. Just maybe. There's a literal crack in the world. <laughs> a crack in reality right there. Let's see if we can run into any more enemies out here. No? Enemies, where are you? Where are we at? I probably need to go back to my base. Oh, wait a minute. Love letter to Queen Jasmina. Uh, yeah, I probably need to go back to my base. So my inventory is packed full. I need to upgrade my freaking inventory. Do I have metal scrap on me? I pick up metal scrap? I, I picked up one metal scrap. <laughs> I need more than that. I need more than one. That's all right. We got this, guys. Up. Oh. I mean, we already went after this uh, before with our. Oh, 
I cannot take a raw wolf meat. Son of a... Am I dropping anything? No, I'm not. Because I have a shroud core. I can upgrade my fire. Yeah, we definitely need to go back to my base. Because I can upgrade my fire. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. We got a guy. Suck on that. I don't know if I like the wand. It does some good damage. It doesn't do any burn damage. Like, he's not being burned by it. You got metal on you? You do! I appreciate you, at least. Animal fur. Uh, do I have anything I need to drop? Like, I probably dropped the twi twigs. Or delete them. You can't just drop anything, you can just delete it, I guess. Backpack full? What? Do I have it, am I maxed out on stuff? I guess I am. Am I getting not- I'm not getting any more plant stuff? Oh, I get the plant fiber, but I'm not getting anything else. The twigs, probably. Alright, that's why it won't let me. Fast travel to the base? Yeah. You can have a base? Mary Lizzie! Uh, my bet my base isn't great, but let me show you. We can fast travel. As long as you're not in the poison areas, you can fast travel. I got my home level one. And so, just like in, uh, in Valheim, Mary Lizzie, your home, you can be get it more comfortable, and the more comfortable it is, the more well-rested you are, which means you can regenerate your stamina faster. So yeah, you see how I'm rested? I'm a level six comfort. Just like in Valheim, you have different comfort levels, depending on if you've upgraded, like, with beds and you have furniture and stuff. Commune with the flame. Embervel can be reclaimed! Collect sparks and offer them at the flame altar to strengthen the flame. Sparks lie scattered around the world in flame sanctums and flame shrines. I think I have the ability to do that, so strengthen the flame. So, oh god, I need resin, mushroom, bone. I have all this stuff! A spark? And animal fur. I have all this stuff. So I should probably do that one. Alter acti activation capacity, four. Shroud passage level, two. Time in the shroud, six minutes. Character attribute bonuses, times one. I think I need to do this. So, resin, bones. I have a spark, right? Don't I have a spark? Wait a minute. Is that not what I picked up? What is this? Oh, I have a shroud core. I don't have a spark. I have a shroud core. Never mind, I guess. The ancient vaults contain voices silenced by the shroud, yet some sparks still linger, flickering in the dark. A hunter, once the fiercest in the land, and an alchemist with knowledge of the ages, awaken them, for they will help you along your journey. All right. Let's uh, do upgrade the altar. I have a shroud core. Yeah, I don't have a spark. I have a core. So I think I need to upgrade my altar, I guess. And then you need a core and a flame level. So I need to upgrade my flame next. All right. Oh, well, we upgraded our, uh, our thing there. The one thing I hate is that they don't allow you to use the items that are in your chest. So if you've stored any items, they do not know about it. They just know that you don't have them on your backpack. You need them in your inventory for them to actually count. So what we need to do is we need to start making boxes that are dedicated to certain items. Oh my god, I have so many mushrooms, it's crazy. Um, we'll take that gear out. Mm, flint, bones, resin. I have all everything except for the spark. I, I need the spark. Take out the honey. Okay. So we'll put that in there. We'll put the... Oh yeah, we need to, we need to make our glider. Duh, Jason. Glider. 
Thank you, Mandahar. I almost forgot about it. So I need animal fur, string, and shroud sports. I got all that. Animal. And I need my string. Where'd my string go? See, this is why I need to put them all in one spot. That way I know where they're at. And string is in here. Got it. I should be able to make my, uh, my glider. I can! Now we can uh, equip that glider. A level 5. 100% range, speed 10, stamina per second. Oh my god! Wait a minute. I thought it was something I held! You get a wing glider in the- wait a minute, wait a minute! <laughs> Let's do this. Oh my god, it is so- you gotta do it way off the ground, okay. Let's find a really high peak to jump off of. Oh, I don't care about this in Shroud. we're good. Let's get up here. Oh, get your stamina back, you're fine. What is this guy doing? What are you doing down there, bunny? Yeah, I prefer the bow. The wand sucks. Alright, let's do this. I'll make sure my stamina's up all the way. He's a transformer from Zelda? <laughs> I thought it was literally a glider you held on to, not a wingsuit. <laughs> I mean, it kind of works. That is definitely... Yeah, it's definitely something you use, but you're not going very, very far with it. Yeah, you're not going very far. Like, you fall pretty fast. I thought you'd get a little bit more distance, especially it uses your stamina. You'd think you'd stay up in the air for a little bit longer, but not really. Oh, my God. That was a bad shot. There we go. Is that my cool base over here? Love wingsuits. The uh, last Oasis has them and they work awesome with the hook. Oh, dude, I have a hook. I wonder if you can use it in combination. Oh, yeah, I need to stop you doing uh, scaffolding. Let me look. Craffle, crafting, where's my scaffolding at? Don't, yeah, unpin that. Why did I pin that? I don't even know. Well, I have my wingsuit now. So, this is gonna be for my building materials, I guess? Um, oh, we have old wooden arrows. Fiber. Yeah, so we'll do building materials and stuff like that in here. That looks good. This is going to be my actual building materials, like my blocks and things. So, ragged shirt. Take that out. That weapon, that weapon, that weapon. Uh, weapon, weapon. We don't need any of that. Boom, boom. Any of the gear. Um, honey, yes, we'll take that. I mean, I guess we're going to have to move this liquid and stuff. Because I don't think we have enough room in this box for... Yep, we don't have it for anything else. There's more nails in here? Oh my god, there's more nails in here. Let's take that out. Put these in, that in here. I saw the nails. Yeah, they're, we're going to put them all together. Come on, Jason. Charcoal. Oh my god, I have a... See? This is the problem. Now I have everything all mixed up. I have my coal over here. Uh, metal scraps. Root staff. We'll take that out. We'll take that out. That. I mean, I guess. We'll take that out. Sure. Metal sheets. We'll switch that around. Salt. Bone meal. Twigs will go next to the wood. 
This will go over here. It makes sense in my brain. I know it might not make sense to you guys, but it makes sense in my brain. All right. And what's in here? No, nothing. This will be our gear box. So all of our gear that we don't use will go in here. I really should just put all my bows and stuff together. There we go. So gear that we're not going to use, meaning this freaking wand that's terrible. Get rid of that. Uh, we're not going to use any mana potion. We'll put potions in here as well. Um, I think that's good. I mean, we don't need that extra food. We don't need this fell thunder brute head. What do you do with that? Like, do they tell you what that is for? Its brain has been replaced by a fungi and slush, but it's still tremendously heavy. The face is permanently petrified with a bitter expression. What do I do with this? Material! It's a material of some kind. <laughs> oh yeah, wasn't that the plan? Forging? Yeah, I need to forge. I need metal. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Do I have enough metal? I think I might have enough metal at this point. Let me look. We might have enough metal. Yes, because I think we need ten metal. I think we need wood, and we need stone for sure. Let me look, let me look. Hey, buddy. Can I make a forge? I need charcoal! There we go. Stone, metal scraps, wood logs, and charcoal. That's what we needed. Let me grab my uh, charcoal. It's in here, I think. Yep. We'll do that. So now we can make a forge! Let's talk to you. I can make you a forge. Anything else? No, I'm good. Well, I guess I can put it right here. Put it right there. Under the window. That way we have a little bit of an exhaust. And you can look out the window while you're hammering on your metal. Giggity. I see you managed to clear that elixir well. Keep it up and you might start to become a popular... You might start to become popular around here. Never let the coals die. So we have a forge. Can I get in here? Uh, what can we make here? What can we make? Let me see recipes. Uh, I need charcoal and metal scraps. I can make metal sheets. Sheets melted out of metal scraps to make them more workable and open up options for further processing. Oh, really? Well, I'll, make, I'll put some charcoal in there. I don't need that. Uh, I guess I have two scraps. I'll put that in there, I guess. So I can dump a whole bunch of charcoal in there since I made a whole bunch of charcoal. Let's put that in there, that in there. You need to be down there. You need to be over here. Charcoal, charcoal. Okay, so we have metal plates. Let's uh, sleep. Sleep the night away. In the box where the metal scraps are. Yeah, exactly. But I don't know what I can make with that. So I'm making more metal sheets. Just to see if we get stuff out of there. Ugh. So can, can I make it with him, I guess? Oh, rising fighter shield. I need metal sheets, string, and wood logs. Uh, spectral shield. Wait a minute. This magic shield allows you to block against physical attacks. Blocking drains stamina. Really? One-handed weapons? Okay, we got that. Rising fighter set! Oh, wait a minute. We need metal sheets for this. Ooh. So we do need a lot of metal sheets, obviously. Resin, animal fur, and string. Resin, animal fur, and string. Um, I think they're over here. Oh, there's animal fur. Where'd my resin go? There's resin. String. I'm gonna need more than that. Um, there are my twigs. Uh, resin, animal fur, and string. Do I have any string anywhere else? I don't see any. So I have metal plates over here. Or metal sheets, I should say. The, uh, twigs I can put away. I can, I can pull out more plant fiber to make some string. 
All right, let's make some string real fast. And I should have metal plating out of here. One metal plating. Ouch. So two sheets make one metal plating. Ouch. That's okay. We can probably make a chest piece, right? I, that's, I think that's the best one right there. Yeah. Chest piece first. Yeah, it's going to use up all our metal sheets, but that's okay. And then we can make a helmet. Or we can make boots. Oh, I'll make a helmet. I want to I wanna look cooler. Now get out. Now get out. Okay, fine. Equip that. And equip this. Oh, yes. Now we are kicking butt. That looks like a stone helmet, not metal, but uh, yeah, I'll take it. Is this where we put our gear? Yes, this is where we put our gear. So let's drop these off. Um, I think... Yeah, we'll do this and this. And they need to be put where they are at. So in my mind, I'm putting the base item at the bottom and then what it turns into above it. So... I mean, you know, twigs turn into logs, turn into whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> at least in my brain, that's how it works. I feel like we're doing pretty well. We have a lot of arrows. We have some good melee weapon stuff going on here. Uh, stamina recharge. Oh, nice. So... Stamina recharge, health regeneration. So there we go. I'll take that. And then all this stuff down here gives me more of our uh, extra stuff. There we go. Health increased. I'm feeling pretty confident now. Is anyone else bothered by the server prog progression? It makes it quite difficult to play with friends and in a way wrecks the game for me. Eric! Have not played on a server because uh, it was I was told earlier that the servers are kind of up and down today because oh my god we have five points because everyone's trying to log in so it's kind of a uh, kind of really difficult to kind of get in there here we go boom 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 magic damage oh yeah we'll do that. Increases your endurance attribute. Stamina, 10 per attribute point. Uh, yes. Can I add more in there? No, you just add unlocked. Okay. So we did our health and we did our strength. So hopefully we should be a little bit more healthy. Oh my god, we are. Look at that. I can eat more grapes. Uh, because, yeah, my, my sta- oh, Look at my health bar up there! Holy cow, we started out with one of those bars. Now we have four. Oh, <laughs> I am feeling- Confident. You know what? Hit me. I want to see how much you take out. Hit me. Hit me! Or just stand there. He's shaking with fear. Fine. Oh, we're going to fall all the way down here, aren't we? You know what? I'm not going to fall. I'm going to... Flight suit. Oh, good lord. Oh, god. At least you don't take any fall damage from that. Don't take any fall damage from that. That was pretty nice. Where are we going? I guess we're going this way. Flame Sanctum. Even though we've unlocked this area, the Ancient Vault Hunter... Love letter to Queen. You know what? No, we're, we're since we're here anyway, let's go backwards. Let's go this way. You're too intimidating. I guess. I want to I want to test out my armor. Cuz we we got new armor. I have metal armor now. Or metal sheet armor. Have we been here? I don't think we have. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Oh, that's nothing. That's nothing, man. You suck. You want to hit me? You hit me. Come on. Hit me. Hit me! Nothing! Oh, man. I love it. Alright. Definitely. As you increase your levels, man. Collect that. Oh, shroud liquid. Liquid. Uh, 
I mean, I guess... Should we just destroy this thing? Torn cloth. What the crap? Are you behind the wall? That's cheating! I didn't see you! You cheated. Cheating. Look at it! They're using the wall as cover! Cheating. Where am I going? Uh, I think we've already cleared that out. Yeah, we've already cleared that out. Do we need to go up there? Oh, we probably do need to go over there, actually. Oh, dang it. So that's the trail that we were following earlier. So let's go over here. Maybe slow down, Jason. Maybe slow down, you dummy. I was just running way too fast. Holy cow. I died, like, right outside my friggin' base! He almost died from, uh, fall damage earlier. <laughs> I might have died from fall damage right there. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe I should get rested first before I leave again. Let me get some rested. Oh yeah, we should probably eat some food as well. <laughs> Let's do all that stuff since I was, uh, since I screwed it up uh, anyway. So we can take the, uh, the water. We can do the mushroom. Eat some chicken. Oh yes. Eat some of that. Oh no! My food items are all filled up. Can I not heal? Do I need to use a bandage now at this point? I guess I do. Alright, I guess... So you can only eat so much food, and then you need to use a bandage to heal yourself instead of food. I've been using food this entire time. <laughs> Dang it. So, I dropped... I don't know how much I dropped. What did I drop in there? Because I don't think I picked up anything. Oh, 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 I did. The enemies were dropping stuff. So I did technically pick up stuff. Well, only one way to test this out, you guys. I like this thing. Okay, it works when, you, when you're dealing with these kind of... Le oh, Jesus Christ! I'm used to Zelda where you can cling to the wall! Ah, oh, You cannot cling to the wall. <laughs> I forgot! I forgot! I forgot. <laughs> I thought you could cling to the walls. You should be able to hold on to the, like, the edges of cliffs and stuff like that. Why not? So I have two bodies to, uh, recover. Oh no, wait a minute! Does it... Mmm, let's see, does it- does it only give you your last death? Like, do I- No, no, it looks like it's so farther in there. Alright, let's see if I can do this. There's where my- oh, nope, don't go down. There's my death. So this is what I had before. Okay, this is my first death, because I dropped my lockpicks. Okay. So it does not leave the last death. It leaves whenever you have an item. So I didn't... I dropped an item. Yeah, I didn't drop it on the last one. Okay. Oh my god! That fall damage is brutal! Quit running. Thank you. So, now we know really good armor does not prevent fall damage. Dang it. <laughs> I was totally just testing the fall damage, you guys. I was testing the fall damage. 
<laughs> I wanted to make sure the fall damage, you know, was normal in this, uh, in this uh, game. This, this game has different fall damage than other games. <laughs> uh, different fall damage, guys. Different fall damage. Yeah, I think we were going down here before. So let's see if we can get over here. Yeah, okay. So yeah, you definitely can eat. So instead of a mushroom, I might leave that open so I can eat a grape. Because I think the mushroom only gives you magic. Like, you can revive your mana faster. And I'm not using magic, so I don't need a mushroom. <laughs> no worries, just confirms that it's not more than four. Exactly. I don't. I don't even know, man. I, I've died. A, I've died a few times here, but they were all. They were all testing the limits of the game, guys. I was just making sure that you know. I, I knew the fall damage, all the amounts. Oh yeah, this might be a uh, a bandit camp over here. So let's see. Did you quit running? Thank you. Southern caravan camp. Oh, there might not be enemies. Oh, no, it's just everyone's dead. I don't want to sleep in a bed with a body. Ew. Not doing that. Gross. Ice bolt. They give you a lot. If you want to be a magic user, they give you a lot of magic stuff. I will say that. They are awesome about magics. Uh, dismantle. Oh, yeah, all my books. Great. I don't need that. No, no, don't sleep on the bot. Oh, come on now. I don't need to sleep on the bodies. I just destroyed a body. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Desecrating that. Oh, we got a silver uh, hunter's bow. I think I already have a hunter's bow, don't I? I think I already have one. I got a... Uh, no, I yeah, I have a hunter's bow level 3. That's the one I'm currently using. And I have another hunter's bow. And does it have the same bonuses? Draw speed, max durability, arrow speed. Draw speed, max durability. Okay, yeah, they're all the same. So, okay. I don't need that one. An old site rediscovered. I never thought I'd see the sun set on this side of the mountains again. The event, the event tide was brighter when I was young. A vibrant haze of lavender or grape. A mix of tangerine and marigold. A florid blush before the dark. Now gray. I, pay, I pray the ancients protect the northern caravan with their glory and light. I put my faith in Cyrus. Longkeep is in sight. My people tire, but we cannot rest. We have to push harder. For every soul we've lost, our steps must be swift. I learned. I have a strange feeling, this dread, that I won't be able to linger, that I'll walk alone once more. Why can I not shake this fear? No. This premonition. All right. Technically, he laid a skeleton only. Well, yeah, that's true. Jason, you just got laid by a skeleton. <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of. I, no, I, I laid on it. <laughs> so technically, I was the giver. I think we've done that one. Yep. All right, we've done this area. So yeah, I think the mushroom gives you more uh, mana regeneration. So I don't know why I'm eating the mushroom. I shouldn't be eating the mushroom at all. I should leave a spot open for my purple berries. Oh, we need to get up here to the ancient vault with the hunter. I'm really digging this game. It's really, really cool. The the stamina and the not not having the ability to climb on the uh, climb on walls is kind of gonna get me. Now, you can climb on walls, but they have to be predetermined climb points. So they have to have, like, a climbable surface. Climbable surface. Look at this. Oh, that looks like really powerful and shrouded stuff. Look at that. That's not blue. It's pink. That might mean it's different. We have, uh, we have a bed here. Let's test this out. It's a different color. Is it more powerful? Because usually we have about five minutes on our enshrouded timer before we get taken. Oh, in a deadly shroud. Holy hell. 
That is, yeah, way more intense. That timer went down super fast. Holy cow. Yeah, don't mess with the pink mist. The blue mist is just fine. <laughs> it's flower scented? No. Jason is a necromancer? Ew. Like he's a chicken? What? <laughs> I'm not a chicken. You're a chicken. Uh, I forgot to say you can salvage found things in runes if you already have the item. Yes, yes, you can. I was doing that with my swords earlier. I might keep that bow simply because I don't know what I can uh, use to... There's a lot of pink mist around here. I'm a, I'm a little nervous about that. Uh, I might save it just because if I break a bow or whatever, I don't know. Or upgrade it or use it to upgrade stuff. I don't know. Like, I don't want to destroy stuff unless I absolutely don't need it. Is that an enemy over here? Oh, God. I didn't see that. Sorry, I was looking at the enemy way over there. Those are big old dudes. Do you see that over there? What is this? Okay, yeah, these are different enemies. What is this? Look at these guys. They're like big old, like, Sasquatch. What the hell? Oh! They have some, uh... They have some strong armor on. Whoa! Oh my god, I have a healer? Oh crap. Gotta take out the shaman now. Take out the shaman first. Yeah, he just heals him up. Whoa, 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 this is not cool. These scary looking bear guys. Try to get my stamina back up. <laughs> That's why I'm just circling them. All right. Suck it. Oh my God, they're blocking everything. Oh Jesus. Don't do that. Your shaman's not healing you, suckers. Really? You guys with your freaking little things. Oh, Jesus Christ. Almost got taken out by that. There we go. Okay, wait a minute. You have to do the parry before they attack. What? That's weird. Animal fur, really? And water? You don't have anything cool to give me? Where'd the shaman go? There you are. Shaman should have something cool, right? Animal fur? What the? F no! That wasn't worth it at all! What about this? Take a blessing? What is that? Oh! Oh! I'm gonna try to pronounce that very slowly. Top left hand side of the screen. Vaka er? Vaka er? <laughs> I don't want to say that too quickly. Vaka er. Because <laughs> uh, that might be something bad. I'll collect that pelt. Oh, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people who didn't make it out of that. I have five typed into the chat, but he survived. Naha! See, I did. I did. I lived. <laughs> I lived. Uh, oh, can we get up here? There's probably something good up there, right? Not enough stamina? Oh, let me stop running. I will say, my, uh... 
my run seems to toggle on and off rather than just be a, um... I don't know. Oh my god, really? You can't scroll through a menu with the controller? Come on now. Is there any way for me to st toggle the run? No. Game? Numbers. Target lock while sprinting. Break target lock on kill. Yes. Um, is there any way to change my run? No, I don't think so. Accessibility? Reduce motion, blah, 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 blah. Sound. I'm surprised and a little proud. Oh, yes! <laughs> I made it! I lived! So there's no... There's no toggle run. So the problem I'm running into is I turn on... I, I, I hit my, my stick to run, but it'll always run no matter what. Like, you have to toggle it back and forth, and sometimes it won't let you. That's kind of weird. All right. Like this, like if I, I run, and I stop. You have to stop for like a- you have to completely stop, instead of me toggling it. Oh, maybe it's not- maybe I'm just dumb. Okay, maybe I'm just dumb. Never mind. That it- That looks like a, uh, a trap I almost walked onto. Is that a trap? Yeah, I see spikes under that. Okay, yeah, that's a trap. What the? Nope, I'm not dealing with that. I should have just came up here. <laughs> Look at this. I should have just came up here and attacked them from up here. Because I don't know if they can climb. Could they climb up here? Uh, hoping he dies just because he locked her out of her house. I did not lock her out. I'm just improving her house. You know, it's not my fault Heather doesn't appreciate my improvements. <laughs> I'm modifying. I'm adding to her doors. Oh, yeah. We're going to go towards this, uh, this thing right here. We need to go up there. Well, now we know that the enemies around here are no joke. They're level 5 and they're monsters, so, uh... You would have been out of arrows before that shaman died. Yeah, probably. That's why I went in with my melee. Is this corn? Plant fiber? Okay, I guess. That's just... I thought it looked like corn, maybe. I don't know why I brought my two-handed mace. I should use this dang thing. So that's not marked on anything. What is this? It's a whole lot of nothing? Alright. It looks important. But I guess it's not. There's that blue mist that I know and love. This regular enshrouded is nice. <laughs> that pink enshrouded, dude, you do not want to go to that pink one. Uh, hit it! Should I? Let's hit it. I just got stoned out of that. Nothing! Yeah. Nothing there. Just stone. Little rabbit, I need your meat. Thank you. Whoa, you just came out with a with a force, huh? How about this? Oh, he's fast. Okay, I need your mace. You have a one-handed mace. That's what I need. Give me your mace. No? Dang it. That would have been nice.
<laughs> I need your meat. It's true. I need that rabbit's meat. Oh, looks like someone's built uh, on this tomb. Oh, I bet you it's that f those freaking uh, Sasquatch guys. Yeah, I see him. Can I fast travel here now? Dang it. Let's see if I can take out these guys. Wait a minute. Oh, there's a ladder. I was going to try to attack him sneakily and be like, you can't get up here. Ha <laughs> ha. Backpack full? Oh, crap. Why oh, my backpack full? I've been picking up too much crap. Uh, where did I get dirt? Oh, yeah, I was digging. Okay. I was going to say, where the hell did I get dirt from? Old books? A wise man could salvage something from the remains. Oh, really? Come on, climb up here, buddy. I need to make some more arrows for sure. <laughs> Is there another one? Oh god, there is another one! Did I keep my uh, wand with me? I did not. Crap! That's alright. Oh my god, I'm picking up m rusty swords. I don't need this. So let's salvage that. Let's salvage that. Let's do, uh, this. Beautiful. Take that mana. Alright, I need to get this guy. Can I fall? Do, can I do a, a fall strike? I don't think I can. I don't think this game is made for that kind of a... I do have my explosive balls. I only have one, though, so... Not gonna do that. Let's see. Is there a headshot bonus? I think there is, Jason, but you gotta have, uh... You gotta have arrows for that. I didn't have any arrows, dang it. Let me collect that animal fur. Any more stuff around here? No. It's going nighttime. I don't know if I- I don't think I can fast travel back here. That's why I don't want to leave. So I have to run all the way back. And that would be a pain. So I want to try to... Find all these guys like this. Hey, buddy. I'm going to need to repair my stuff. Oh, God, it's getting dark. Like, real dark. It's getting real dark. Whoa! And I, I didn't bring my torch with me, son of a... <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Is that a better sword? 14 compared to my 16? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Whew. I thought it was a better sword for a second because I was like, wait a minute, that's a new one. Well, I mean, we could try it. It looks cooler. But it does do a little bit less damage than my sword that I've made. Ancient Vault Hunter. Or Ancient Vault Hunter. <laughs> Let's see this thing. Is it better? I don't think it is. I think it's just... Looks different. Stab you. Nope! What?! I, I did the killing blow on him! You're not allowed to fix him! Oh no! He's gonna... Mm -mm, no! Yeah, fix him now, necromancer. Get out of here with that trash. You know what? You deserve a- Oh god! You deserve a ball, buddy. Yeah! Suck on that.
I need to take him out first. Yep, you can't heal nobody now! Ah! Oh. Give me that. Give me that. You, they just have twigs and stuff? I mean, come on! Give me a better weapon than that. I don't know if there's a grapple point right there. No metal plating? I assume not. I mean, they look like they wouldn't make anything with metal. Bedtime! I see another dude across the way. No, don't tell me that. I didn't see anybody. Oh, I see a cool little thing over here. Like you. Oh, man, we could have used this! We could have, like, ran all over this. Okay. Yeah, because I, I don't think they have any uh, range on them other than maybe the shaman. Oh, look, there's a box here. Oh, man, a potion, of course. There's no, uh... Tell me, really? There's nothing I can repair my stuff on? Maybe that big stone right there? No, you already killed him. Okay, good. <laughs> good. I repaired on this? Nope, just the animal fur. I can't repair. There's no repair uh, stuff here. Oh, come on. I, don't, I know I can't fast travel back here. I don't want to deal with this. Oh, God. Wrong button. I don't want to deal with this again. Please tell me there's a repair uh, bench in here somewhere. I don't like that at all. I don't like electricity. That's not good. I don't see anything up here. I can barely see anything. It gets real dark in this game. Which is really cool. But it's also kind of scary because you can't see a dang thing. Like if there's a trap on the ground, I'm never going to see it. It is so dark. Holy mackerel, man. All right. I don't even want to get hit with that thing. I don't know how much damage it's going to do to me. I have metal armor on. <laughs> I assume that means it's it's way worse for me. Um, let's eat one of these. There we go. Yeah, I assume... It's worse for me in metal armor. This sword is faster, I think. Okay, let's do this. Let's try this out. Alright, then we switch over to my scrappy sword. No, it's the same speed. Maybe it just it feels like it's faster. Yeah, I think it has a wider reach, maybe? I don't even know. Like, let me look at this thing. Max durability is 250, 250. Cutting, pierce, blunt are all the same, almost. Cutting is more, pierce and blunt is a little bit lower, and it gives you a little bit of poison! Actually, hmm. Okay, so Scrappy Sword. That is a good one. All right, so yeah, we'll definitely keep that one. That's going to be our main, I guess. Oh, God. Can I get it? How many? Oh, my God. We need three to open this thing? <laughs> so there's three buttons around here somewhere. Oh, is that it? How can I get this? Or is that just the symbol that I've already done it? Wait a minute. No, there's a button up there. How do I get that button? Wait a minute. 
How do I hit that button? I've done this one. Do I shoot it? With me, uh, with the arrow I don't have? Son of a... Um, okay, so we know where one is. Where's the other switch? It's up there. Can I even get to that? Oh, I can. Okay. Is this going to work? How does this... Oh, Jesus! Oh, I got to swing. Okay. I have to swing over there? <sighs> arrow? Maybe it's a symbol that you've uh, done that one. No, I think it is an arrow. I just don't have any arrows. Oh my god, yeah, if you swing too much, it just instantly drops you. That's not good. So I see a button over there. Can I jump from here? And swing that way? Oh my... I can't see anything! <laughs> I don't know where I'm going! Oh. I'm not looking up at all. I can swing across that. I need arrows, though, because I have to hit that one and I have to hit this one. Mm, and I don't have anything I could throw. Yeah, I got nothing I could throw. I can't make any arrows. Can I make a workbench? I need a string and wood. <laughs> Dang it! Can I make a... Wait a minute. Can I make wooden arrows? Okay. Okay. I, did, I thought I needed a workbench for that. Well, son of a... I've been able to make arrows this entire time and I didn't know it? I didn't realize that you can make arrows without a bench. I thought you needed a bench for that. Well, in that case, I could probably shoot that thing from here. Oh, you can't, though. They won't let you. All right, we need to swing up there. How do I swing that high? Because your grapple is as long as you... Uh... All right, let's do this. Nope. It needs to be shorter. How do I get it shorter? I only know how to make it long. Like, how do you get it shorter? I can't build anything here. Gave you the option to start gliding. Did it really? Wait a minute. Well, I mean, yeah, but I'm going to glide down. Like, if I do this... See, it'll just make me glide down. I can't glide up. So I need to grapple. I need to swing. But I can't swing from up here because it's not high enough. <laughs> Sprint drunk jump from the plane or flame? Maybe. Now, see, I still I can't get it high enough. It's just at a weird angle. Hmm. It feels like I need to be a little bit closer. Can I jump on these? I need to get on the other side of this. All right. No, no, no. Yeah, see, I'm swinging in too low. So 
Because I'm not, I'm not close enough. Like, I need to be jumping from, like, right here. If I was able to jump right here from a height, that way I could swing in. Oh, it's daytime now, thank God. But yeah, I need to get closer. You sure you hit the button uh, with the area? I think I did. Let me look. Let me one more time. Yeah, I'm hitting that button area. So you're looking for like that. Uh, that one looks like it is a push switch. So you see how this one has a little X on it? That way you can you can shoot it with something. That the switch over there looks just like this one. So I think you have to go up and push it. You can't shoot it. That's what it looks like, because the switches are a little bit different. So it feels like you got to push that one over there. Do you guys see what I see? I see the metal grating over there. Now I see it, now that it's not dark. Now that it's not dark. Don't do it in the dark, man. You can't see anything. I didn't see that metal green. <laughs> Let's see. A shepherd staff. Uh, a potent staff capable of guiding those who would otherwise be without protection. Staffs can cast spells. Guiding those without... Okay. I don't have any room for it. So that means I'm going to have to uh, drop some stuff. What can we drop? What can we drop? Um, let's see if I can make any more arrows. I can't. I need three twigs so I can drop the twigs. Uh, delete that. I, uh, wait a minute. What? Let's do this. I don't need that many purple berries. So we'll delete this. Um, what else can we get rid of? Nothing really. Wait a minute. Can I make string? I can. All right. Let's turn our uh, our plant fiber into string. There we go. So now I got a whole bunch of string and I made some room. Oh, perfect. See? Just got to refine some stuff. A wand. I can make my own wand. Wait a minute. And I just need bones for that? Or I can make my own staff? Uh, it's an ice wand. Oh, really? All right. We made we made a couple of spots open for that. We can grab that shepherd uh, thing there. Grab some salt. Uh, don't do it in the dark, man. You can't see anything. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, I'm gonna see my chicken. And then we can uh, eat my purple stuff. Now we can recoup some of that health I lost. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. Is there a fast travel up here? No. I don't like this. This looks like a boss chamber to me. Make sure all my health is all ready to go. I have a million uh, arrows. Okay, I think we're good. Maybe we do this one. Damage multiplier? Yes. I'm just weak to uh, elixir. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, maybe it's a special guy that we get like a... Oh, man, I wasted that for no reason. We now have the uh, hunter. Scree the hunter. Man, I was, all, I was all pumped up thinking it was a boss area. Crap. Thought it was a boss area. Oh, well. Hunter location. Yep. Hunter becomes the hunted. 
What the heck? Oh, it's just a weird camera angle on that. Well, okay, well, we got this, I think. Equipable? A terrain? Oh, so you can build up with dirt? Alright. So I think we've done this, so let's go back to our base. Find the way up, lots of metal. Wait a minute. Lots of metal? Oh, we'll go back eventually. We'll go back if that's a lot of metal there. Do you destroy the pods? Is that what you're trying to say, A-Train? Destroying the pods gives you a whole bunch of metal? Oh, uh, where's the hunter? You have to, you have to, uh, what's it called? Summon them. Good, good, good. Wait, wait, why is my wooden arrows in here? What are you doing? Up here. That's where you need to be. Alright, we can put that away. Put that away. I mean, technically we could salvage that for 18. Yeah, we'll do that. I uh, can get some uh, runes. I have a whole bunch of runes now. I have 116 runes. 134, technically, yeah. All right, Lara, lean meat. Let's move this down here. Make some more lean meat. Uh, there is a room upstairs. Really, Jaeger? Oh no. I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to go back in there and check it out then. I think you came back too early? Maybe! I can go back though, it's not a big deal. I can always go back. The hunter is alive! Perhaps she can reveal a thing or two about survival in the Shrouded Lands. Can I- Do I have any of that? I don't have a spark. I did not claim a spark from her. But, I should have my, uh, my... Summoning staff. Where is it at? There it is. Gotta summon her. All right. Uh, the wind howls. The wind howls. Uh, finding salt? There are many things we lack. Without a steady supply of salt, it'll be challenging to preserve the fur. I might not be from here, but I know the land well. Here, I'll mark a location for gathering salt in your journal. Don't disappoint. Okay, and what, uh, what can we craft? Oh, she crafts the scrap arrows! Alright. You need twigs and metal scrap. Oh my god! It gives you 50 arrows, but you need 10 scrap and uh, 20 twigs. Alright. Drying rack? I can make animal fur with a uh, fur patch from the uh, the rats. I can make a resin torch. A wax torch. Ooh. I guess it does more damage and it uh, lasts for longer. Okay, so I can make a scout set. What does this do? Uh, a simple light chest piece to com complement the rest of the armor. So I guess it's just lighter armor, but you can probably run for longer. Excellent tools for a scout with, especially due to their grip and padding. Ooh, what does that mean? What does that mean? I wish you could compare stuff. Like, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, ch uh, like, combine my chest. 30 magic resistance, 30 physical resistance. What about my chest? 42 physical, but only 21 magic. So, you give up a little bit of magic, but you get more physical resistance. And it's plus 60 health. What is her, uh, her animal? That gives me plus 12 stamina. Okay, so you're... Basically, you want to be a tank, or do you want to be more of a, uh, a ranged character? More magic, whatever. Okay, so... They're basically the same, it just depends on what you want to, uh, d defend against. 
It adds a ton of stam and some range damage. Nice. What is the game supposed to be about, Jason? Misha! This is a survival crafting game. So think in the lines of, like, Valheim. There's a story you're kind of following, but for the most part, you're just exploring the world, trying to level up. You're, uh, you're capturing characters, or you're, uh, you're saving characters to bring them back. Like, we just saved the hunter, so we're getting the hunter stuff now. So, I'm really digging it. I'm really digging it. We don't need the summoning staff anymore, so we can drop this off. Uh, I have raw wolf meat. We probably should cook that and eat that first. I have a short sword. I haven't been using the mace because it's too slow, so I should probably put that away as well. And just go with my swords. I have a shield. I have some lock picks. I have one lock pick. I can't believe that I missed out on freaking arrows. I didn't realize you can make them on the go. All right. Did we fix our stuff? I think we did. All items repaired. We are well rested now. No, we should do. We should probably make some furniture, right? Maybe the furniture will increase our rested. So we should probably do that. Let's get our hammer out. Let's uh, start building some stuff. So, can I make furniture? Oh, no, you probably have to build it in the, uh, oh, God. Okay, this is just for building the building itself, not for actually building items. Got it. So, we'll put that away. So, we just need to build uh, items from here. There we go. So what do we need for comfort? We need tables, we need fireplace, we got that one. Chairs, benches, illumination. So let's make some tables. Uh, a nightstand! What? We need wood, wood, wood. Okay, we need a lot of wood. Let's go get some wood! Uh, did he beat the game yet? I'm, I haven't beat it yet, Shock. I haven't beat it yet. I am... Now we're exploring out. We did a lot of, uh... We spent a lot of time building our base, so now we're exploring, and I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking going around the world and finding different stuff around it. It's pretty cool. My god, the distance. There we go. We got our resin out of there. So we have a lot of wood now? Yeah, 42 wood. That's the answer to all things. Uh, some comments above that need deleting. I don't know about that. What's going on? Uh, how do you rank the game so far? Same question you asked Bob earlier. Oh, A-Train. I would say... For me, Valheim is still number one. I love Valheim the most. So that's number one. Oh god. Hey, buddy. I would say Pal World is even above this. So I like this game. I think the combat and everything uh, about it is more smooth than uh, Pal World. But it's not grabbing me as much as Pal World. I still think, like, end of the week, going into the weekend, I think more people are going to be playing Pal World than this. I think it's a really good survival crafting game. It's just not getting my attention like Pal World does or Valheim. I really, really, there's something about Valheim. I can't put it down. I cannot put it down. It's so good. And this reminds me a lot of uh, Valheim. And it looks a lot better than Valheim, but... The... The world is just more interesting in Valheim to me. I mean, maybe this will be the thing that, uh... Differentiates people, because some people, they don't like the world of Valheim. They're like, oh, it sucks, it's boring. I like that there are, like, biomes in Valheim. In this, it doesn't feel like there's biomes. It just feels like there is a... A poison area and a safe area and that's it and you have to go into the poison area to collect stuff and to clear it out and to go after bosses whereas in Valheim you know if you're in the meadows you're okay 
you can only fight the Ekthir. And then when you level up to the Black Forest, you can get bronze. And then you go into the swamp. And so there's a reason to go into different biomes, whereas this is like, go to the poison area and f defeat a boss to power up. But there's no, like, okay. I mean, if I wanted to, I could just sit here and build all day if I wanted to. And so there's no push to get you out there. Uh, oh yeah, we were gonna build some stuff. Let's build some tables. Uh, we'll build a nightstand. We'll build a long table. We need some chairs. Need a bench. We need some illumination, but we need wax and stuff. So we need resin as well for these torches. So let's get some resin. I know we have resin in here somewhere. There it is. Let's build some torches. Get that, uh... So this is gonna be the question. Do you think that multiple items are gonna give us more? Or do you think it's like one torch is one comfort? And if you make another torch, it's still just one comfort. It doesn't matter how many torches you have. Because in Valheim, when you make a chair, it gives you one comfort. But if you make five chairs, it's still just one comfort. It doesn't add up for each item. You know, for each individual chair, it just says, hey, one chair, you're good enough. So maybe that's what it is? We'll see. Uh, no, I was waiting for a train's response. I think you misclicked. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I actually love that this game doesn't really push you to go out in certain areas. You can just build and take your time and explore whenever you feel. Yeah, exactly, Nick. So it's going to be a different flavor for everyone. I personally, I love the, the, uh, the formula for Valheim of you are limited to a certain thing until you get to a different biome. So it kind of forces you out there. You can't build anything with iron until you get to the swamp. And so you have to kind of go through all the biomes, whereas this is like, eh, you can do whatever you want. If you don't want to, go ahead and just chill out. That's fine. Um, You can put a table over here. But I do, I do appreciate this game for what it does. It's really, really cool. And it plays very, very well. It's not clunky. It's a little bit to get used to it. But it's not a, it's more of me sucking. It's not about the game sucking, it's about m me sucking. <laughs> so it's about me getting used to the controls. Because I'm used to playing it a certain way. Like I play Valheim. And so I, you know, I'm just like, can you not sit down on the chair? Really? I can pick up, but I can't sit down? Well, that kind of sucks. So it's just there for decoration. It's not, it has no use, <laughs> like at all. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's literally just to, to look cool. Alright, so we're at nine comfort, right? If I put down another chair, will it do it? Oh, wait a minute. Nine comfort? Or comfort level five? What? It says I was at nine earlier. Are we not at nine? Oh, now I'm at nine, okay. I put down another chair. Will I go up to 10? It did! If I put down the same chair, will I go up to 11? Okay, no, it's just like Valheim. If you put the multiples of the same thing, it doesn't matter. So, we need to be warm, though. There it is. 15 minutes! That's pretty good. Okay. So yeah, I still, I think I prefer Valheim compared to this. For me personally, I mean, it could be, you, this is your flavor. You don't like some features of Valheim, this actually might be better for you. And vice versa, if you, if you don't like this, you might find more uh, fun with Valheim. Let's put that away. We have our wood, oh, we have fireflies in here? No, we don't. Fireflies in here? No, we don't. Fireflies in here? Yes, we do. But yeah, I like it. I think it's good. I hear I hear there's no FPS cap. Yeah, shock and awe, there's not. So, I mean, I don't know if I can show you guys. 
Like, I literally had to make my own FPS cap. Let me see if I can do this. Come on. There you are. So you might not... Eh, you know what? We could do this. It's going to be really rough. Really rough. But let me sh let me do this screen capture for you. So. Come on. No? Really? There you are. Okay. So you see how it says 60? That's my frame rate. I'm at, you know, it's a good frame rate. Utilization is at 72%. Uh, I probably want to go back to the menu for this. So, return to menu. So, you see how it shot up to 187? Let me turn off my frame rate cap. So, tuning. Oh, sorry, game. I'm going to turn off the frame rate cap. Oh, it probably won't do it unless I restart the game. <laughs> Uh, no, there you go. I'm up to 200. <laughs> so it'll, it'll automatically force you up to 100% utilization. It'll automatically force it. So you want to put a frame rate cap and there's nothing in the game that gives you a frame rate cap. So you literally have to set your own and I have it set on uh, mine. There it goes. I make it sound. I need to make I need to change that. So I have mine set to 60, as you can see right here. I have it set to 60. It will go up to whatever your GPU will allow, and that's not good because it'll cook your GPU. It'll go up to whatever the maximum is. Don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. <laughs> and I, I'm just in a menu and it went up to 200. It was utilizing 100%, so don't. <laughs> uh, let me move that out of the way. So yeah. And there's nothing in your settings. Like if you go through here, like if I go to display, there is no frame rate cap. The only thing they kind of have is a limit frame rate in the background. That only affects the game if you're not clicked on it. Like if you alt tab out and it's not like the focus, that's the only time it'll lower the frame rate. That's it. So there's no other, there's no other thing here. Like, I mean, there's no frame rate caps at all anywhere. You can go into like maybe the game. No, nothing. Control, sound, display would be where it would be, right? It should be like right here. They should say, hey, frame rate cap of 60 or 120 or whatever. Uh, yeah, right. I guess my monitor is 60 hertz. Rico Suave. Well, my monitor is 165, but it went up to 200 and I saw it even at 300 earlier. So. It will go up to whatever your GPU will utilize. I kept mine at 60 because when I capture, when I'm streaming, YouTube and Twitch, they only go up to 60 anyway. So if I have any extra, it doesn't matter. But you can set it to whatever you want, whatever your refresh rate is, 165, 144, whatever it is. But I would recommend doing that. This game will go to the extreme no matter what. Let's see. Wait a minute. Can I not do this? Wait a minute. Okay, good. I was going to say, it needs to let me go back into my game. Turn VSync on. No, Robo Ninja. Not at all. I don't have any screen tearing, and I don't want the, the input lag. So I don't have any screen tearing on my screen, at least not that I notice. I'm not seeing any screen tearing. So... I'm okay. No V-Sync. I'm fine with that. Now, if you turn on V-Sync, yes, it will... It will. Uh, well, sh let me do that. I, I think you mean it'll cap it. Let me go back here. So let me show you again. Um, sorry, let me uh, pull this real fast. So I think what you mean is it will cap it in the game. So let me do this. So now my frame rate is going to go crazy. Oh, yes. That's going to go crazy here. But let's make sure it's up there. So screen. I'm at 200, over 200. 
If you do V-Sync, it will cap it. But it's still doing 165 because that's my refresh rate, 165. I don't need it. I don't need it that high. And especially my utilization is down to 60%. I want the extra power for my stream, so I will cap it at uh I will cap it at what's it called? 60 frames. That's okay with me. So now it's at 60. Lock 60 and it's perfect. I would rather have it at 60 rather than 165. It'll still cap it to your refresh rate, but still. I'm okay with that. So, my individual case, I don't want it to go as fast as it possibly can because it will cook my GPU. I don't want it to go as fast as my uh, monitor refresh rate is. I want it to cap at 60. Normally, in a game, they should let you cap it to 30 frames, 60 frames, 120, sure. Give me a give me a 120 or whatever it is, but there should be some kind of a, v, uh, a, a cap on here somewhere, but there's not. And if you don't turn V-Sync on, it will go as high as it will possibly go. So yeah. So yeah. <laughs> I do mine at, uh, at 60 frames on purpose. I would rather have an option for 60 frames. V-Sync limits the FPS to your monitor refresh rate. Yep, that's the limit. So yeah, there you go. I mean... That load is pretty fast as well. Did you notice that? That load is so freaking fast. We can upgrade our uh, our axes as well. I just realized that. I should probably do that with him. Not you. This guy. Um, felling axes. I can get a scrappy axe. I need metal scraps. Okay, we need metal or shroud wood and metal scraps. Metal scraps and shroud wood. Okay, so I need metal scraps for everything. I need metal scraps. Do I have any? I don't think I do. Not that. Get out of there. Um, nothing there. Nothing there. Uh, nothing there. Let's do this. Nothing. Nada. I need to go get some metal scraps. So we need to go back to that area. You guys said there's a room upstairs, right? You said there was a room up here. And I can't... I can't fast travel to it. I wish! <laughs> they won't let me. All right. Give me my stamina back. Oh, I have... Wait a minute. Okay. I have my... Shroud protection and elixir crazed. <laughs> Those are a positive and a negative for the shroud. All right, let's see if I can do this. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. <laughs> oh, I made it, I made it, yeah! Boom! Dude, just taking them out like crazy. Level three. Haha. -ha. Can't handle me. Really? I'm going to get going, get some uh, Fallout 76 time before dinner. Nice. Thank you for hanging out, Jason. Very much appreciated, Jason K. Yeah, it's pretty much unplayable at the uh, moment for me. I mean, I like it. I, th I th think it's a really good game. It, there's a good loop, but it takes some time to get used to the way that they have it set up versus most other survival crafting games. So for me, it's just getting used to the fact that, you know, I, I, again, 
it is a personal thing because if you don't like the uh, the Valheim pushing you to different biomes, then this might be more for you because you're not going to different biomes. You're just exploring the map. And there's going to be certain regions you can't get into, but it's mostly due to not a biome. It's more of a you can't get there yet until you've upgraded your character. Whereas in uh, Valheim, it's more of a boss gate kind of thing. And you need to get in there before you can make other stuff. I like the game, but the camera movement is very choppy. Is it? I don't know. I'm playing on a controller. I mean, with a mouse. Let me see. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Maybe? Just m small movements? Oh my god, I'm barely moving my mouse. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm talking like, I'm moving it like this much. Okay, maybe play with a controller. Holy crap. Look at this. I feel like I'm moving it like a centimeter to do this. That's like a centimeter. <laughs> that is definitely some mouse acceleration or some sensitivity. Okay, if I play with a controller. Yeah. It's way more smooth. Uh, yours is better and I'm also on a controller. Oh. I mean, I do have my sensitivity. Uh, let me look. I can show you my sensitivity. Maybe, maybe changing that will help. Control. Um, oh god, the fact that you cannot use it. You can't use a controller in the menus. That's something that bothers me. You have to use a mouse and keyboard. Camera sensitivity, 2.25. Aiming sensitivity, 50. That feels like I, I didn't change any of this stuff. This is all default. But yeah. Why is the keyboard and mouse camera sensitivity is one and that's still really fast. Holy crap. I might knock that down to like 50 <laughs> or 0.5. But yeah, I like it. It feels good. It's smooth. And again, I did cap my frame rate. So the camera movement might be more jagged if your frame rate's going up and down. So like if you're at 200 and you drop down to 100, it's going to feel really weird. That's what an, another reason why I cap my frame rate is so, so it doesn't go up and down to the extremes. It's always at 60. I didn't eat any food, did I? Oh crap, I didn't eat any food. I didn't eat any of my food. You guys didn't tell me to eat food. I should have probably did this earlier. Why? Why are you throwing rocks at me, dude? Alright, let's do this. Bandage myself up now that I've gotten all jacked up. I got you, buddy. There we go. Go up and use arrows. Oh, I probably should do that. Yeah, I should. I did take out the uh, shaman. Let's do this. Let's see if they can get up here. And I'm using wooden arrows. I'm not even using the good ones. I'm just using wooden ones. It def definitely feels like it's more... Uh, the farther away they are, the less damage you do. Yeah, see, it's closer. Done and done. Yeah, they can't come up here. Okay. That's definitely a way to do it. Just get up here. Let's grab the, uh... The buff. I got a whole bunch of buffs going on here. Where'd the, uh, where'd the shaman go? Did I already pick up the shaman? Really? Sorry, little dog. You're being mean. Let's uh, get that going. See, I wish I could just climb right here. I'd be able to get there, but I can't. You can't climb in this freaking game. Maybe, you know what? Maybe you can later on, but right now, 
I cannot grab onto the wall like you would in Zelda. I, I, that drives me crazy. But you can't do... Is there a grave over there? There's a red marker I see in the sky. What is that? It's just a very faint line up there. I see it. You see that red line? Can you see that? You probably can't. It, you know, during the, on the stream, you probably can't see that. But there's a red... Oh, it's probably coming from that. That tower over there. Uh, these guys respawn? Yeah, Cole, it feels like they respawn once a day or something like that. So let's see if these guys did over here in the temple. I feel like the temple is like a boss area, so they don't respawn. But maybe I'm wrong on that. Let's see. Like, or the vault. Oh, no, they did respawn. Okay. They did respawn. Give me your sword and your animal fur. Yep, there's the, uh, my awesome guy. Wait a minute, let's get this guy first. Before that shaman comes down here. Yeah, ah, ah, you can't heal him, he's dead! Ha ah, ha, suck it! Do the shamans do damage, or are they only healers? I think he's only a healer now, because look, he's not doing anything. I think they only heal. Okay. So definitely take out the shamans because they'll heal everyone, but you don't have to worry about them because, look at he's running away like a little wimp. Oh, he... Okay. He solved that problem for me. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's like, I'm not dealing with this. I'm out. <laughs> uh, the wolf respawn too. That is correct. So I think all the enemies respawn once per day. Like if you kill them and you come back, you're fine. But if you uh, if you come back the next day, then you're not so fine. <laughs> he yeah, he definitely committed a uh, seppuku for sure. Oh, uh, I mean, let's grab all this stuff. Did those respawn? I think I destroyed these. So they might have respawned as well. Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, because I opened this door before earlier. Yeah, I think all the stuff respawned. Oh, yeah. All right. You guys said there was a room up here? I don't see a room in here. Oh, there is! You guys are right. Oh, don't do that. Just pick up the thing. There is a room up here. Uh, another... Oh, am I climbing up over there? Yep. You guys said there's a whole bunch of metal up here? I don't see any metal. Let me look. Let, let, let's look around. Let's look around. That a door? Oh, that is. Oh, there's a chest and everything too. I feel like I'm not doing any damage to this. So let me get my uh, let me get my thing out. Ineffective. Ineffective, my butt! It's just giving me stone, though. Alright. Hunt! I already have two of them at this point! That's the third one I've gotten. I'm not seeing a lot of metal. Okay, so do I get different stuff if I hit it with different things? Like, if I chop it down, will I get different stuff? Nope, you just still get stone out of it. Okay. So what if I chop the wood? Or chop the, the gate? Yeah, this gate is pretty strong. It probably will give me metal. It's gonna give me one piece and it's not worth all this work. Wait, is that a door in the floor? Wait a minute, is it? 
No, I think it's just a metal grate. Yeah, it's not a, a door. So you could probably hit these and... Oh, sh... Am I chopping the... I don't want to die. Oh my god. This better give me like 10 metal for doing all that work. He committed, yeah. What is that? Metal on the floor? Yeah, it is. I don't think it's a door, though. It's just a metal grate. Maybe these don't break. Yeah, they probably don't, because I've been going at it like crazy. My pick is going to break before that thing does. Open this door. Ooh, I almost walked through that hole. Is there anything up there? Do you think I can jump up here? No, I don't think I can. The draw distance is pretty dang good. Alright, well I got a- another... freaking bow. <laughs> ah! He did some lemming! You can fly to a different tower? Oh, God. Should we try? I want to make sure I have stamina going, though. Because I don't want to... I, I, can, I can't go to the pink, because the, the pink is going to kill me. Um... I mean, go over here? Uh, using your squirrel? I probably could. Maybe that one over there? That looks close enough. It's in the pink, though. Mm, I don't want to... I don't know how far I can go. I don't want to stop and land in the pink because the pink cloud will kill me. Way fast. Hmm. No, yeah, I think that they planned that out. I could probably get close, but then I'll land in the pink cloud and then just die. There's a house over there. What is that? Maybe over there. Have I been there? I have not! I have not. That's gonna be right around here. Oh my god, that frame rate. Look at that frame rate. I need to check that. What What is that frame rate at? Let me see. Let me see how far that dips down. So that feels like it's like 10 frames a second. I don't know if that's true, but it feels like it. Let's see what that frame rate is when I lower it. When I go to the map. So I'm at 60, solid 60. Go to the map. We're still at 60, smooth 60 frames. And then I lo I go out here. <laughs> 36, 30, 23, 21, 20. Yeah, we're at 20 frames a second. It goes from 60 to 20. Just opening the map and zooming out. That's it. I'm at 20. I'm at 18 now, 18 frames. If I zoom in, beautiful. That is so weird. That is such a weird bug. If you go into the map, it's okay as long as you're zoomed in. If you zoom out, frame rate just tanks. All right. Let's see if I can get... So the blue, I can get into. I can survive in the blue. I just can't survive in the pink. I bet you I can get to that house over there, right? Alright, let's make sure I ate my food. Eat that. Eat that already, we're good. Hmm. I have all my full life. Let's do my honey. That'll help me regenerate my uh, stamina. Ah! Oh my god, that is a lot farther than I thought. Please, stamina. Please, stamina. Oh, gotta go down. Gotta get closer to the ground so if I fall, I don't die.
Is this where we were in the map? Oh, yeah. We just haven't gone over here. So we have a regular one right next to the pink. Okay. It must be loading in all the objects under the fog. That's the only thing I can think of, Chris, is that it... The fog is there, so I can't see it, but the game is loading everything. That's the only thing I could think of. Or there's some weird... Uh, frame cap problem. Because it went down to 18. Like, it was averaging about 20 frames. And it wasn't doing anything. Like, I don't know what the heck is going on with that. No idea. It's a really weird bug, though. Really? I was going to be nice to you. Oh, Jesus Christ. That scared the poop out of me. I just need that air guy to hit me once. I'll die. <laughs> Do not sharpen broadsword. Ooh, I might keep that. So let's uh, let's eat one of our uh, fruits here. We can start regaining our health back. Let's see what they sharpened. Oh, it just looks cool, but that's it. It's 14 damage again. Wow. Well, let's see if it's better than the uh, regular ones like we have here, the short swords. We don't need that many. So let's see. Actually, let's bandage up first before I... That was a weird bandage. <laughs> okay, dude. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. He has to bandage from that side. So there is an advantage to it. It does more damage against the shroud, I guess. Oh, it is dark. Let's see if there's anyone else in here. It's kind of nice coming here at night because I got to see that crackling wand. I'll take that. Oh my god, I can't see anything else though. Oh Jesus, where'd you come from? Oh, I guess they spawn up at night. Oh, this is not smart. And I'm pretty sure I can't fast travel in combat. Cheat. All right, I think I could fast travel now because I'm not in the shroud. I want it. I should have brought a freaking. Do I have a torch? I do not have a torch. I need to have like a lamp on my waist or something. I need like a, a a lamp to light up everything. No special traits other than sharpened. Well, I think that it has like uh, if you notice, it has you know all the stats above me. It has cutting and pierce, which is normal sword, but it also has shroud. I assume that means it does more damage to the shroud, like shrouded enemies, like that the enemies I was just fighting. Whereas. Like with my normal one, it has cutting, pierce, blunt, but a little bit of poison on it. And then with a normal like short sword, it just has cut, pierce, blunt, and that's it. So there are some advantages to different ones. Like we have the fire one. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe this will light up everything. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of like a torch. Wait a minute. Can I light a torch like that? Oh, that would have been awesome if I could light the torch with the uh, crackling uh, thing. The lighting in this game is so good. Look at that. The light source. 
I don't know if it's ray traced or not. I don't think it is, but that is pretty awesome. Like, you can use my uh, wand, my crackling wand, to light the way. Because it's literally just uh, a fire. <laughs> it's literally a fire. I wonder, did I do that? Nope, doesn't help. So you can kind of light the way. I don't see anything else up here. Oh no, there's something up there. How do I get up there? Oh, gotta jump up here. I don't be here. Do I have to jump up here? Yep, I think that. And then that, okay. I can't see! <laughs> this is... I'm doing all these puzzles in the night, and it's, it's really impossible to do. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this at night. I can't see anything. I'm literally trying to use my flaming bolt to light up the area. <laughs> I can't get through over there. Yeah, okay, now you go. Never mind, guys. I saw it. I got it. <laughs> oh. All right. Was there a bed down there? I didn't see a bed, Cole. Was there a bed? Is there a bed here? Oh, there's a chest. That's a golden one. Guillotine. It's a two-handed axe, though. I don't like this. These are two, uh, it's not doing enough, like, for me. Like, look at this right here. Two-handed axe. So you have to use two hands for it. It goes a lot slower. Does 21 damage. My one-handed sword that goes super fast does 16 it does five less damage, but I can hit twice as fast. Meaning, I'm doing probably more damage with my sh scrappy sword versus my guillotine. It just... I feel like two-handed weapons need to do way more damage to be worth it. I mean, I don't... I'm not going to use this thing. It, it takes too long. It's just way too, uh, way too cumbersome. I mean, look at, we'll just do a comparison. Oh my god, is there a bed in here? Is that- is that- you guys keep telling me there's a bed in here? Oh god. I didn't see a bed. Yeah, see, there's not a bed, technically. <laughs> that bed is not working. Is there a bed down here? No. Nope, no beds. There's no beds in here, Cole! There's just that one bed frame, but it's not, like, that's not workable. I can't use that bed. There's a fireplace! Again, I wish I could light things on fire. That would have been cool. Uh, Jason, there's a ding 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 bed. Go to sleep, make it daytime. I'm looking! I didn't see any beds! I don't see no beds. It's getting kind of night now, or getting kind of day now. I don't see no beds. You guys are lying to me. I mean, I might be able to make a bed, but I'd have to build everything. I don't want to go to sleep because I can't fast travel down here. Like, that's the thing, is I don't want to go to sleep because I have to go back to my base and then fast travel right back down here, but I don't have a fast travel point. I can't, like, speedily travel back. I can go like this. Oh, I thought the broken bed was whole. Sorry. No worries, no worries. I was just like, there has to be a bed. So yeah, broken bed doesn't count. Well, let's, uh, drop off all our stuff that we have in here.
Then we got a whole bunch of weapons. Pine short. Oh, wait a minute. We got a different bow. What? How do we get a pine short bow? That's different. Did I pick that up from the enemies? Is it better? 10, 10. Nope, it's not. And then this one is 10 uncommon. 10 common, 10 common. What, what bow am I using? Yeah, that's the one I have. Okay, that's the one I'm using. So... Yeah, I can just get rid of these old ones. We don't need them. So we can sell this. Um, I mean, I don't want to sell the two-handed. Even though I don't like them. I don't want to sell it, but... Mm. Yeah, see, so that- the regular short sword just does cutting, piercing, and blunt, and that's it. This one has no blunt because it's sharpened, however, it only does cu uh, cutting and piercing and shroud. A broadsword almost too big to be con comfortably swung. The original owner must have been gigantic. <laughs> we'll salvage one of those. Let's see, actually, you know what? Let's see if we can make any better weapons. Like, can you make a better weapon? Yeah, she just does arrows, and, uh, yeah, you don't do any, like, swords and stuff. What about you? You got any better swords now? Um, one-handed weapons? No, we just have this scrappy sword. That's it. Oh, I could probably make more, uh, oh, I need metal. I need metal freaking sheets to make my armor. I need metal sheets. So I have my helmet and I have my chest. I need my arms for melee damage. 23 health for my pants and one health generation for my feet. What? I should have did that. All right, let's see if I can make some metal metal sheets. I think I have metal. Metal. I don't think I have any. Freak. <laughs> Almost said a bad word. Freak. Good job, Jason. I know, I know. Yeah, I don't have any metal. All right. Well, let's uh, stack up more. I think we have one more slot left. Yeah, one more in here. So yeah, I have a... I literally have a guillotine legendary, and I have a guillotine okay. Oh no, dang it. Hitting the wrong buttons here. It's daytime now! Um... Look at that! The legendary and the epic do the same amount of damage. They have the same upgrades. The only difference is you can get bonuses that are different. Like, look at that. Same damage, same everything. You just get a one extra bonus. One has precise, the other one does not. Really? Increased critical hit chance by 5%. That's it. The legendary uh, quality only gives you a, another bonus. Something. Mm, I don't know about that. That doesn't feel like a good, uh, like a good trade. All right, let's, uh, let's increase this. Now... Can I upgrade anything? Like, I was just thinking. I know they said earlier, I can't remember. They said you could upgrade stuff, right? This one doesn't have any special features. Uh, I know that one does. Actions, nope. How do I upgrade? I can't remember how to upgrade, you guys. Is it in the crafting workbench? Is it in this guy? Does he upgrade your stuff? Enhanced equipment. Yep, there he is. Um. Oh, I need a. I got a whole bunch of runes. I should be spending them, right? Let's do that. Let's do it. 
Scrap your first set of clothes. Free up some slots. Ah, uh, yeah, I wish... It, you can't scrap it, you just delete Ognum, so you don't get anything for it. I mean, I could, because it doesn't really matter. But you know what I mean. I like keeping it. I like keeping it. Let's, um... Well, well let's upgrade our bow, since uh, we're here anyway. Vicious, increase the backstab damage by 20%, and precise, increase critical hit chance by 5. And then short sword is just increase cut damage. Plus two fire magic damage. Just because I have the money. <laughs> oh. And I can't make any better weapons, huh? All right. I mean, I totally can, but the problem I have is... I can just delete it. So I'm losing. I mean, I'm not going to use it anyway, but... It feels bad. I don't need that. Can I not delete? Oh, I can't delete it out of the, the box? How do I not delete that? I guess I can now. Alright, uh, bow. I have torch. I have... Multiple torches. Um... You know what? Let's upgrade that thing. Let's see if it's worth it if I upgrade this thing thing. Cutting protection, cutting damage. Attribute points, plus five cutting damage. Brutal, increased hit damage by 20%. Increased critical hit chance by 5%. All right, so it's doing a lot more damage now. Is that going to be worth it? Let's see. I've used all my money on that, though. <laughs> I used up all my money on that. This bow is just terrible, so let's uh, delete that, I guess. Scrap your first. I just want to know if you'll make this a 24-hour stream. Maybe. <laughs> I can't stop. I'm liking it. I really do. I think it's a good game. Overall, I do like... I think... Uh, I think I like Valheim more, but this is a solid game. It's very solid. Very good. Not the bed. I know you want to take a break, but let's get to, let's get some mushrooms going on in here. Don't need that. Don't need that. I don't need the crackling wand. I probably should just delete that thing. Salvage it. Yes. Get it out of my inventory. We can uh, oh, we can cook this meat real fast. So let's cook the meat just to get it out of here. Cook the raw wolf meat. That's gonna be very. It's gonna have charcoal all over it. It's not gonna. That's not gonna taste good, man. You better back up on that. Back up on that. Oh God! You just put it in the flame, in the freaking ashes. You don't want that. You don't want that in there. You really don't. There we go. Maximum health increased. We're rested. Let's go use the axe now that I've upgraded it. Let's go find some enemies to, to hit with. Do I, can I fast travel anywhere else? Can I fast travel back to the... That one we've cleared out? Nope, you can set as a waypoint. That's it. What about this one? Oh, I can tra fast travel to that one. Okay. Word, Heather! Jason will get into trouble soon as his wife expects him to make dinner when she comes home. Yes. <laughs> yes. I think we'll be okay. I think. Famous last words. Alright, let's go. We've done that. Elixir well. I guess, I mean, we haven't done this one, so we could set that as a waypoint. Let's see. There's no fall? Like, animation? I could just do that. <laughs> like, he just fell for, like, a good 10 seconds. Like, eh. It is what it is. <laughs> Let me die.
Are there any enemies I can hit? Come on, enemies. Where are you guys at? There you are. Oh, that's pretty good now. Okay, that's a pretty good hit. I like that. Oh, what is... Ooh, what is that? Not liking this. I don't like that critter parts. Mm, not good for me. Oh, there's a barrel. Don't run near the barrel. Don't need to get shot by that. Okay, okay. Now that it's upgraded, I am liking this a lot more. You gotta upgrade that thing, though, man. Holy mackerel. So you, gotta, you definitely have to... The, the upgrades are worth it? But I don't know if I, if I still like this or not. Fireball. Sure, I'll take all that. Well, let's go down and... Let, I'm assuming this is a boss area again, like the other one. So, we should probably eat some food and uh, regenerate our life. Let's reset our... Uh, our enshrouded. Here we go, seven minutes. That was a dumb mistake on my part. Oh, yeah. We probably should drink our water as well. There we go. We ate our meat. So we should be good. Now let's go. This is going to be a boss area. Oh, this resets your enshrouded. I don't want to keep that for a minute. So we can clear out like this. Oh, that's the boss area over there. Let's clear out the enemies first. And then we'll come back and we'll, we'll reset our time with that. That's the, the thing that resets your enshrouded time. Oh, yeah. That just destroys. All right. Oh, God. There's a lot of these little bugs. That's what is going to happen. Okay. Can't handle this. You can't handle the big axe. These little bugs, they don't have a lot of life, but man, they all come at you and they will mess you up, it, it feels like. Get a whole bunch of critter parts. I wonder what you can make out of the critter parts. go. Get out of here. This game has really gotten under your skin. You've been streaming for hours. Yeah, for six. Oh my god. I really, I really dig it. It's really fun. And it takes a little while to get used to, but once you're in it, oh man, this game is, it gets really good. It gets really good. It does take a little while to get used to all the mechanics and how things work. Endless life ring. Leaf, uh, life leaf chant, or uh, life leech chance. I think I already have one of those on. 
And it is an early access. It's out on PC right now. Oh, I think I need to reset my uh, enshrouded time. Because I think we're getting close to that boss. That's all we need. All right. Really? Is that a nest? Oh, oh, that guy. Okay. Let's reset this time to seven again. Sorry for the question, but when do you think No Man's Sky update will will uh, happen? I mean, for me, I think it'll probably be the first or second week of uh, February. Traditionally, that's generally when they do it. However, the schedule has been all over the place. So your guess is as good as anyone else's because it's just crazy. Like, we haven't had an update since August, which doesn't usually happen. So if they're trying to stay on the uh, schedule, quote unquote, it's not really working. Woo! That's a lot of bugs. Whew, okay. I think we're okay. There's no boss here. Yeah, no boss. Okay, I thought there was going to be a boss, but I guess not. So now we don't have to worry about the enshrouded, or the shroud. So we can kind of wander around a bit. Oh, there's a golden chest. And root staff. So they, it feels like they give you a good balance between magic weapons and melee weapons. I see some guy over there. That way you don't have to worry about, oh, you only get melee weapons or whatever. No, they give you a good balance between. All right, I guess. I think the bugs were the boss? Maybe. I feel like it was just they wanted to throw a whole bunch of enemies at you. So it wasn't necessarily the bugs. It was more of the fact that there was a lot of enemies in there. So you just would get overpowered by all the enemies. This feels like a bug home. Okay. That was easy enough. So yeah, I think that might have been it. Just a whole bunch of enemies coming out to overwhelm you. I'm just trying to go around and see if I missed anything. Not seeing any other than that. We got the box over there. Oh, little guy. A little bug house, I think. A hive or whatever. Got a whole bunch of skill points. We should probably look at our skills. Uh, we have five again! Dude, I feel like we get, they give you some pretty good skill points when you level up. Physical armor gains 10% more armor points. Uh, when attacking with a melee weapon, all damage is increased by 10%. So I'm really heavily looking at, like, the melee build. I haven't done a lot of magic. I haven't been impressed with the magic. 
Heavy handed, an enemy stun bar is increased by an additional 20% when attacking into their block with a melee weapon. Ooh. I mean, we have that. Magic, magic, magic. Increase your dexterity. Ranged cut damage by 5%. We have all this. The pickaxe deals 30% more damage against stone objects, including resource veins. Increase the enemy's stun bar gain on a parry attack. You only need three instead of six seconds to revive an ally. That's definitely multiplayer focused. Shiny plates. Heavy plates. The maximum amount of physical damage your armor is able to mitigate is increased by 10%. Well, let's do that. And then we have purification. After defeating a shroud infested foe with a melee weapon, you replenish five seconds of shroud time. Oh, that's a good one. So if you kill an, uh, a shroud enemy in the shroud, it'll actually increase your timer. So you could essentially be in the shroud forever because you could, as long as you're killing enemies, it'll redo your, uh, your, it'll add to your time. Oh, really? When you're equipped with a melee weapon, you can perform an evade attack with which dashes towards the enemy and deals more weapon damage. Mm -hmm. Then we have constitution. Increase your constitution attribute by one. Increases health by 50 per attribute point. Are you sure? So yeah, we're definitely going towards a, a heavy, like a melee build. Uh, just five seconds, Cole. Uh, just ask my wife. Five seconds can be a lifetime. Uh. I think we've got everything in here. You should unlock the ones inside the circle. I probably should. Like, I, I don't care. Like, that one probably. But I mean, the pickaxe? Eh. The uh, only need three. I don't need that one. Backstab damage. Increase the damage you deal from behind by 25%. Sneak attack. Well rested. Oh, I should have did this one. The base duration for the rested buff is increased by five minutes. So you get, you start out with five minutes rested. Miner. When you uh, mine resources, you have a 10% chance to get one additional resource. Quality gear. All tools lose do... No, I should have done that. All tools lose durability 50% slower. I should have done that. That is... That's... An, oh, I need to get that one. I need to get that one. So I gotta unlock this one and then do that one. So it looks like you have to you have to be in that tree. Son of a Uh just asked my wife. <laughs> yeah. My yeah, my wife, not my life. <laughs> Heather, she's so excited to do it. She uh Oh man, I just killed okay, I'm liking the uh, two handed. Oh my god, that just destroyed them. These little bugs, man. I'm going to level up real fast with those bugs. Don't want to hit that while I'm next to it. Oh, there's a chest over here. I almost left without looking at the chest. It only had health potions, but hey, I'll take that. I am liking this. Ooh, this two-handed. Now, you know, I, I, I was moaning about it earlier, but this thing actually does pretty well. I was complaining about it earlier, but after upgrading it, after spending the money to make it better, it is actually much better. Oh, there's a chest right there. I almost didn't see that. It is hard to see. I mean, it's only health. It is hard to see some stuff. Like, in Valheim, it glows. Like, it sparkles. In this game, if you're not really looking, you're going to miss it. Really? Yeah, they don't they don't point it out to you. They're not like obvious about it at all. What do the blue ones do? Oh, it probably just spreads out the shroud. Okay, yeah. Alright, that makes sense. It's a shroud bomb. Just give me some wood. Oh yes. I find I'm getting turned around in this game just watching. It, it, it is hard to keep track. Again, like, there's no mini-map or anything like that. 
I don't know if there is a plan for that, but that might be helpful to give us a little tiny map of the area. I mean, they give you a map, so I can pull up my uh, world map, but I mean, there's nothing like in the area. Like, I don't know where everything is. It's uh, the same problem I had with Starfield. Unless you know the area, you get lost really easy. Well, we cleared out that well. Wait a minute. Really? Where'd that come from? Did I just shoot his bomb out of the air? Did I just shoot his bomb out of the air? I think I did. Professional archer, I am Legolas. 100%. You saw it here. You saw it first. Oh, great. Just as he gets attacked by bugs, commercials pop up. No! Really? I don't think they should have. I have it set to be manual. I don't- I don't trigger the commercials on purpose. So, if YouTube's doing commercials... They shouldn't be. Cause yeah, I have all that stuff set to manual. And then I just never trigger it. <laughs> so, that's my way around that. Hopefully- did you guys get ads? Wait a minute. Now now I need to know. Did you guys seriously get ads or are you just or are you just saying that? So I want to know. Weird, I never see commercials. Oh wait, I think it's my ad blocker. Well, I mean, I purposely don't put in. They they give you the option of, "Oh, if you want us to do ads, you can do it or you can manually trigger them." I always set it to manual, that way I can just never do it. I've never Okay, good. Because, yeah, I do that on purpose. I purposely will set it to manual and not ever trigger them. <laughs> that's just my, you know, that's my personal preference. Not everyone should do it or is able to do it. I do it that way. Can I destroy this for metal? Whoa! Where'd that come from? Wait a minute. I got explosions happening. Oh, that guy. That jerk up there. What are you doing? I should probably head back home. Yeah, I don't think I can... I don't think I can break this stuff. Yeah, it'll just let me hit it forever, it looks like, but it'll never break. I thought maybe I can get some metal out of it. Uh, yeah, I got to add as those uh, bad uh, bugs jumped on you. Ognum, you shouldn't be getting any. So I'm going to look at that. Yeah, you shouldn't be getting any at all. Let's uh, go back to our house. That guy up there said, get wrecked, noob! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just try to... to get me from a distance. Just to screw me over. All right. Did I not put my money away? I did not. And then this is new. Oh, critter. Okay, that's why. That is new. <laughs> Metal scraps! I got two! <laughs> uh, flint arrow, sure. Oh, yeah, we need to check that out. So I think I already have a, uh... It's literally the same thing. It's literally the same thing. Can you equip two of the same rings? Uh, yeah, you can. Okay, so it doesn't matter. You can equip two of the same if you'd like. 
Okay. But I mean, I'd rather have the uh, 8 stamina and 10 health versus the 3% life leech chance. I mean, I like it, but I don't need two of them. So we can drop that off. Um, the root staff we don't need. The health needs to go down here. You need to go down here. Um, okay, yeah, because we have our water, which gives us more stamina, and then our meat gives us more health. And then we keep that third option open in case I need to regen health. I can eat my berries, or I, if I regen my uh, stamina, I eat my honey. Uh, you're breaking your weapons by hitting that metal thing, it seems. Yeah, you are. So, all I have to do is come back here, though, and redo it on the... And so now all my items are repaired. Boom. So now, it's all good. So it's not a big deal. Uh, so I was just- I was just checking to see if I can get some metal scrap out of those. Obviously, you cannot. Oh yeah, I got my rested? Okay, I got my rested buff. I did not eat my food, though. So let's do that. Water for my stamina. Food for my health. Now let's go get some metal scrap. Where do I gonna get metal scrap from? I mean, I assume... Oh, God, yeah, don't zoom out. Don't zoom out. Um, Rookmore, maybe? Maybe that's where it's going to be? Uh, at 3%, wouldn't bother either. Yeah, I know. I mean, together they would be 6%, Chris, but yeah, I don't think so. 6% <laughs> is still not high enough. It was like 10%, okay. But, yeah, that... Not a big enough one. <laughs> Good lord. That was like animal abuse. That's not good. Uh, get some mushrooms here. Get some more twigs. I can make some more. Oh yeah, I need to make more arrows anyway. So yeah, let's get some berries and stuff. Um. This looks like a boss area. I just jumped in here for no reason. Oh Jesus. Okay, good. Did I come here already? I think I have. Oh yeah, this is the other... Do the enemies respawn? Because I know these guys drop a lot of metal. I just realized that. I, I was already here. I cleared out this camp earlier. But, if they respawn, I'll be able to get a lot more metal out of these guys again. Oh, here's a wolf. I don't see anybody. Oh no! They're not respawning, really? The wolf did. Just got bones on you. Uh, what else is in your to-do list? I probably should go to my journal and see what's going on here. <laughs> Powerful alchemy. Uh, map marks the location of the alchemist. I need to go get the alchemist. Uh, the flame can be strengthened at the flame altar. This empowers you to pierce the shrouding farther. Or the shroud farther. And to construct more bases to protect the ember veil from its reach. In order to strengthen the flame, sparks and other materials are needed. Find sparks in flame sanctums. And flame shrines. I need to go there. I need to go to the salt mine. I need to go mine some salt. Searching for hidden tombs. Rumors hint at the existence of a hidden tomb in the Springlands. Find the location. Descend into the depths of the catacombs and bring home the loot. So, I guess it's that one? I mean, we already did that one. What else are we looking for? Oh, I guess over here. This one. Ancient Vault, the Alchemist. Oh, no, that's an Alchemist. Oh god, zoom in. Uh, caravan camp. Oh well, let's go in here. Oh god, it's nighttime. Oh nice! What the heck? Hey, how did I miss that earlier? Oh no, they did respawn. Okay. All right, this is not going good for me. All right, it does a lot of damage, but man, it is slow. I got to get used to that speed because good Lord, I'm getting destroyed. 
I'm used to having my freaking, uh, what's it called? My short sword. My scrappy, uh, sword that's really fast. Hey, look at that. Boom! Oh, it regens everything! So all the, the, uh, stuff is back? Are you serious? Wait a minute. It's regening everything in here? I like that. Because there's some cool stuff in here. Alright, alright. I'll take that. The enemies are back, but also the items as well. So there's a guy down here. What? Let's go our scrap. There's a guy down here. Oh god. Or a rat that scared me. I didn't even see you, rat! I thought there was a guy down here. Oh god. I gotta mess with me. Rats? Yeah, the- even the chest respawn! What?! Even the chests respawn! I get my balls. Oh yeah, and it's the same item, because I remember we got two balls out of there earlier. Okay. So even the same items will respawn in the chest. Okay, I don't know for sure, but it feels like that. That bomb, same thing. I can't see anything, it's too dark. How'd you get up there? How'd you get up there? Oh, even the barrels, even the barrels respawn. That's something to keep in mind. Oh God. Oh no, trap. The other basement had the guy. Oh yeah. I knew what basement did. I just, I guess I got confused on which one was where. Let's get this guy up here. Where'd you go, guy? Where'd you go? Give me that explosive balls. I need all the balls I can get. Really? You wait till after I move. There you go. Screw you! Whoa, what the... Where's this guy at? He's hitting me from somewhere. I can't tell where the heck he is. It's too dark. <laughs> it's too dark! I hear him. I can't see him, though. There you are. Stab him. Oh, yeah. Done, son. Give me your medal. And yeah, the chest just regenerate. Forest longbow. Okay, so that's different. I think we got our hunter longbow out of there. But still, it's essentially the same. <laughs> it's different. Don't get me wrong. It's different. I love he's clearly swearing. The bad guy, I mean. Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> but he's like... Rah, 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 rah. He's doing the uh, Home Alone... Uh, what's his name? Uh, he's just doing the whole like mouth moving. Like, I'm cursing, but you can't hear it under my breath. Oh god, what's his name? Marv and, um... God, what's his name from Home Alone? What's, what's his name? Guys, let me know. What's his name? Guy from Home Alone. It's Marv and, uh... What's his name? The Sticky Bandits.
Joe Pesci. Harry! Yes, Harry! That's what I was looking for. Harry. Harry and Marv. Alright, let's go down to the basement, get the other guy. Do you think the rock came back? That way we have to clear out the rock again? I think it's the one we went on already. Yep. So not this building. This one. I can't see a thing. Seriously, I can't see a thing. There needs to be like a uh, belt torch or something. Like a lantern you can make to attach to your belt. Because good lord, I can't see a dang thing in here. Okay, so he's down here. More bombs. Yeah, we're going to replace all of our bombs. Can use that on the next boss whenever we run into that. Repair my equipment. Yes, please. Thank you. So I hear somebody. I don't know where he is, though. Is he, like, in here? I don't know where he is. We got a whole bunch of metal scrap, though. Let's see these barrels. Let's see if they give me metal scrap, please. Water and wood. Oh, there's a chest right there I missed. Good lord. Three more explosive balls. Oh, yes. Nice! Just like in Valheim. You just sit next to a fire and you get your rested buff up. Beautiful. Uh, I don't get ads because we have YouTube Premium because our kids watch it so much. Now, I have it set to where there should be no ads whatsoever. I mean, unless you refresh the page. Like, if you initially click on the, uh, on the stream, there should be ads when you start it, but no ads in between. Like, there shouldn't be anything. Unless you refresh the page or you just join the stream. That's the only times you should see ads. Oh, I purposely have it set like that because, you know, I hate it when there's just random ads in there. It, you know, if I'm in a boss battle or whatever, there shouldn't be any ads. Well, let's go home. Since I have my, um, all my metal. Let's start making some metal plating so I can get better armor. We can also sleep. But before we go to sleep, I want to make sure I have my, uh, my uh, metal in here. Yeah, I got 22 pieces of metal. I know, you definitely gotta be doing that. Alright. Well, let's go to sleep. Let's see if it actually goes faster if you go to sleep. Not pick up. Go to sleep. Literally, as soon as I laid down. Never mind. <laughs> as soon as I laid down. Yeah, I didn't even have time to do anything. I, I swear. Let's lay down and see what happens. Boom. Crows are crowing. God. Um, we don't need that. Don't need that down here. This needs to go up here. This can go up here. Bandages are down here. So that's all good. Put our food down here. That way we can get some more meat going. Uh, not so much crows. Yeah, roosters, roosters. There you go. See? Stick it outside of the fire. That way you don't get all the soot all over it.
I mean, we could drop off all the stuff, I guess. Does this have any storage? Nope. It's just there for looks. All right. Oh yeah, we could probably waste my uh, items here. I can probably get rid of this, salvage that. 10? Where's my other one? 12, okay, nope. It does have two upgrades, vicious and precise. This one is plus two fire magic damage. Ooh, it does fire damage. And precise. So that one does fire damage, but the arrows are slower. This one is arrows are faster and does more critical damage. I'm going to go with the uh, faster one. We need to make some wood arrows. Oh, yeah. Where's my, uh, where'd all my uh, twigs go? Mm -hmm. Just looking around. Making sure everything's all organized here. Where did all my twigs go? What the? Is it in here with the wood? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I could have put it with the wood. Holy cow, yeah, we have a lot of twigs. So. That should be enough for some arrows. Oh, yeah, plenty for air. So, I mean, look at this. So, how many arrows did I get? I got... A hundred... And fifty. I... Do they stack unlimited? It, do they stack unlimited? Because it feels like they stack unlimited. <laughs> I like that. One metal plating. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't have to come back later on. Avoid the magic, Jason. Stay on the true path. The path of the tank. I mean, that's what I went with. 100%. So we need to level up. That way I can get my uh, my other points and my other stuff. So let's see. What do we got in the world here? Cinder Vault? How have I been, anno uh, been avoiding this? I haven't even gone in here yet. There's a Cinder Vault right here. Right next to my freaking base. Yeah, like, literally. Oh, did I come out of there? <laughs> Oops, that's why. <laughs> I was wondering, like, how could I fast travel to it? Because this is where I came from. Duh. That's why. Yeah, see, so you fall pretty... I mean, I assume that you get better upgrades for your glider. But you fall pretty hard. Apparently, the Carpenter NPC lets you craft magic chests that allow you to craft from their contents so you don't have... Oh! Owl! I can't wait for that. Because I was wondering why I couldn't just grab stuff if it was in my chest in my area. Then it should all work like in a uh, pal world and things like that they automatically let you get whatever the contents are around you so yeah that makes sense all right i guess all right my flame just uh, lit those torches Yeah, I don't think I can do anything with that. All right. Well, let's follow this around. I haven't gone over here. Oh, there's a hook over here. Oh, yeah, we did come over here earlier. I just couldn't do anything with it. That's a weird scene. That looks like a definitely a texture uh, issue right there. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it's built like that. I mean, you can see behind it. There's a weird seam there. All right. So, oh, there's a chest here. With, uh, ooh, arrows. And uh, I'll take all that. Beautiful. Oh, there's a nice little house over here. With some wolves, it looks like. How do you like my era? Can I fall in this hole? Probably. I don't want to get in there because it doesn't look like I can get out of that. I thought it was a spider web, possibly. Spider web? Oh, no. I don't think so. I think that was just a weird graphical glitch, Mary Lizzie. If you talk about that wall. Oh, jeez. Okay. I guess they don't even have to look at it. If you're just nearby one of these, it'll automatically trigger it. All right. That's good to know. Just wood? There's metal on that thing. Explosive balls. I got a lot of explosive balls, you guys. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Those are good for range. Read the scroll. Careful with this shipment. Argon, take care with the new shipment from the valley. The merchant said it was highly volatile. Apparently, the explosives explode if jostled or tossed about. Who would have known? <laughs> anyway, I paid a pretty penny for this. Do not mess around in here. I can't afford to fix another hole in the wall. So we're going to get more explosive ones. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of explosive. Yeah, look at all this stuff. Okay. So I guess this is where I was supposed to go. I have a feeling. Once I got my uh, my grapple, I was supposed to head over here. Oh yeah, look at that. Tutorial. Use a terraforming tool or explosives to forge a path through the rubble. Explosive powder balls can be thrown. Explosive barrels are detonated at range. Or if you're like Jason, you detonate them immediately <laughs> with your melee attack nice okay good tutorial i get my metal star mace i have a way better axe in my hand right now so i'm not even worried about that okay so obstacles it said obstacles sorry buddy Wow, six hours straight, dude. We're at seven hours now. We're at seven hours. Seven hours stream. Yeah, it's going on seven o'clock. Good lord. This is not going to be good with my wife. It's okay, though. There's a new game that came out and it's so cool. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. Yeah, this feels like where I should have gone to begin with. I went the hard route. I skipped all the tutorial areas. You know, ah, we don't need to do that, right? I'll just skip all that and do this instead. Do all the hard area, the boss area first. <laughs> what a dummy. Oh, I just exploded that whole, uh, that whole tent. Okay. Oh, I could have just fought him like this. Oh, well, whatever. Dieter fares well. Cease your prattle. He has shovel and fortitude. He'll be out of the mine shaft shortly. Perhaps he plays a prank on that us, that camp. Or that scamp. Pray tell. Did you put some provisions in there, Hans? All the same, he'll survive. Aye, the chest was a fine bait. Though we had some need of it. Fi should have considered this before. I have no idea. That's all fancy talk to me. So I assume... Yeah. I assume we have to blow this open. They trapped him in there. What a bunch of jerks. 
Ah, uh, explosive balls all over the place. Man, we have so many balls now, it's crazy. Jason does the hard area first, without the- well, I don't know about the without dying part. We did die a few times. <laughs> but, you know what? The chat is never wrong, so of course, I didn't die at all. <laughs> I didn't die at all! Shepherd's Lightning. Yeah, I'm getting all the low-level stuff because I, I skipped the tutorial area like a frickin' fool. Curse these numbskulls! They nigh blew me to smithereens, those scoundrels! Dieter! Go witness! We discovered a chest in the new tunnel! I swear it! It's, nay, Dieter! Tis no chest, observe for yourself! This is all of a sudden, it's very old English. My mouth is chock full of dust, and my hands are numb from digging. My nails splinter. I am famished. Vicious curs, may the shroud take you all! It did. It did. <laughs> yeah, I totally skipped this whole, like, awesome tutorial area. <laughs> Dang it. I, uh, oh, look at there's a building. Oh yeah, we've already been to that building. Let's head over here. Instead of going down to the shroud. <laughs> I mean, it's not a lie. <laughs> That's true. Oh, there's a basement down here. With a rat. Thank you for your fur. And there's a cooking area. A broken bed. Yeah, look at all this nice area that I just totally uh, skipped because I'm smart. Like, nah, we don't want to do the easy area. The tutorial area. Pfft. Tutorial area is for babies. For people who want to actually know how to play the game. We're just gonna figure it out the hard way. By, you know, beating or going after the bosses when we're way probably underpowered. Now we're overpowered for the tutorial area. <laughs> I bet you there's gonna be some easy, like, mini boss over here to get you ready for bosses. I have 15 explosive balls. If it's for babies, then why didn't you do it, Jason? Because I'm not a baby. <laughs> uh. we this feels like you need a mount. Like, this feels like it was made for mounts. Like, you have long distances where there's nothing going on. I had a wolf, one wolf back there. This feels like I need, like, a horse or something to... to traverse this really quickly. Oh, that's pink. We can't go in the pink. Let's see if we even get close to it. Oh, wait a minute. Can I get in here? Oh no! Oh no! That's that's way too fast. Okay. <laughs> Can I cheese it? I got 153 arrows. We can do this all day. I don't think it. I think uh, I think you need to chop it with an axe. It's a critical for one. It should have been doubled, so two for a critical. Do you think I can destroy it by doing this? Because I think the last few have taken a lot of swings. We're talking like probably 70 or 80. So I'm going to have to probably blow through all of my arrows just to take this thing down. Thankfully, it doesn't take any stamina to do this, so I can do this all day. Shove your axe into the... <laughs> Did Jason just Jason <laughs> chop it with an ass? No! Axe! Axe! <laughs> Heather! <laughs> what are you talking about? Run in and see if you can chop it. No way. I might get one hit in. It was good. Look at this timer. I got maybe 10... Oh, Jesus. Maybe not even 10 seconds. That was like, what? Maybe 5 seconds? Critical. <laughs> Critical for one damage! 
Enunciate, Jason. No. Mountain. Ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Explode it. You guys are smart. Okay. Let's see if I can I throw it that far. Nope. Can't throw it that far. <laughs> can't throw it that far. I might. My axe or my. Uh, my bow might break before I even get it down. Enunciate. No. Letters are for losers. I was trying to maybe see if I could double. Womp womp. Run in and throw it. Run out. No way, Ramy. No way. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to live that long. I'm not going to live that long. By the time I throw it, I'll be dead. <laughs> and then I have to go back in there to get my my stuff that I dropped. No. Thankfully, you don't drop your gear. I don't think I'm going to be able to take this out, you guys. It might be healing faster than I can kill it. I don't even know. Does it heal? I assume it heals at some point. So every five or ten seconds it heals by ten. And I'm only doing like ten damage. So it's probably not doing anything. Alright, we're not gonna... I just wasted a hundred arrows on that thing. Is my bow broken at this point? Oh no, my bow is it. Do you not use up your bow when you fire? Because I'd say 100%. It's not damaged at all. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. I need to get some more twigs. That way I can make some more arrows. Enunciate. There are numbers, so I think it's hitting. I know, but I don't know if it's healing faster than I can damage it. It might be. It might be healing. Because I, I did 100 damage to that thing if I was doing one every arrow. Where are we going here? Oh, there's another flame sanctum over here. Wait a minute. Is there another one? Yeah, because there was a flame sanctum. There's a, no, the cinder vault. There's a flame sanctum over here. Oh, this is where I can get my spark from. So I can upgrade my uh, flame. Get a lot of water out of these jugs. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Oh, I got honey. Wait a minute. The, these lovers sought refuge in the flame, but it warms them no longer. Offered spark at the flame altar in your home. My dearest Helen, please hold your tears and sit by my side. Let us gaze over the valley as we've done before. The setting sun and falling leaves are like our brief and precious time. Let us share these hours before they're swept away by the shroud. Come rest your head on my shoulder, my daffodil. <laughs> Yours forever, Salim. All right. Let's take the spark. Yeah, we have a spark now. Thank God. Now, does it check it off? No, it doesn't. It doesn't check it off at all. All right. And I'm guessing this is a fast travel point. Oh, Chris says blocking maybe damages the bow. Maybe, but I don't have it equipped. Like, I can't really... Like, I can't really uh, block with it. Like, I have it hot equipped, so it's in my equipment. I can't really do anything else other than draw the bow. Like, if I put the bow away, I just pull out my other weapons, my shield and stuff. Oh, I don't need a rock. Rock! Alright. <laughs> I feel like I probably should have gone this way to begin with. Oh, good lord. Yeah, I probably should have gone this way and got the alchemist first, instead of the hunter. <laughs> ah, well. We did the hard part first. That's fine. Probably would have gotten a lot of equipment and some upgrades and stuff, but eh. That's fine. They don't need it. Hello, wolf.
Oh, a little critter came out after me. Oh, did it poison me? Oh, really? Is that a spider? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. I don't like that. I'm not a big fan of that at all. That's a spider. No. Yeah, that is a spider. I am not liking that. And it poisons you. It gives you string, though. That's good. <laughs> not that I need any string anymore. Okay, yeah, poison lasts for a little while, too. Thankfully, I have a whole bunch of life. Did they break out of these cocoons? Maybe. See ya! Oh, just like spiders. I know, me too. I'm not a big fan of this. I don't like the the spiders. Not a fan at all. Okay, oh, not get him. Okay, he's just in a weird spot. All right, fine. I didn't want your items anyway. You're probably just gonna give me critter parts anyway. Yeah. Oh, the big ones give you a spider. Ooh, got you right in the sack. I think. Is that the uh, right terminology for a spider? Oh, not all of them. Okay. Not all of them do. Just some of them. Some old western music playing. Got a little fiddle going. Chest! Where? Was it up there? Did I miss it? Baby killer? No. No. Where the- Oh! Duh! There is a chest right there! I totally missed it. Seriously, it is way easy for me to overlook that because it blends into the environment. I didn't even see that thing! It's not lit up, it's not like highlighted, it doesn't sparkle. It is really difficult to, to see that thing if you're just rushing through like I am. Missed a chest near that spider you couldn't get? Yeah, I got it. I got it now. Now I got him. I saw some enemies get damaged down here. No? Oh, I see a chest up there. I need some better... Christ. I hate that it does not it just instantly connects even if you're not looking at that thing like I'm not even looking at it like this I'm right here right it doesn't tell you there's no indication it just says oh you want to grab that thing it's like no I don't even know it's there <laughs> I don't need to grab that thing oh someone's a mushroom farmer all right Died in his tub. Yeah, there's a cool little heater right there. Some water. Oh god. Can I not get out anymore? Oh jeez. Let me out! Does it not... Does it not break? Oh crap. Can I not get out of here? Buddy, you and me, we're stuck in here forever, huh? I can't get out. Uh, fast travel. I don't want to fast travel. We're so good. Peaceful acres. All right. I guess we're going to have to because I can't get out. Yeah, I can't break this thing. Is 
Yeah, it won't let me break that. And I can't, like... Can I crouch underneath it? Nope. I can't. Alright, we we gotta fast travel home, I guess. Oh! Ugh, gotta stretch a little bit. Well, let's see what we got on our backpack. Oh my god, yeah, we're- Oh yeah, we got our spark! We gotta use that anyway. So yeah, there we go. Strengthen the flame. So I need resin and shroud liquid and animal fur. Resin, shroud liquid, animal fur. So I'll take the uh, resin. Backpack full. Oh, I don't, I don't even have room for any of that. All right, well, let's do this. We're going to deposit everything here. Deposit everything here. That way we can just clear out our inventory and we'll just pull out the things we need. Like the heel. Um, we don't need that. Metal scraps! Oh yeah, we can make more metal plating. Or, uh, um, <laughs> metal plates? Metal sheets! Sorry, metal plating is a No Man's Sky thing. Um, we have 11, so we should be able to get some upgraded armor, thankfully. So now, I know we need resin, we need animal, uh, animal hide. So we have resin, animal fur, mushrooms. What else did we need? Uh, bones and shroud liquid. Bones and shroud liquid. Um, we got our bones in here. Shroud liquid. Where are you at? Oh, you're in there. So we should be good. Strengthen the flame. Level two. My glow and warmth reach farther into, into the darkness. Thanks to you, Flameborn. I am strong enough to protect your home should you choose to expand it. All right. So yeah, we have a, uh, a longer level out in the shroud. Uh, alter activation capacity, I have four. Character attribute bonuses, two. Okay. Do we level up? We did not. Dang it. The spark of knowledge has erupted within. Ready yourself to unveil the secrets of our past. Find the two ancient obelisks of the uh, Springlands to learn the world's fate. A story of rot and fire. Only those who seek the truth shall find it. So we have our metal sheets going. What do you need for uh, our upgraded armor? We need string, and we have our animal fur. Uh, yeah, we just need string. We just need string. And we'll get our metal plating out of there. So I believe it's over here. Oh, yes. There is our string. And then we need our, uh, our sheets out of here. Metal sheets. So let's make, uh, we have our chest and we have our head. We need our gloves, pants, and, uh, boots. Get back out. Gloves. Yeah, now we're going good. There's my character. 103 resistance, magical resistance 51, physical is 103. Uh, all attributes. Oh, you get a detailed stat. All right. There we go. Poison susceptibility, 100%. So there's no poison resistance at all. How do I make my backpack extension? I need that. That's what I need. Uh, we don't need this. We can salvage the mace. We can salvage this uh, rusty sword. Uh, I think we're all good on everything else. Yep. So we can put everything else away. Oh, it's night time! It'll be the first time we sleep in a while! Um, we have our runes in another place, but we can do that. We can do this. 
We can uh, drop off the resin. We can drop off nothing else, really. I think our cash is in here. Yep. Money in there. Rubble. You can put our gear in here. Maybe. You can break that one thing down and put the pants in. That way I have a backup set of gear. I don't know why, but you know. I feel comfortable when I have a backup set. Because then it's like, okay, I'm, I'm good to go on that. I don't need to worry about it any longer. Oh my god. We have 116 cloth. Can I possible? Is it possible to turn that into anything important? Sleeps for five seconds again. No, I'm gonna sleep for the whole time this time. Look at watch. 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 We're sleeping good. Oh yeah. That's a good sleep. Oh, she has something to say. What's going on, Hunter? One arrow alone can be broken, but you but many together are unbreakable. You should search for others to join us. What's your wish? I've survived long enough to know when there are others like me. We need to do more than persevere. We must settle down, grow crops, revive the land. There's a place I remember. Another ancient vault was built. You should search it. All right. She added a marker for us. Oh, yeah, we can make a drying rack. That way we can uh, use salt to conserve furs for further usage. Place near a hunter. Big straw mat. Wait a minute, wall decorations. I can put the wall decoration up. Okay, all right. Does it give you comfort? It does give you comfort as well. Okay. Good oh yeah, we need to cook our food. Can I sell that? Yes, I can. Let's cook some food. Where are you at, Hunter? There you are. Uh, fine. Ten seconds then. Yeah, yeah. Tidings of comfort and joy, of course. I'm really digging this. I really like this game. Uh, the rubble. What do we do with the rubble? It doesn't say anything. The dusty remains of a building material. Can I make something out of it? I keep putting it over, I think, here? Yeah, I keep putting it in here. Oh, well. And where's my coins? In this one, I believe? Yep. Well, let's keep going! Oh, I haven't eaten. <laughs> I probably need to eat. I have a whole bunch of... I got three solid bars. What does that mean? I thought I had more bars earlier. I mean... I mean, okay. Maybe my armor... Gives us a whole nother uh, level of bars. He keeps spawning in the rock like that. Like, I think he's stuck. It feels kind of bad killing him because he's spawning wrong. Um, we've already done that. We were over here at Peaceful Acres. So we need to get back over there. Maybe it means your food goes farther? Maybe. I don't know. Because I have, uh... Three big hefty bars. We're gonna get attacked by an enemy, that way I can see. 
what that means. Like if it's a, um, if it's just heftier health, but you'd think it'd be a different color. That way it doesn't get confusing. Or you think it would give us a second bar, like a row of bars or something? I don't know. I am wearing better armor, so maybe that's the explanation. Oh, no. Where you at? I hear somebody. Oh, really? I killed a, uh... I literally sliced up the bees. All right. You think it would give a uh, chocolate bar? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe make a darker green or something? I don't know. It feels like it's the same exact setup. All right, let's see. Hit me. Oh, yeah, my health is way higher. All right. So he's not doing any damage to me. Like, compared to what it used to be, he's not doing any damage. So I'll take that. And then when I heal, does it heal up slower? No, it heals up the same amount. Okay. So, yeah, he's just doing less damage. So, it's a good... It's a good system. It's just a confusing system. I still wish they would uh, make it a different color green. Like, you're... Maybe your life bar starts out as a very light green and it gets darker and darker the more intense it is. Until the point where it's a really dark green. That way you know, oh, I got like double health bars or whatever. Ooh. Let's see. Oh yeah, we gotta go to the right. Stamina is pretty good because I'm on, uh, I'm rested. Gotta get my twigs. That way I can make a whole bunch of, uh, arrows. Got my, my berries as well. So I think this is where we were. Yep, that's where the uh, patch. Oh, look at this. Give me all this. Plant fiber. You'd think they'd give you more than one. It's just giving me one. Alright. Did I go in this house? I don't think I did. Maybe I did. I just don't remember it. I don't remember that at all. I feel like I could pick that up, no? Yeah, I don't remember this house at all. I think I skipped this house the first time we were here. Get out of here, rat. Yeah, I think I skipped it. Alright, well, let's check it out now. Silver chest. With a masterful mace on it. Now, is that a one-handed mace? Where'd that mace go? Is it one-handed? It looks small enough, maybe. Nope, it's a two-handed mace. Dang it! Well, then it's not worth it. Let's get rid of it. I'm hoping for, like, a one-handed mace. That would be cool. Lockpick. That was not worth it for a lockpick. A bandage and some wooden arrows? Are you kidding me? And not worth it at all. I found corn cob. Okay, so if it's grayed out, it's already bad. But this, that's corn. Oh, I got some corn on the cob, you guys. Yeah! Seven and a half hours in, is Jason going to go for 12? No. I am not going to go for 12. 
I'm just really, really excited. I'm finally in the area I should have been in to begin the stream. I went through all the more difficult areas just to get here. Because I'm a fool. Story of fire. But yeah, look at this is all where we should have been. This is all where we should have been. Lord. Oh, that looks like a scary place. Yeah, this looks like a scary place indeed. Sorry, little doggy. I get too get excited about fresh corn. Dude, Josh, corn on the cob is freaking good. It's one of the, like, things that a lot of people don't even think about, man. Corn on the cob, you wrap it in some bacon. You can't beat it. You cook it in wrapped bacon, man. Oh my goodness. What is this? It's not marked on the map. What is this? This looks ominous. I don't like this at all. There's bones everywhere. Mmm, not liking this. There's a... There's walls of bones. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I don't want to walk on that guck. And I guess I have to walk in that guck. Oh, wait a minute. There's a door over here. What? Oh, we gotta check this out. Shepherd stat. Oh, I closed the door. So, okay. Now we have to check all the walls. Hidden walls! Invisible wall ahead! There are tons of invisible walls! Guys, I'm going to be checking every wall now. Look at this! I mean, that was kind of obvious one. I'll take all of this stuff. Remember, it said there was a hidden tomb. Is this it? This might be it. You are right. I do remember them saying that, but I thought they would have marked it. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be hidden if it was marked. I get yeah, I get it. I don't want to step in this. This looks bad. Is there a... No. I'm not going to step in it. I think it's bad if I do. Yeah, that looks bad. That looks like I could sink in that. I don't want to do that. Oh my god, there's a spider in his body? Ew! Get out of here. Give me that critter part. Okay, so there's uh, coffins that are open. That I mean, that's not good. Go around the edges? not just jump across. Just jump across. And have all the guts ever. Oh, that little spider didn't make it. Loot your body. Loot your body. Ha ha. Give me your string. Oh, wait a minute. There is. This looks like it's going to be a uh, special coffin. A tomb. A root staff. I wanted a melee weapon. Give me a better sword. Got to make sure none of these are hidden walls or secret walls. 
now. Meh. Yeah, I know. It is a meh. You know what? It's okay, though. This is still the... Oh, jeez. Okay, that hurts. This is still a tutorial area, so I get it. It's not going to be, like, super mega awesome stuff. So I get it. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing. All right. Well, we did get some cool stuff in here, and there's a lot of... Oh, God. And it's all over. I got the poop on me. Ugh. That's gross. Look at this. Ew. They, they literally put the guck all over your boots. Ew. I mean, I guess that counts as a hidden tomb. I mean, kind of. What have you done this before you had boots? That's true. That is true. It probably would have messed me up. Like, it, would, it probably would have slowed me down a lot. I assume that's what it's doing. To let the, uh, the spiders attack me. There's a trail that leads over here. Oh, this is just a, uh, what is this? There's a trail that leads here. What does that mean? Is this the hidden tomb? This is more like a hidden tomb or a cave or something. What is supposed to be in here? It feels like there's supposed to be something here. I'm not seeing anything though. Other than the chest right in front of me. Other than that chest. Alright, I need to double check because obviously I, I suck it at seeing things. I did not see that chest right there. I mean, there's flint, I guess, right here. Wow. Well, the barrels over here. With nothing in them but rock and wood. Actually, I see something. No, I can't climb. Okay. If you haven't hit that like button, you know Jason would love it. That is very true, Heather. I, Heather, I do appreciate you hanging out all day. It's been almost an eight hour long stream. That's a huge stream. I haven't done a stream that long in a long, long time. But I'm really digging this game, you guys. Seriously. I am digging this game a lot. Well, there's something over here. What is it? I had it for a second. Wait a minute. A story of fire. Okay. Should probably make some, um... Got some corn. Plus one strength for ten minutes. Okay. Uh, I should probably make some, uh, what's it called? Some... Freaking arrows! And then we can make some, uh, string. Oh my god, we can make a ton of string. Just have it. Look at that. It just keeps going. <laughs> How much string do I have now? 
I got all the string. I got 51 string. Holy mackerel. I should probably eat that. And drink some water. An ancient obelisk. In a world destined for ruin, humanity will fade as all beings do. Their light will flicker and die, untouched by the eternal flame. Meaningless and minuscule is the face of near endless insight, burning brightly. Turning to dust as we turn to fire, an endless cycle of ruin and turmoil. Hey guys, what's going on here? I got Wanderer Boots, level 3. Not as good as the ones I have on, but okay. And then, his note, tired. We would pretend to read them as children, but now the obelisks hide their truths. I was a fool for thinking I could find a solution to my problems here. No one hears my prayers, and I feel so tired. I wish you were by my side, brother. Forgive me, Vettel. It kind of does sound like the Meadows music from, uh, from Valheim. I got metal sheets out of that? Whoa, that's a good, that's a good drop. Metal sheets just randomly out of a, a vase or a vase. So we got the one obelisk. I, I assume this is going to be another one. To mend old wounds. This will be the second obelisk. Backpack full. Oh, good lord. Am I full? Oh, yeah, I don't have, uh, Wanderer's Boots. Physical Resistance 2, Magical 2, Stamina Regeneration. Whereas my boots give me... 10 Physical, 5 Magical, and 1 Health Regeneration. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep those. <laughs> I'm gonna keep those boots, thank you. So I can... Oh, you cannot destroy them, you can just delete them? Oh, what the... I wanted to get some money out of that. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I have to go down here? How do I get down? I, I, do I have to use my thing? Probably do. All right, got to use my, uh, my flyer. In shrouded. Oh god, they exploded. Wasn't ready for that. Excuse me. Oh, there's a nice uh, building over here. So yeah, definitely. They're trying to slowly introduce you to the shrouded areas. Because like, there's little tiny pockets here and there, but they're not all over the place. I just ran straight into the most difficult spot, and like, ah, I'll just deal with all this shrouded stuff, you dummy. This is definitely the tutorial, like, teaching you how the game works and everything. <laughs> Dang it. Wood guard! <gasps> Look at their growing foods! I can't, oh my god. Can I fast travel back here? Oh, please, let me fast travel back here. Oh, no, you can't. Can I fast travel to the ancient obelisk? No, you can't. Are you serious? You cannot fast travel? Oh my god. That means I can't come back here. I mean, I can, but I gotta walk all the way. Oof. And my inventory is full. Man. Oh, bees. Just run this way. I hate that you cannot fast travel to certain locations. That bench looks really nice, but his body does not.
Yeah, but I can't. I, I'm starting to hit a whole bunch of stuff I can't pick up, so that means it's time to head back home. Oh god, unless the bees come after me. Killed you, bees. Alright. You definitely gotta go all the way back home. Goodness. Leroy! Yes. Good night, Wendy. Thank you so much for hanging out today. And it's been a long stream. I gotta... I gotta stop. Can't you build more bases? You can, Owl. I should probably build a base out there. But I'm so lazy. I just wanna make... I wanna have my one base and I can just fast travel everywhere. That's what I want. All right, so we have a root staff. Do I have another root staff? I could have sworn I had another one. It is a... Oh yeah, I have multiple root staffs at this point. So now it is time to see which one is the best and get rid of the other two, since I have a ton of them. And then I have a uh, an ice or a shepherd staff. I have a crackling wand. All right, shepherd staff. Uh, I think I have another- I have another shepherd staff over here, so let's check these as well. I only need one if I'm gonna keep one. Shepherd's lightning? That's pretty cool. Alright. Let's see what we got in here. Get rid of the old one. Up, oh, they're all literally the same. Okay, so! It feels like if it's not a specially named one, it's all gonna be the same exact stats. So you don't need multiples of that. There we go on that. Excuse me, wire. So, these are the same as well. Just one's uncommon and one is rare, so it has an another bonus to it. So we'll get rid of the uncommon one. Um, and then the lightning is gonna be a little bit different. It is a common. It's a regular one. It does have lightning, though. Yeah, we'll keep that one, because it is lightning. That's special, I guess. Oh, then we have a blue hunter's bow. Wait a minute, that might be better than the one I currently have. I do need to upgrade it, though, but I think it's better than the one I currently have. Yes! So it has one additional thing on it. Well, let's upgrade this baby. So yeah, it does more damage. It's a level six. Okay. That is current that is better than the one I currently have. So we'll get rid of this one. And there we go. We have a new bow. I cannot get the Oh my god. I don't want to keep this and I don't want to delete it, because I want to get coins for it. I feel like it's a waste if I just delete it, but I'm never gonna use it, so. Probably gonna delete that. Yeah, let's delete it. Oh my god, I have way too many purple berries. So, we're gonna move that over. That way we can make room for the bones. Oh yeah, I already have 20. Oh lord. Delete that, delete that. We're picking up too many berries. Oh yeah, I gotta make some more metal uh, sheets out of this. So let's do that. There we go. I think we're doing pretty good. We can put our metal sheet spell over here. Oh my god, I have a whole bunch of, uh... I have a whole bunch of string now. Got a whole bunch of string. I got a whole bunch of, uh, torn cloth. <laughs> lord, lord, lord. Oh yeah, we can put some of this stuff away. So, there's that. Corn on the cob we don't need. That'll give me plus strength. We can cook this uh, food. We can cook that food, this meat. So let's do that real fast. 
What is the time limit on YouTube live streams? 12 hours. And I have to start a new one. <laughs> 12 hours is the time limit. And so it forces you to start a brand new stream after uh, streaming for 12 straight hours on a single one. I wonder if you made a rug from the torn cloth, if it would up your comfort further. I bet you it would. I bet you it would. Let me cook my meat real fast, and then we'll make some carpets. <laughs> oh lord, we are... ...going crazy with this, uh, this game. There we go on that. Let me get some of this, uh, cloth. Hopefully it takes a lot. I could build a whole bunch of rugs down. So this, we'll put our food in here. So the wolf meat gives you a little bit more health than the, uh, grilled lean meat. But I have a lot more of the lean, so I'm gonna keep that. Let's make some carpets. Oh yeah, does it is it the uh is it the armor guy or is it the hunter woman? Is it the car armor guy? Dishes? Nope, it's probably her. I need plant fiber, what? I don't need any of the literally what? To make a carpet I need plant fiber or dried fur. <coughs> <laughs> you don't need any torn cloth for any of that? Let's enhance my equipment. Nope, it's good. So they both can enhance anything. But I need... I literally need... What do you need torn cloth for? Oh, you need it for the torches, I guess. Stay sharp. Dang it. Well, let's sleep. Now I can say I officially slept. You do have that advantage, Heather. Maybe the clog dancers will keep you up, Heather. Maybe. It'll make another hour, maybe. <laughs> they have been waking me up at least once a night for the past month or so. Hopefully they will stop these rehearsals soon. Hopefully. Ah, uh, well, we don't need the cloth. I'm saving up the cloth for no reason whatsoever, it feels like. Well, I think... Oh, did I level? I did not. I think we're gonna call it there, you guys. Hopefully, you guys like the stream today. It has been a long stream. So, who are we gonna raid? Who is on right now? Uh, Delta One is playing some Valheim. We're gonna raid Delta One. He's playing Valheim. He's doing the Elder Boss right now. So, hopefully, you guys hit that like button before we leave and... Uh, it looks like everyone loves Pal World and Enshrouded. Enshrouded more than Valheim. What? All right, I guess. So I will see you guys on Friday for another stream. Probably gonna be either Pal World or Enshrouded because I'm really digging this game. It is really, really good. There's some limitations. There's some things I don't like, but overall, game is freaking phenomenal. Hopefully, you guys like it. If you did, hit the like button, and I will see you over at Delta One's stream with Valheim. Wait a minute. I always do this. I forget to, to link you guys. I always forget to link. That way you guys know where his stream is in case you don't get automatically shuffled over there because YouTube, he, they don't like doing, uh, they don't like uh, doing everyone. So if you want to, definitely head over to this link in the chat and I will see you guys on Friday at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. So noon pacific noon pacific on friday i'll see you guys over there